nerderotic.com. How's it going? The show might run kind of smooth because I'm not running it. Hey, don't say, don't fix me like that. No, 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 no. Do Do Gary already like boomered. That. Gary already boomered it before we even got started. He was just trying. He was trying to correct Garrett. Like, oh wait, no, never mind. You're actually. Oh, we're doing it through. Oh, you know what? I'll just shut up. Uh, yep. <laughs> it's gonna be funny It'll if we're muted or something. <laughs> yeah, that, no that would be, yeah, it would be here, uh, but they'll tell us right away. <laughs> yeah, welcome, yeah, everyone, no to way. Friday Night Tides. My name is Gary uh, Beekler. I come right from my mom's vagina. Uh, I just uh, visited one of my moms. I have two moms. They're not lesbians. And uh, it was a nice visit. That's a gunning for them. Man, you, you distance yourself from that really quick. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you, must, you, must, you must know just, just don't say anything. You can get some social points out. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> That's how you got the verified. Ryan, the kid in YouTubing is not in your audience, dude. Okay. You, you clarified that quicker than Trump did uh, about his dinner actually, with Kanye. I, I think we are muted. I think we are muted. We are not. Than Trump uh, did about his dinner. Uh, we, are, we are muted. We are muted. We are I think we are muted. Muted? No, we're, we're, we're good. We're, we're good. good. We're, 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 we're good. trolling. <laughs> it's you, it's you in the chat. I love the chat. <laughs> uh they're great uh, i had a good thanksgiving uh i was at an old folks home so i had old folks portions which is like prison portions and uh. go eat mexican food afterwards but it was it was nice it was nice i hope you all had a good thanksgiving as well and i hope you're enjoying this black friday this is a very special edition Forget of black friday night tights welcome everybody <laughs> <laughs> this friday night tights is 50 percent off yeah I knew, I knew i felt a little bit uncomfortable on this panel for some reason <laughs> i went friday i knew night. i felt more satisfied for some reason <laughs> is it because quarter black is above you ryan <laughs> yeah. it's i'm kind of wondering like a Jer time. jeremy's being quiet right now he's being very quiet about me his position, uh on the screen yeah oh i i like i don't as probably got more subs to me at this point. It's all good. So, it's all, no, I've been streaming for like a month solid. I've got no subs this month. <laughs> <laughs> None. After Orlando, YouTube's dude, I, so I was, good like that. <laughs> after Orlando, I was I was about to make my channels under a chat tag video because there's so many live streams that like the next few videos were like 20k tops. I would be it'd be a miracle if I could break 20,000 views. So, but uh, you know. All good. I, Qu Quarter Black's running the stream a lot better than you do, Gary. So I don't question his methods. Okay, I don't question him. I just, I just sit back and enjoy the show. Oh, that's good. Uh, uh, and welcome, Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers. Uh, Hi, Gary from Nerdrotic. How are you? How was your Thanksgiving? You look like you're at like a corner of bathroom at Mar-a-Lago right now. Dressing yeah. down or something. It's gonna whoa. Yeah. Good story. Yeah. Good story. I, I didn't want to look like Ryan. Look like I'm in some Ukrainian hotel or Coach Red Pill or whatever. So I the only the I'm most still alive. background is the kitchen. So yes, my microwave is back there. I can reheat my coffee. It's right there. Yeah, it's great. This, this is a normal looking hotel bathroom. 
background. The Airbnb <laughs> I stayed at before, I looked like it was I was in a Ukrainian bunker, except okay. I didn't have as much money as they I did. thought you'd be streaming. Oh! No, any moment. Yeah. Ryan has been getting roasted for his hotel background, which I'm I'm a hundred percent there yeah. for it because I've streamed with him like four or five times since he's been there. So even like his fake window got called out, which was really nice. On <laughs> like, is that, a fake? <laughs> like, is that a fake window? I'm like, why the fuck Aww. would it make a fake fucking window? Like <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but Have you yes, ever been uh, in a hotel room it, with a fake window? Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, it has been a, now, <laughs> the the best part of my day now is waking up and checking Twitter. Wow, that sounds like coffee commercial. Just just to watch <laughs> just to watch uh, big penis really frustrated. I, I, I was about to say that used to be the best part of my day as well. <laughs> 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 Uh, but watching Elon just melt the minds of the woke and the left has been fantastic. And um, I can't believe I enjoy checking Twitter every day. I know. We're going to talk a lot about it, but it's been great, man. It's been great. The pendulum is, is swinging a little bit, but I think a lot of people are acting like we've won. We ain't won shit. Uh, there's a long way to go. This is just a small step in, in a bigger kind of picture right now. But with Disney's latest woke flop, we can talk about that a little bit. Uh, but Bob Bob Iger's back, so the company saved. Uh, Disney is saved. <laughs> yeah. so, Everyone I was like, "Iger, please." Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, yeah, Chris Disney is, is saved. Man, it's, <laughs> Disney yeah. is saved. Bob Iger's back. The guy that created the whole woke agenda in the first place is now back to create a saviors. I, I, I don't understand how they've come to this conclusion but whatever it's, bob it's chapek a, was a front man he was a fall guy i don't believe for one fucking second that bob chapek was ever in charge of anything bob yeah, Iger's always much. been in charge mm -hmm. he's a politician he's a snake he's a politician and he was always running shit from behind the scenes don't tell me for one second that bob chapek was telling bob Iger anything all right he was always a front man and this was always part of the plan Bob Iger is a manipulative left wing politician and that's what he's doing he's working politics is anyone that surprised that Iger's back because I'm not. Huh? No. I said, is anyone surprised that Iger is back? Because I'm not. No. We no. Said it from day one. one. This as, all feels like part as, of the plan. As soon as like Iger I said, he left. was never gone. He never as left. As soon as he left, everybody was like, yeah, he's obviously throwing this guy under the bus because all of the lockdowns happened. All of the mm -hmm. industries uh, went down. Coming. Now he's coming no back. No one's ever really gone. Surprise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fair, fair enough. Yeah. Chris Gorsan. Yeah. 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 No one's ever really but gone. I'm, I'm just, I'm sad we lost the, uh, the anti-woke hero, Bob Chapek. <laughs> <laughs> who is going to go in and remove all the woke from Disney. I know it's tough to tell. He was doing it like some 5D interdimensional underwater backgammon by inserting a <laughs> bunch of groomer shit into movies by uh, bending the knee to the LGBTQ mafia, right? It was all like a total like next level play and he just didn't have time to do it. Uh, did he claim that he was going to do any of that stuff? Like, did he claim no, that he was going to no, do it? He, no. he, didn't, he didn't say that he was going to do that. He didn't do that. And he never did that. But yet somehow that's the narrative. Some, some somehow. Point, you know? Yeah. Somehow. Uh, what's up, Az, from Heel versus Babyface? Hi, Gary. How you doing? I'm great. I mean, you know what? It's weird. I'm in San Diego again when we're talking to Dan Gillett. Biggest difference, I don't have COVID and I'll remember this show. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, you didn't remember who was running Friday Night Ties this week. Oh. So I'm not entirely, uh... That's normal brain damage. All right. That's the normal okay. hard variety brain damage from all the drugs I did in the 80s. Okay. What would be great? It'd be great if Az. It'd be great if Az gets his Hill versus Babyface account back before I'm coming Dane back. Can baby. I'm no, coming. no, before Dane Feeler can change his name. Before Dane Feeler can change his name. <laughs> well, I, I have got another appeal in as well. So it'd be funny if I get rejected on the appeal and then the next day my account goes live. <laughs> There's just something to like. I, I feel Dankula's pain, even though I'm like really happy that this is happening to him. I don't. I'm fucking fuck. pissing myself. I, nice. I, nice. I feel him, I feel his pain because he has spent years building up his Twitter platform, not actually breaking the rules, somehow not being suspended, which is like a miracle. And now this happens. Now he gets locked his giant penis. All these other motherfuckers who didn't follow the rules, all of a sudden they get their accounts back. So <laughs> I, I understand how you feel. The, hey, the thing that's just... annoying me is even even my fucking reply guys like the socialists and leftists that I argue with all the fucking time in the middle of me arguing with them they'll just go 
<laughs> giant penis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. fucking doing it, man. Like no one's taking me seriously anymore. Like who, who would have thought someone hey, called Dank, Count I fucking you Dank, Dank, like, could be taking Dank, Dank, is your name actually stuck on like... that, or is that a joke? No, no. it's yeah. actually stuck. stuck. As a verified user, <laughs> you can't when? change your name. You can't it's, change your name. You can't change when it. he it's... locked. I'm, because I'm OG verified and like people were fucking like changing their names to like that what was it Lily Evans company that fucking almost bankrupted yeah all Barack those, Obama like, yeah, LeBron James yeah. Yeah. yeah so I changed my name uh, for a joke to Giant Penis Parody right <laughs> bit of a meta joke you know like, that yeah, fucking yeah. bullshit and I'd done it for like a day and then Elon went oh because of all the impersonations we're shutting down name changes and I went <gasps> wait what and I went on and I'm and every time you click save, it just says deny over and over again. So I've been stuck like this since the 11th of November. Well, it could be worse. You could be stuck as a small penis. I wanted oh, it to be small is. penis. That's your real the, life. Yeah, that's part of the lore. The that's part yeah. of the lore. That's why it was yeah. giant penis parody. I don't know. It seems like Twitter is very determined in validating the penis. size of your phallus. <laughs> At least, don't, 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 at least it's accurate. Don't Thank ask you me how I got verified. See well, what the things I got very big. You can't change it. <laughs> Two things that I got banned from on Twitter was a quote in Game of Thrones, and one of my other bands was calling Jack a bimbo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because Twitter oh went God, through a phase. So offensive. Twitter went. Twitter went through a phase Twitter. where the word bimbo was suddenly massively offensive, particularly if it was put next to Jack. So Who's I went Jack? to test it out and then Jack took a Dorsey. Jack, oh, Jack Dorsey. Yeah. Yeah, Jack. Somebody who play, yeah. pretending to be a good guy when he's a fucking cunt. Yeah. Uh, hashtag hashtag stay well. Yeah. Uh, also, can you share what I've just uh, put up? Yes! <gasps> yes! The so Gary and I nice. have our plushies up for. Uh, <laughs> is it in the link? Is the links in the description? I want to yes, order I one. put yes. it in there. Yes. Thank you. So the links are in the description to both Gary and my plushie. They are now available for pre-order. If you pre-order both, you'll get a 10% discount as Ooh. well. Uh, but when these are gone, these ones are gone because if we do more plushies, then they're going to be different flavors, you know? Uh, so the Friday Night Tights plushies have started. Jeremy's was going to be in this. It was. But he's <laughs> useless. Oh, no. Absolutely yeah. useless. So Just Jeremy's don't... now in wave two, which is now yeah. going to be Jeremy, Ryan, Odin, and comics. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, wave. wave one is out. Gary the Wizard and as Hot Dog Man as. Uh, so please, please, please uh, spend money. <laughs> yeah, I I did Get see a lot of people questioning why Gary was a wizard instead of me. I don't really understand where that criticism is coming <laughs> from. You're racist. Ryan, they, Ryan. they would make you a grand wizard. <laughs> ah, yes, exactly. <laughs> let's show, okay. let's show no, you could be a dragon. <laughs> it's okay, grand dragon. <laughs> Ryan, the white wizard. Uh, <laughs> grand <laughs> wizard. Uh, there you go. Okay. There's Gary. Let's share Gary's. Oh yeah. So there's Gary's. That's awesome. Oh, the thanks. wizard. Looks like the so, emoji a little bit. Uh, it's good. And we both, we hit uh, we hit 100% on uh, the real BBC on Tuesday. Nice. So they're definitely going to be made now. Yeah, yeah. If you buy uh, so both, is, you get a this, discount, right? Yeah, buy both, get 10% off. Um, that's your Black Friday sale. Yeah, that's got that. Month. Well, yeah. Sure. No. Don't say black around my please. Well, I, stuff. I don't know. Emotional plushies. blackmail, whatever. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> As, do you know if these plushies are dog proof? Like, no, your be... dog can fuck them till tomorrow. <laughs> so it's a dog like in a good way or a bad way? I, I think whatever the dog's going to enjoy take. it. Uh, the, do the dog will consider it a good <laughs> way. <Yeah. laughs> it's up to you, I guess. You should buy two then, if that's the case. One for the dog and one for Absolutely, you. Absolutely, yeah. Okay. Buy, buy one, buy two. One to be abused and one to not be abused, I guess. Yeah. So, for correct as animals, to... as I, I assume for correct animal safety, mm. you had to test that first. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's part of the that's part of the make ship promise. <laughs> they, they, yeah, I have doggy I gotta safe. Say, I have I have not fucked doggy the plushie. Safe. This plushie here, <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> look, Ultimate his animal. anus is intact. Oh. <laughs> okay, look, it's got a little. There was no fucking happening. <laughs> so that's what you got. That's what no that's cute. what you're gonna get, ladies and gentlemen.
It's like and, Tom. And, you know, oh you can God. create your own anus. Yeah, it's right there. So desire. <laughs> yeah. Pop that seam. Dedication. As a seam Make a scream, there, buddy. That, oh that's, my that, God. That, that, that's, you know, it's an area. You got a little nut back there, there now. Go too. The, no, go to the taint. You see yeah, the taint? Yeah, the taint, like, that's, 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 that's where it is. That's where it is. Yeah. That's where the hot dog. That's where you got a It's a pre-made hole. Hey, you got a tongue in that thing. Tongue that thing. I have not got a tongue. <laughs> <laughs> he thought about it. He thought about it. <laughs> he, he came I close. Did, I did think then... about it though. Yeah. I know. <laughs> just, yeah. I'm just trying to see what kind of thing. respond. We'll see what the sales are like, Ryan. If the nuts are good, then we'll get the tongue out. Okay. Oh, there you go. Uh. There's inspiration. You guys want to see Ad's tongue himself? Hey, you just yeah, fucking buy go. some plushies. Wow. Uh, so yeah, wrong, please, man. please support these because uh, these are going to be once they're done, the duns. Yep, no, no, done. no they're more so cute. Than... They really look like you guys. Uh, yeah. So thank it's you really uh, to Makeship for uh, getting this done. And now I'm got four people to worry about for the next phase. <laughs> Yay! Jeremy, send me, send me shit. I'll check it out. Yeah. Well, well, we can do like a how you read that email tutorial. It is kind of difficult for all well, boomers. So I was gonna say I. It, I had no problem at all. Oh, okay. <laughs> so and, hence why so I got my Never. hot dog two fucking months ago. Uh, <laughs> I'm just happy that my uh, my guy had pants because he didn't have pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, check no. your designs, Make people. Legs, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, mm, no. Nah. Nah. I don't want to imagine know. Gandalf running around with like no pants. Oh my God. Mine Rizzo. has a skirt. I have to make sure there's pants. Well, well then, uh, talking about tongues. I definitely don't want pants. Wow. That's well, they right. saw the show. They just took it. Chris, you know what yours is, so you know. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll make sure I don't have shoes on. Uh, <laughs> wow. Wine channel. What's up, buddy? What's up? I have been living in hotels and Airbnbs the past week. I'm tired as fuck. But Thanksgiving was awesome. I ate way too much. I feel like 300 fucking pounds right now. But I am, after Friday Night Tides, I'm driving all the way back home to Florida, getting back to the grind. So I, I love Thanksgiving, though. It's one of my favorite holidays. Um, I love the food. And uh, I love getting stuffed. No pun intended. So it's great. Mm. Or pun intended. Anything you'd mm. like to confess, mm -hmm. Ryan? <clears throat> yeah. I really like eating Thanksgiving food. <laughs> <laughs> really good. It's a good thing you elaborated. Yeah. Yeah. Took a pause there. Right. Snip it. That's right. Well, good. Yeah, at least one of us will be home in the next week. I won't. Aww. So, uh, Aww. yeah, I'm gonna be in this thing for another week. It looks... I'm in this. I'm in this fucking hotel. And last time we were on Tuesday night's main event, I couldn't even have the air on because for some reason, even though it's all the way over there, it's not that fucking loud to me. My mic fucking picks it up. So I'm in this hot ass fucking room. I don't even have any pants on right now because I can't run the fucking air. Even though it's how is it so hot in here? It's fucking 45 degrees outside. Yeah, my hotel room's hot as shit. So yeah, I'm ready to get. Can you the open fuck a window? <laughs> no, it's fake apparently. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a screen. I, I don't TV think you screen. can open windows in hotels because I don't want you fucking no, you killing can't. yourself. No. And shit. Yeah. yeah. Or anybody else. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, remember Vegas? New the mm. news. Doesn't. The news doesn't. We can't talk about yeah. it though. Don't Hi, yeah. Chrissy Mayer. Yeah. What's up? Hi guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Good to be here. Uh, I'm happy I didn't get swatted again for Thanksgiving. Yeah, that that, that's fun. good. You, yeah. you should have prepared a plate for the fine officer that I, came over to check I on you. I should have. That would have been great. Uh, yeah, I made a pie. It sucked. So I got to, like, <gasps> get my woman card back. I got to, like, what, what, try... Hold on. What kind of pie? Apple pie. Yeah. The, the crust was good. I don't think I cooked the inside enough. It didn't bubble. Mm -hmm. oh, no. I, did, I didn't peel the... the uh... <laughs> But you have to creep. You have to, you have to pre crust I didn't feel it. the apples. And then you put the apples in. Ah. Uh, you, you just fucking. Apples. I didn't feel you the just apples. Fucking, you just put a couple, like, you didn't even cut them or anything. You just put I a couple of apples, apples in the there. Apples in, yeah. Seeds and all. <laughs> Bimbo pie. <laughs> just getting everybody killed. Uh, oh, my God. God. Oh, welcome, Chrissy. <laughs> yeah, good to be Sorry, here. your pie got fucked up. It's all right. You know, it's, uh, I, I got it. I'll, I'll have to try again. That's, yeah. Oh. But your woman card is lost. It's gone. It's gone. gone. Yeah, you're going to have to go back to the uh, the G&G &G house and wash some more dishes and vacuum the fucking floor to get it back. <laughs> I do. Yeah. I 100% I, I approve of that. I 100% approve of that. I was going to say, Chrissy can just come over and we can build stuff together. I'm just saying. Yeah. 
As long as the camera's on, you can monetize it. Let's Bimbo's do it. Uh, Bimbo's the camera's been on the whole yeah. time. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't find my sweeper. I'm going to pick up the crumbs. Okay. <laughs> Bimbo bakes. Yes. <laughs> uh, what's up, Comics Division? Hey, man. How you doing? Hope you had a happy Thanksgiving, good. everybody. Uh, I, mine was pretty good. I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, bake some pies. Mine actually turned out well. So. <gasps> You're more of a give... woman than Chrissy. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I knew yeah. as soon as I brought no, up no, baking no, no. stuff, that comment was going to be more elf. Yes, yes. Okay, he's a keyboard elf, so that's yeah. an, the exception. I think. Uh, it's yeah. in his jeans. He should know. Yeah, it's in his jeans. In, indeed. Yeah. We, me and yeah. comics could probably share platform shoes, though, too. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I think I might be a smidge taller than you. Maybe. You're much taller. Don't lie. Don't lie. <laughs> but uh, I'm doing good, man. It's it's been a fantastic um, you know week off, and I'm um, happy to be here. And um, looking forward to tonight's guest, man, Dankula. You're an awesome dude. Oh, thanks very much, man. Cheers. Uh, uh, I'm I'm sorry I'm keeping everybody from Black Friday shopping. Uh, I yeah I know you all oh. miss miss the opportunity to go to trash a Walmart or whatever, but uh... yeah, I, <laughs> that's I really, really what like it's about. It's not it's the it's the sport of it, not the actual yeah. items. You know, before COVID, like places had started like, doing Black Friday on like Thanksgiving evening, yeah. like it because people just kept yeah. opening earlier and earlier to get the traffic. Then people were opening like six o'clock on Thanksgiving night, and now wow. after COVID, no one's doing that shit anymore. They're like, we care about our people. We're only gonna make them come in at three in the morning on Friday after Thanksgiving. <laughs> like, oh, thanks. <laughs> and they might get a lunch, maybe. Maybe. As a as a, I, I worked retail on Black Friday a couple times. It was, I mean, it was shitty, but it was, we got paid extra, so I didn't really give a fuck. Um, it like the, the same people that came in and wrecked the entire fucking men's jeans department were the same motherfuckers that were going to do it on Black Friday, so it didn't fucking matter to me. Yeah, yeah I, I worked, I worked Black Friday at a Toys R Us one year. Holy shit, dude. Mm. That's like, to, that's like jingle all the way in real life. There were like, <laughs> it, was, it was crazy, dude. I mean, it was insane. And I wish I could experience that again it was so much fun to watch the chaos because it didn't matter nothing mattered you could be rude to people it didn't matter ryan would have worked all out so social yeah, norms I, I go away there. on black friday they I, don't I, exist I thrive in those situations because i can just be an asshole and like it, it's helpful there uh yeah. instead of a hindrance so i always like uh, worked retail i worked retail forever and i always enjoyed like whether it was grocery stores or either, like toys r us that one year i always enjoyed working black friday because there was a lot to do. There was a lot of energy. And most of the time, you know, when it's just an every day, there's just like 90% lazy fucks that work anywhere. So it's just 10% of the people doing all the work. Uh, <laughs> but on Black Friday, that's like an atmosphere. Everybody has to step up. There's no time to be lazy. Yeah. There's no time to, to dick around. And Jeremy, have you ever heard that. this line before? I'll be in the back if you need me. Yes. <laughs> yes. No, you yeah. will not. <laughs> no, you will not. And, and okay. hey, and for, for all of you out there, if a person, if you ask a person where something's at, all right, there's only one way to know if they care. If they just say no, then they don't care. But if they at least say, oh, let me go check in the back. Now, look, they're not checking. They're just going to check their phone. But at least they're making <laughs> you believe that they are <laughs> checking. Back there. All right? I'm checking they don't my own back. Check. Nobody's checking for shit because nobody really cares. <laughs> but at least they make you think. So the next time an employee just says, let me check in the back, just know they're going in the back to check their phone. They don't care. And they're going to come back and say, no, nah, sorry, we don't have it. That's Most how it Most stores these days don't even have a back room anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's all so, up. Any additional yeah. stock, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I was just going to ask, I was just going to ask Dankula yeah. what Black Friday is like in Scotland, but then I remember they don't have fucking Thanksgiving there. We don't, no. we don't, we don't have Thanksgiving here. And Black Friday never used to be a thing, but now, now in like the last like five, six years, it started to become a thing. But it's not like, you know, poor Walmart, yeah, yeah, greeters getting trampled to death and shit like that. Just there, mm -hmm. there might be a longer queue. Outside That's the, the January store. sales for us. Yeah, or I used to be anyway. That was the January sales. Yeah, January sales were a thing. But no, it's not. It's not that much a big deal over here. Like, there's no carnage or mayhem or anything like that. So. Uh, it's not that big. So yeah. I am potentially hesitant to ask this question for the layup that it might provide for Ryan, but I am wondering how Black Friday got its name. <laughs> oh, well, you, I mean, you, you've seen some of those videos, haven't you? Shit, Probably not. Your, your videos. They look they look a lot of, a lot like the Summer of Love. But, let's just say. But uh, but in you know, in reality, so the actual origin of Black Friday has nothing to do with the race. Uh, but it's. 
kind of all the way up until this point in the year, a lot of people are still operating in the red, so negative. They make their mm. money with these Christmas oh. sales and everything. Oh, yeah, so the Black Friday yeah. is the day mm. that them as a company, gotcha. they get back into the black. So, Quite But it'd be way funnier industry. if it had something to do with African Americans, but it doesn't. <laughs> but now that, like, Sadly. there's all this food black. culture, what's the incentive to pay for something at a discount if you can just walk out with it? I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's it's thing it's Every day is Black Friday. It's, it's it's the FOMO shit now. It's just a fear of missing out. People just want to be part of that. And if you it, yeah. again, it's it's it, the secrets of retail. But it's just like all you need to do is make people think they're getting a deal. It doesn't matter if they're yeah. actually getting it. As long as they believe they're getting the deal, then they'll go they'll go stand in line for four fucking mm -hmm. hours. And, and it's just like why? Why are so you? So what doing you're trying this? to say is, so. if they say this is a Marvel movie. They yes. think they're getting a Marvel movie, ah, but in absolutely. reality, it's a piece of fucking dog. <laughs> they're getting cash. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Yeah, and like, Every time. And like the, men, like the mental aspect of pricing and things, like they've shown that if you price them at $3.99 instead of $4, people are like 80 fucking percent more likely to spend because they think of it as $3 instead of $4. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. I, uh, yeah, I used to like work cash. in stock control. It was me that was in charge of stocking prices and stuff like that. And what we would do is if there was something that was like $1.99, we would increase it to two ninety nine for a single day, yep. and reduce it back down to one ninety nine for the next week, and go, oh my god, it's on sale! Like fucking <laughs> yeah, like big size. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And, uh, well, every time you go to Kohl's or JC Penny, everything is half off. Like yep. every fucking thing is half off its regular price. That's just what it is always, and it makes yeah. people think they're getting a deal. JC Penny perpetually looks like it's going out of business. People. Yeah, if you can fool them and think that they're getting something premium at a good price, they'll buy it even if they're buying garbage. Interestingly enough, like company Koto Knives, uh, mm. they they <laughs> they mark it up and they say, oh, we're discounting from 700 to 300, you're getting a deal, and the knives are worth maybe $20. Yeah, you um, need to see a crossed out price. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I worked at Radio City Music Hall on Black Friday, well, and usually also on Thanksgiving as well, like giving tours. But on the days like Black Friday or like Thanksgiving, where there'd be more tourists in like in the city than than normal, like we would just make up facts and add them to the tours. Like we'd be like, oh yeah, because uh, a real fact would be like the elephants didn't want to get into the elevators at Radio City Music Hall as part of the show because they could feel that it wasn't a real bottom. Like the, the elephants are fucking smart that way. But we would like mix up the facts and be like, oh yeah, yeah. and an elephant like gave birth during the show. And then the, for <laughs> the foreigners would be like, oh. Oh, you would lie. We uh, would. Yeah, we would lie. No, lie. No, no, lying for entertainment lie. purposes. That's what we get. For <laughs> and then they take money. that lie, they go back to their what? country of origin yeah. and they tell it to their family. Yeah. How no, how they fucking? I want to know how they got the elephants in there. They just beat the shit out of them to the well. Door no, they wouldn't what? go in the elevator, so they had to push them down the stairs. They had to like scooch them down. <laughs> oh my god! What the hell? It was what? bad. Oh, and then eventually, so, whose job know, is it to be at the elephant. ass end of an elephant <laughs> pushing it? Down the oh! <laughs> see, see when you say push them down the stairs, I just imagine them like falling like an elephant, <laughs> horrifically tumbling down a massive <laughs> head over. <laughs> you trip your fall, your whole arm goes in. You're like, no! <laughs> oh, no! no. 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 Lord Jesus Christ, help me, Lord Jesus Christ. Sorry. <laughs> that is an Eddie I, I, Murphy I, joke for those of you in the chat who are. I do need to clarify that uh, there is one little caveat to add to the if you ask an employee to go check something, if you're a really hot chick, that dude's going to find whatever the fuck you're looking for. Okay. <laughs> He will Aww. he will go to another store, okay? <laughs> he will fight heaven and earth if you are a hot He'll chick, all right? Customer. Yeah. Yeah, take it out of He'll baskets. Yes. Yeah. 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 He will hug an old lady to get that. <laughs> he will 100% if you're a hot yeah. chick. Facts. You're, yes, yeah. you're going to get what you're looking for. Hey, you, know, yeah. you, wait to some, you wait to some old oh bitches looking the other way. You steal a thing she's now? buying for you. There is now. There is no. Yeah. It's like in Boston Legal where he walks down that row of mingers and then there's just this fit woman. He's like, she's the one that's hired. And just and walks I... off. <laughs> <laughs> and all the other women are like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not conflicted. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> That's why I bought both. Everyone's <laughs> face is just perfect. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is so good. I, I wish it. I could retweet it right now. Did you guys see the picture where that tweet is from? The 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 Real Housewives rings of yes. power. Yeah, with the, with with the man spreading. Yeah, the so man far. spreading one. Yeah, I can like smell she, it from here. Good lord. Dude, uh, I will retweet it for you, Gary. Thank you. 
Thank you. That is <laughs> wonderful. Uh, okay. So, hi, oh, I guess we're at the point. Like, hi, X-ray girl. Say hi. Hi. Okay. Uh, hi, Shane. <laughs> hey. <laughs> How are you guys? You know, I don't know why, but I'm feeling a little intimidated uh, by, by something. I thought I just needed a giant sword with me to, mm. to feel <laughs> a little bit, a little bit more secure in, in, in my own manhood. I don't Ooh. know why, but um, I don't know. Holding this giant sword, I feel, I feel a little better. Like I'm compensating for. I know, it's, it's weird. Yeah. Why don't you like see a see it, giant maybe? sword you got there. It's, it's like having a, really a very big giant big sword. This is this is a big, giant. Is it, this, is there's it a, no parody is it a, here. Yeah, is it a parody? Yeah, no, it's <laughs> not a parody. <laughs> my sword. My I do have a very very big sword. No parody. Wow. Yep. I, we can see it, and it's big. Mm -hmm. It's big. It's I, I, I don't, a, I'm. A, you could say sword? it's giant. <laughs> Look at that hill. <laughs> might be. That's four hands right there. Careful what you wish for us. Your, D your DMs are open to me. Careful. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, yeah, Mac, we love you, man. Uh, I love you guys. Our our wonderful guest. Uh, you know, I I gotta do it, dude. Uh, for the first time in the show, giant penis. Welcome, everybody. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What is what does that say about us, Gary? What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Welcome to Asian representation. I, I, I always I'm said sorry, I was I always I said care. above average. I never said giant. I'm not on Dankula's level, yeah, so dude. I'm just above average. So it's not I mean. it's not giant. That's the joke. It's not <laughs> giant. I know. I know. Does it look I like know. a potato? <laughs> I was just going to say, see, see, after you said pictures and stuff like that, and now it's all been brought into question. See, when you're bringing up posts from underneath your tweet, be very, very careful with you. <laughs> <laughs> there are going to be certain images that are going to get posted. <laughs> I'm just saying. But in all, in all due respect, quartering has posted quite a few of those out there. <laughs> did he post them? Did he post well, he them? Posted your balls, didn't he? Yeah, he posted my balls. I believe, I believe he's actually seen it because when we were in chicago i think I, I, I remember one night i was extraordinarily fucking drunk and he had to hold me up so that i could piss <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I, at least at least i think it was him now, what I, was say, really hold me up. <laughs> I know I just, I just know he's mentioned to me but he's like i've seen it before i don't know where or when <laughs> I'm, assuming, I'm, ass I'm assuming it was no okay. i don't know oh my god that could, that could have just been some kind stranger. I actually had to get random like subscribers in mind to help me to my hotel room that night. I was that fucked up. You know? sounds, like, sounds like a good night or a quarter black Garrett Vegas night. Yeah, well, pretty I much. Have, oh, yeah. 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 I, could, I could have broke for the norm and instead been a YouTuber that gets sexually assaulted by his fans. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Well, maybe Dang, you and Az kind of it's look funny related. It's true. We are. We are. Do, do you yeah. think you and Az kind of look related? As well. as is the as is the racist uncle that doesn't get invited to Christmas anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so some of the stuff he says. This is man, from a guy who taught his fucking pug to do a Nazi salute. You know, he kept, he kept, he, you know in the family group chat, he kept posting like tweets from Kanye and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just and really misunderstood. Yeah. <laughs> the okay, okay, okay. Is there hey, anybody Gary. inviting Uncle Ass to the next Christmas dinner? Yeah, we're all. <laughs> Hey Gary, uh, Uncle I'm also here. Uncle Everybody, I'll see you guys later. Hi Gary. Oh, <laughs> I'm just running the stream. It's okay. Buddy. I'll just mute you. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll, I'll mute you over here. What a racism coming in. <laughs> Did somebody say something? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now you know how it feels, QB. No, eh? it's fine. <laughs> Love you anyways, despite all the racism. It's okay, you get more words than me. Take it. You sound like my wife. <laughs> <I'm sorry>. Oh <laughs> man, that was good. Hi, Carter Black. Hey, uh, hey, what's going yeah. on? I've been playing Dark Tide. Uh, my voice hurts because I've been playing Dark Tide, and uh, really I'm ready game. to to do the show. And thank God. Count Dankula is here again. I love you, dude. I watched every single one of your videos, and I know Perry Chan did too, because he was talking about it. 
I got into like this whole section of my life where I was just watching nothing but Mad Lad videos. Fuck, I love those videos. It's so a much, rabbit man. hole. It's a good rabbit it's a hole. It's a great really rabbit much hole. Fun. Just uh, keep making them. I'm hey, dude, keep I, I am. I, I am staring. I, I am about four miles away from uh, the Apple White compound. Uh, really? Oh no, yeah. shit, dude! Yeah. Wow, oh, fuck man. Those the the last Footage. two remaining living members of that cult like fucking hate me so much. They hate me so much. Where they like as I say, so you believe that when the hail bot comet, they think that when they die, they're just going to get reincarnated into another body, and basically like as a toddler, remember to continue the cult. <laughs> like all this shit man and then I, I said all that in the video and they were like that's not what we said we we're gonna sue you and then i posted the emails going that's literally word for word what you fucking said <laughs> <laughs> no, man. No, never never got a letter from a lawyer <laughs> <laughs> still uh, running that 1997 windows website there they <laughs> are please it's join still, <laughs> please join well, last time I checked, like that was a couple months ago it was still it's still going i can't believe that's still going how do they get uh, new members if the comet already came and they all went on to the other side how, how much how, they, they don't have any new members no one is joining <laughs> that shit but i'm just trying like, to figure how, out what the game plan is how, how much were those two hated though where like everyone else in the cult got to depart to heaven essentially but then even though they're there with their tracksuits and their little fucking trainers on and shit, everyone went, except you two. You have yes. to stay behind. <laughs> stay behind and the, the message. Website. Not enough poison for you. Yeah, <laughs> it's like <laughs> fucking yeah. hell, man. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, that was fun. I got caught in the traffic. I won't bore you with the story. <laughs> Fuck. That. Uh, by the end of that night, my boss thought I stole the work truck. My wife thought oh, I was no. abducted because <laughs> I couldn't <laughs> fucking <laughs> Because like, of that fucking thing. Honey, uh, it was hours. a cult. They all yeah. killed themselves, okay? Trust me, yeah, it did happen. Yeah, was fucking dead. I'm sorry, but like I, a bunch of us had to get home. They closed the road completely, you know, and I had a beeper. <laughs> That's, a, you know, it was the <laughs> 90s. I had a fucking beeper, so I couldn't get a hold of work. And yeah, they called the cops and everything. It was great. I had two felonies, by the way, so I was a little nervous. A little fucking nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I really hate it when my day gets ruined by like something like that. Like today, there was a funeral in the town I'm in, and listen, rest in peace, whoever it was. Oh, but why man. the fuck do I have to wait in line <laughs> as you and your fucking ninety family members and friends fucking drive as slow as fucking possible through town on your way to the fucking cemetery? Why do I have to get caught now? Why do you stop traffic for that? Why should I have to be late to work? Whatever the fuck I got to do, you're fucking dead. You don't care. Like, why is it a big deal? I'm still alive. It pisses me got off. Got places man. to well, go. Well, Ryan, uh, all right, got places to go. The question: When you die someday, uh, so, Ryan, yeah. Ryan, dying during the, the holidays. Holiday. Stop behind the beep in the horn. Ryan won't care when he's dead. I promise. Ryan, no. yeah, I, Ryan's no, already fucking, like we, we have a running joke. That I'm the, gonna, yeah, 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 I'm gonna monetize the fuck out of his death when I like. I'm gonna pretend that I care. You're like, oh man, you are such a. You are not gonna, gonna, such a great guy. You, he was you are not going to make as much money as you think. <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> no, those Ryan's are donations. Like celebration money. Who slept like a mortar? Jeremy's gonna be like, I'm gonna throw Ryan's body right. in a wood chipper. Well, Let's well, find out what it, happens. Hey, Kat, I, I, yo, you can fucking send me head first into the fucking like a uh -huh. like a, a vertical grave. I don't give a fuck. You can burn me. I'm dead. I don't care. Do a corpse stream. Like a sleeping, like a sleep stream from these Twitch thoughts. Yeah. Just do one of fucking me and my fucking. <laughs> if you hit like a hundred dollars, you slap Ryan once, you know, 200. Yeah, yeah. I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah, like, like, I'm not going to care. Like, I don't want to hold up anybody else's day when I'm fucking dead. Unless I hate him, then I will. That'd be like the one thing. If I can just gather all the people I fucking despise in the world. World. So it has to be a big every way for the like Los Angeles or something. <laughs> um, and yeah, I would gladly have a very slow funeral, like uh, like a funeral parade for me, where I just annoy the fuck out of everybody. My last, uh, my last conservation of happiness, right there. <laughs> Uh, no, yeah, no one's gonna miss you. They'll celebrate at Taco Bell though once you're gone. They're gonna be <laughs> yeah, I'm the only one keeping the stand. Squeeze out a hot there. sauce for the bro. Yeah. I'm Everybody bring, understands uh, uh, what no. I'm saying, though. Everybody knows what I'm fucking saying. Even if you don't want to admit it, if you get stuck behind one of these fucking funeral things, you're pissed because there's no fucking reason. They don't need to be anywhere in any, like, regular time. They're going slow as fuck. Fuck them. Like, Ryan, do you know how boring funerals are? 
Yes. Yeah, that's your answer. Nobody wants to be stuck in the cars, too. That's why yeah. you speed up. No. You do the first thing at the church or wherever you are, and then speed up all the way to the funeral spot, and then you drop well, him I'm, in the hole. I'm definitely going to go to Ryan. You do all the sad stuff after it. Yeah. Have my funeral procession. I pulled a fucking U turn. Like they were all coming out of the funeral home, and it was like after like the 40th car, mm -hmm. I'm like, fuck this. And I fucking just gunned it, and I did a U turn with the other way through town because I wasn't going to wait for that shit. Everybody's gonna want to die near Ryan's uh, residence now, just so their funeral can slow him down. Tri triangulate it so he can't leave. Every yeah. street oh is just God. color dance Grid and lock. actually dump the body in from his driveway and take you know a couple hours to clean it up. Ryan and I were able to share our stories of being inconvenienced by people dying. Yes. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, yeah. Thank God I'm still alive. All right. Can I say hi to everybody? I got to double check now. Yes. Yes. Right. Okay. Don't be all passive aggressive about it or anything. I'm not being passive aggressive. <laughs> 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 hey, QB, at least you have power this time, okay? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> He's gone. He's I've got gone. all the power. I've got the rage quit. I've got, I've got all the power back quit. here. <laughs> if you have power, why would you take yourself out and not Gary? I didn't take myself out. I took him out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, been the there you go. Hey, let's talk about something fun. Let's talk uh, about the culture war. All right. You. Yes. The culture yes. war that apparently is now happening. What wasn't happening yeah. for years, but it's now just... officially happening because is the, the media finally catching up now. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, well, the media I mean, is like, finally losing, losing, so that's why. Yeah. That's, why. <laughs> that's why. That's why that pendulum's starting to finally swing just a little bit. Now uh -huh. suddenly, suddenly they're starting to lose some of their influence, and now, <sighs> now it's a problem. I now can't believe I actually have to war. defend my ideas now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I must have to just make them shut up. <laughs> it's it's glorious. It's, and instead and then they of realize the, what their position yeah. is, and then it's like shit. <laughs> and instead of defending my ideas, I'll deactivate oh. Twitter and go to Mastodon or Echo Chamber. Hi, or what is the going high yeah. mind or whatever yeah, it's yeah. called? What the, what yeah. the best, uh, the yes. best yeah. name you could possibly name it? Hi. Yeah. Yes. They should just, just name it NPC. Mind. Just name an NPC. Yeah. No, there, there's like another one too. It's not Echo Chamber, but it's something like that. It's it basically means that. Hi. It's not that. It's a different. It's not one. Mastodon. It, it, no, it was. Uh, oh God, I Gary knows what I'm cool. talking about. Uh, uh, left, is that left. the one that were just for free, for free thinking people and stuff? Grinder. Tri right. Tribal. Tribal. Right. Tribal. Yes. Tribal. Tribal. Yeah. Tribal. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. it. Yeah. Chat. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Tribal oh, stuff. It's I think there's not too much happening all at once. Like Elon Musk buying Twitter and reinstating all of their accounts. That was a massive, like, major thing. And I thought, oh, that's great. Everyone's going to come back. And you've got Sargon tweeting again. Trump's back. And it feels like 2016 again. But, like, the snowball is rolling because we went from that to Kanye West naming them and then <laughs> announcing his run for presidency with Nick Fuentes and Miley yes. Annapolis. <laughs> Man, it's like, we, 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 yeah. we, went, we went from zero to fucking 60 in like two days. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Dude, seeing Milo with that haircut where, I mean, kind of stealing it from me a little bit. He's a little tighter on the sides, but see Milo with that haircut, just like, just nodding as Kanye speaking there. <laughs> sitting on was that, this I didn't even recognize so, it. Was that, that was Milo? Milo. Yeah, that was Milo, Milo with Kanye. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's that's straight Milo. Milo. This is weird, weird person nodding, saying nothing. <laughs> yeah, straight Milo. And, 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 I love, and I love how Trump's story, for the guy that wanted to build the wall to keep everybody out, somehow he's like, oh, these guys just ended oh, up at fucking Mar-a-Lago. I don't know. E Elon's here. just tweeted again. <laughs> And uh, oh. somebody said, if Apple and Google boot Twitter from their app store, Elon Musk should produce his own smartphone. Half the country would easily happily ditch the bias snooping iPhone and Android. Wow. And then Elon's replied with, I certainly hope it doesn't come to that. But yes. <laughs> uh, if there is no other something. choice, I will make an alternative phone. Hey, get your Tesla phones. I love that. I would, I, I, what if I, he brain that, skips I'm... us? I want that for manufacturing and infrastructure. We are the board. <laughs> I, I, I want that amount futile. of money, but I don't get to have to give a fuck about anything. I just, I want that, like just that fucking yeah, power. Yeah. Like, the, like when Notch started becoming based right after he oh, sold yeah. Minecraft. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just took to Twitter and went, "QAnon's real." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bought Jay Z's house right out from under him. It was great. Well, I, I, think, like, yeah. I, I think that this is 
this is going to get really fucking messy and really bad. The next two years are going to get really bad because oh, I'm, I'm here for yeah. it. I'm yeah, here. Yeah. Oh, man, he I am, I am clown messy. pill, baby. Be because like <laughs> this, like Kanye doing what he did just yesterday, uh, like holy shit, and, and I'm like. 2024 is going to make 2016 to 2020 look look kind of like child's play. This is going to get crazy. You're going to have form like three or four former Trump cabinet people like running against him. Kanye apparently is going to you know Kanye is going to get enough traction to at least be relevant enough in the race if he if he actually is committed to it, he will have enough traction because he's that magnetic. Um it's beautiful. and then of course Joe Biden doesn't even know where he's at half the time. So uh, are we gonna get Hillary? Hillary? Are we gonna get Kamala? Let's are we gonna get Bernie? Let's do uh, it. Are we gonna get Bob Iger? Yeah, are Bernie's we gonna, gonna be dead in a week? So I yeah. don't know. Apparently, I don't know if this is true. Check me on this if it's, if it isn't. But apparently, as long as you're getting at least one percent in independent polls or from statistical agencies, you can appear in the first round of debates. Which basically means that we're going to have a debate stage with Donald Trump, Kanye West, and Joe Biden. Yeah. I'm just saying, as, as content creators, we should all have dollar signs in our eyes right yes. now. Like, these yes. next two years are going to be fantastic for our fucking Dude. money. Can Wait, you imagine yeah. like live stream reacting to oh one of God. these debates? You're gonna have 10, 12, 20,000 people watch. This could be crazy. And I'm 100% here for it. I want the chaos. I want it. And, and I think it's going to get. I don't think we're prepared for how bad it's going to get. That's what I'm, I'm prepared. To I'm just gonna say, I'm just like a fucking like debate regulator. Feel like, uh, can you? Could you please answer the question? Y'all can't make me say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and then trump tries to answer he's like I i'm gonna let you finish i'll let you finish as well you know so oh. when does uh when does antifa make their big comeback around the debates well, i don't, I don't antifa know so and black lives oh, matter yeah. usually come back yeah. 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 On Twitter right now. shout out to alex stein for swatting a fucking fly <laughs> oh yeah, 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 guy. Guy. yeah he yeah, just no, so casually went like that and the guy's like ah he's a he's an he eight foot tall like giant a world cup soccer player trying to draw a yellow card <laughs> as as for a second i yeah. thought you were talking about destiny but oh. <laughs> <laughs> but like the the big thing here is is obviously it's going to get crazy and everything but the whole thing with elon talking about content creators and monetization i don't just to be clear I don't want Elon owning the entire internet. I just want him to create a viable alternative because once yeah. you create a viable alternative, that's going to make all the other platforms have to step their game up and stop yeah. banning people yep. off of opinions or because they hurt some weirdo's feeling on social media. That's how you change the entire trajectory of everything going on. And I, I know I've, I've used this a lot, but I think it's a perfect analogy, and that's WCW and WWF. And WWF literally had to change their entire business model because of a competitor started rising up. Vince was always, always arrogant and not going to change his ways until WCW made him change his ways, and it changed the entire business. And when there was competition, it's the best everything's been for fans, for the wrestlers, for the business, for the advertisers. If Elon can create a viable alternative with buying Vine or whatever he's going to do, that's just going to make – YouTube and other platforms have to step their game up as well. That's yeah. what I'm looking for. He already owns Without competition. There's no innovation, well, and that's yeah, basically but, what we're seeing right now with exactly. big tech. Jeremy, exactly. what about? I've just shared this. What about this uh, <laughs> lovely young lady here? Oh <laughs> God, no! <laughs> just dude. Just I, a I dude. Call a dude. I, another dude. With a with a support dog. Melissa, with a support dog. This is Melissa. That's employer. Melissa. On the current path, From, I just. It is I'm ma'am. Really, really okay. It is ma'am. <laughs> Just hey, 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 Az, what, do you, what do you think about that rack, though? It's a nice rack. It's a nice rack. Oh, I thought you were referring to this here. This rack. Oh, this spice rack is lovely. This knife rack is great. You know. Did they have to wake her up to give this interview? If she were, she'd been let go first. More like resuscitate. Why did they she was nearly dropping a laptop? Even that. Hey, 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 h
<laughs> now you're tired. Okay. I, I did feel movement. It was my penis retracting inside my yeah. body. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> going back. Now you've transitioned. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but this is the person. This is the person who was in. In in uh, content moderation. Content yep. moderation. This person was Makes was sense. choosing yeah. what was. What the hell is just, even that? Just one <laughs> on content moderator yeah. out of thousands. Thousands. Yeah. yeah. Th this this, this is who this I is who banned you because you said mean words. Me. And I think people need to know about this situation. The layoff what situation? followed by. Well, okay. She's a contractor, right? And she's complaining before, that she's not Elon getting any severance. It's like you're a fucking contractor. Right. Yeah. You're not an employee. Pause it. Pause it. Hold on, I got a Yeah. What were you saying? <laughs> okay. She's what? a contractor. She's complaining that she didn't get any severance. Mm. It's like, dude, you're not an employee. You're a contractor. That's what happens when you get fired or laid off or well, you know, California's severed. at will too. So you can be yeah. an employee and get fucking fired and they, sure. that they, they don't really have they don't have to give you a reason at uh, all. I I well, I actually believe there's some stipulation in California that even when though you, you, you can't do that and fire them, you have to provide, I believe, sixty days of severance or something like that. There, there's there's some requirement. When it's a certain amount of people, when it's a certain right. amount of people. Exactly. When it's a, I think it's a company over a hundred or something like yeah. that. Like it yeah. not, not a mom and pop shop, not one like an actual contract company. Right. Um, but yeah, but, contractors, no severance. And he is doing that. Elon is giving 90 days of pay, so he's doing like 50% more than he's, maybe even twice as much as he's legally required to for most of the people who worked at Twitter. There's some weird shit going on, though, because um, I, I saw a post, a, a tweet from Disbrew, and one of the responses was <laughs> from somebody you've muted. And and the conversation seemed like fine. So I was like, why why have I muted this person? So I clicked on to show who the person was that I had muted. And it's the quartering. I haven't muted the what? quartering. That's weird. Are you sure? it, it, I've it heard that a few times rants? too, yeah. What if it was one no. of his drunken rants and you're like, eh, <laughs> quartering's on a drunken rant again. <laughs> Even when he came Last to night. New Zealander, I still didn't mute him. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was... Night. Yeah. He was going all all in on Halloween or not Halloween, uh, Home Alone last night. Yeah, mm -hmm. I didn't even mute him for that either. Did, did you see when he went off on Brit Cooper? <laughs> well, then I might have I might have muted him for that. Brett, <laughs> Brett, yeah. sorry, Brett. Does no, no, Brett no. Cooper, yeah. Brett Cooper, Brett, Brett whatever. Uh, I I have muted the quarterings. <laughs> yeah. So why the quartering was was uh, muted? I've got yeah. No I've idea. seen a, a lot of people kind of saying the same, very similar things, but they either have found accounts that they muted found accounts that blocked them that wouldn't have blocked them and they talked to the, wow. the other account and they're like yeah i didn't block you yeah like that's all weird. across the the platform i think that's just us seeing what happens because they don't have as many employees as they did before to kind of hit all of these gopher holes right so they have less people and they're focusing on trying to rebuild so we're just seeing like little threads on the outside they're not right. i'm seeing a lot of i'm seeing like a lot of tweets just not loading like I'm yeah. like I, I go into a tweet just doesn't load unavailable unavailable yeah, yeah respo responses ju just aren't there yeah it's like you know you've, you've got x amount of replies let's say five replies to this and you go and it's got like two replies you're right. like where are the other three so There's, I mean they had an infrastructure and bugs that are happening and they're just gonna have to work through that shit just like <laughs> yeah, any other company that's, well, hap I, that's I, happened I, for the entirety of fucking Twitter it happens to YouTube every single fucking day so every it's fucking fucked day. up on the back end there's something weird with the homepage like well, well it's the way they roll their code out which is the reason why this is happening. Yeah. I don't know, guys. I think it's uh, definitive proof that uh, Twitter is going to uh, just die by the end of the day. I, I've heard, it's all done. You know, yeah, yeah. Well, it's all gone. Some pretty mm -hmm. reliable accounts. Well, they had an infrastructure with thousands of people as employees. Yeah, of course, it's going to take a little time to re rebuild that. Like, and not rebuild it as in code, not as in just re think, restructure and go, them, you need to fix this, you need to fix that. Like, that's behind the scenes stuff. Most of them were at home fucking off. That's very true. Like, it's very not, true. no, it, they've actually been yeah, running without these thousands of employees for a couple of years now. And that's why he came in and said, why do we need any of these fucking just, people? Uh, They're not Go. Here. Just get out we, of here. We have more of the caterer. We have, they, have, they have more people in the fucking little commissary restaurant than they did people at the work, at actual work. A few employees went out after they were fired for goodbye drinks, and it was written up in this article somewhere that they were uh, dismayed to realize that all of their corporate cards had been shut off, and they were trying to use those. I saw that them. video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're like, oh, guys, let's expect? check the video. This is hilarious. You got fired. That's just supposed to show you they could, they, they could spend whatever. Like, that that used to be okay. It's so crazy. God, talk about Elon being had that, pampered was it, 1 meeting. He had that 1 a.m. meeting, and he said this is the most people have seen in this building. 
Yeah. Wow. Like anybody, I would say for most people, this is my experience. Every job I've ever fucking had. Uh, it ends up being about 10% of the people that are heavily responsible for 90% of the work anyways. Like that's, yep. yeah. that's just the yeah. reality. That is nearly everywhere you will go in society, you find that that's kind of the case. And um, so what they did is they, they cut out a lot of people that weren't necessarily what they were doing. There was one guy who was tweeting about, you know, for the past three years, I've been attending meetings talking about little graphic changes to logos and shit. And last night I like slammed eight Red Bulls and was up till five mm -hmm. in the morning, like, rewriting the code for this next generate like for this next iteration of twitter yeah. like i feel like i'm actually fucking doing something valuable yeah. now. wow you know so and yeah you'd be surprised he's with never the felt more alive and then he thanked elon musk in that tweet of like mm -hmm. he's actually getting to do work then he broke something against his head <laughs> yeah there, there's a lot of made-up jobs out there which is kind of the issue right especially with like the dni positions those are all fucking made-up positions they're not necessary to keeping the company mm -hmm. running hr and as these companies will find out during tough times those positions aren't necessary and those are gonna be the first ones to get hey, cut ryan is <laughs> valuable as the <clears throat> diversity and inclusion officer here oh uh, he is the first to get fired we just need one For the people who are posting <laughs> these uh adult daycare videos they are exposing the company yes yeah and they're exposing yeah. their jobs and they're exposing the people who are in the same vicinity uh as their jobs to to be got rid of you are you are nothing you're meaningless uh, and so corporates will probably look at these these daddy daycare shit and they'd be like uh yeah okay well this is a good way to cut revenue because we had we, we got people who talk about fucking yoga and fucking chai lattes and then maybe 11 o'clock i go for a meeting at 11 and then i go and wind with a fucking crate of wine on the roof and you're, wine on you're tap. not an asset to the company you're a detriment to the company oh, i love it when they say uh, but but it was the company that set that up and enabled i, I know that's that. the crazy the thing yeah the that's silicon yeah. valley it's all the companies yeah. there all those startups then, are just like that they show how fucking stupid they are in an economic downturn they're like just showing it's like showing off uh food videos to let like, them eat cake carving africans yeah. or something. Yeah. it's like mm -hmm. terrible it's it's marie antoinette dude it's let them eat cake it's, it's showing how how large their life is and how fucking plebeian you are yep and, and well, have you guys seen the Twitter. Elon Musk fires Gen Z employees Twitter meeting? It's oh, it's a dub. It's, 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 oh, it's a meme, but people, it looks real. I put it, it in the private chat right now. It's fantastic. It's so Whip again, it just it, it does not. It this isn't real, even though a lot of people thought this was real, uh, and it's really good. But I can imagine this is how it, it kind of went. Uh, just watching him kind of just nuke people, uh, right all of a sudden. So so good. Question: <laughs> How many Gen Zs do we have here? <laughs> Alright, 274. Can you tell me what it's a trap. means? It's a... You're vaccinating high school students. No. Oh. You are fired. <laughs> you won't be missed. Here is the next question. Oh my god. How many hours do you think there should be in the work week? It doesn't sound anything like that. No, I know, I know. Yeah, 134, go ahead. Yeah, I think it should just be 30 hours. Yeah, why is that? Because, boss, man, sometimes you just need time to chill. Am I right? Yeah, I hear you. Well, no, this you can't have be real. Time to rest. No, it's oh, not. No, it's not. not. Okay, it's okay. a meme. It's a meme. Fired. <laughs> <laughs> Are you happy that we restored the account of Donald Trump? Well, I have prepared for you a special message. You're fired. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're fired. Let's relax. Let's just listen to pop music. Man, I feel like I'm in a club, baby. All right, that's enough. Now, do you all appreciate free speech? <laughs> you? Well, here's my free speech. You're all fired. Get lost. Get fired. <laughs> <laughs> That's a kid lost. So a lot of people thought that was real. A lot uh, of people thought that was actually uh, real. I think the reality might not be too far no. away from that. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of really respect how efficiently he did it. He just said, "Hey, everybody, if you want to work, sign this document by tomorrow." 
Yeah. And he that's knew he, that the majority of people were like, uh, work? More what is than that? that? I don't the know. The tactics he was using to just cut the fat on that and like like yeah. saying, finding out who's really dedicated. All right, get into the office. You're working le- yeah. late, you know, overtime. And the people that are actually committed will do it. And it, it's actually really efficient. He's already done. It was done. In which he has been like, Getting rid of the fat is just yeah. impressive. It was done much no better, but uh, he did the same thing at Tesla when when COVID was done. Remember, he like moved the factory out, and then he told everybody to get back to work. He got a little kickback yeah. on that. Fired a bunch of people. He uh, got a lot. You remember when he? So when the coronavirus really started to, the, it was before the lockdowns happened. But he had tweeted out. He said, "This coronavirus nonsense is stupid." And he got a lot of kickback mm-hmm. on that, a lot. And that was before it really got bad. He's he's always been kind of right. you know out there uh, and, and calling shit out. I mean, again, I, someone asked me the other day when I was live streaming, they're like, uh, "How can you trust Elon when he's X Y?" It's like it's not about. Tr- I don't want Elon to hang watching my kids. I don't trust but him. do I, do I do I trust him to run a social media company based on what he's done in the first month? Yeah, hundred percent. Does it mean he's hundred percent right? No, the Alex Jones take is really bad, and his whole amnesty thing is going to be interesting if Alex Jones is still banned. Yeah, when he yeah. does this, because that's a that is a problem. But he's doing so much good that you can't ignore all of the good just because there's a couple of problems with it, and there are massive flaws in that with him not bringing Alex Jones back. There's right. major the, issues with that. Yeah. The good is definitely outweighing the bad, that's for sure. I'd rather that Elon be running that. it than Jack or any no, of his lackeys over there. Yeah. Or I, that I, don't, board. I don't even think Jack knew how it was being run. Like, See, uh, see when he was on Rogan, like, every time he, he got asked no a question, clue. he was like... <laughs> And look yeah. into like the fucking yeah. like v- vagina Begum or whatever the fuck her name was. Like fucking... he must have been like perpetually stoned all the time because he was pretty fucking clueless. He, he looked like he turned up to work every single day just to do yoga and then leave. Yep. Yoga. And then he went for, yeah. Yeah. Remember he went through that weird phase where he's cosplaying Osama bin Laden. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's yeah. doing like yeah. vision quests out in the desert and stuff. Yeah. That, was, that was a weird phase for him. Where is so. he now? Is he in like South America or something? I, he was I on. I, I came across some random Tesla live stream where it's Elon trying to push crypto, and he was on the, he was on the live stream with it and didn't say a fucking word. He just went, hmm. nodded. Sounds, sounds like <laughs> He's just yeah. tripping, man. He's like, maintain, yeah, man, maintain. Yeah, and Jack Dorsey's still involved that, with man. He's still involved with Square, right? Like the payment yeah. process. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, I believe so. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, Elon's like a madman, and he's always been a madman. When I worked at Tesla, we had to get the Model 3s out like before the quarter was over, and we were way fucking behind. So he just assembled a a car factory assembly in the parking lot of the car factory assembly. He just brought a (laughs) bunch of machines, got some tents, got twice as many workers out there, and they were putting fucking cars together in the parking lot. Wow. Uh, get stuff done. That's I think yeah. maybe yeah. if you're, if you're, if you're building my car, a freaking business. Take a little man. time just with it. Get stuff done. Now, if you wanted that it. model, that your model three, I would have waited till the next year. I just yeah, that's me. yeah. You but, know, uh, <laughs> just just take a little bit. I don't. I want you to take your time when you're building my car. I don't want you speeding it through. Are those the ones that are like running people over with the self driving? Is that the <laughs> yeah, <one>? or like <laughs> the seams are coming undone, the doors are opening. Did you hear about the battery that caught fire five hours after it caught fire? So, uh, <laughs> yeah, excuse so the, the car crashes, the car crashes, everybody friggin' dies. Sorry. Uh, and then they, the, 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 hope, hope you didn't take too long with the fucking funeral parade there. Right. <laughs> um, the foam, the, the foam trucks, like you have to get like foam to, to put it out and they emptied it and they, and they took it to the, uh, the, um, uh, the junkyard basically. And it caught fire again. Five, la- five what hours. The later. Actual fuck dude. That is crazy. Yeah. That fucking battery. Well, what? No joke. Dude. But, yeah. Yeah. Like, well, especially so if you get to the level of, um, like, a f- like when something metal catches on fire, yeah. Yeah. right? Like th- th- there's like some weird shit that happens when actually metal is on fire. When you get to that type of, uh, <laughs> type, type of scenario when it's not just, Oh, like, uh, an accelerant, like, like gas or something like that catches on fire or like uh paper i know wood yeah. like linen shit like that was so. involved what i know a fire <laughs> where metal was involved oh thank you as oh did it <laughs> did any steel beams melt <laughs> they might have uh, melted. yeah no okay thank you for that <laughs> <Thanks, Ass. laughs> 
Wow. <laughs> Gary, I'm trying to keep the stream in the sensitive Talking column, not in the controversial <laughs> column, okay? Why? Just made it come to a screeching halt. So <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I mean, I, I, I think it's very important to talk about how Tower 7 fell when absolutely no plane touched it. Like, I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, I, I think it's a very poignant thing to talk about. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I think Kanye's got some thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say it. I'm Twitter, not going to say it. And it might have been a new rule that you can't talk about, uh, like, the Holocaust not happening or Sandy Hook yeah. not happening or 9-11 not happening. You can't deny I, 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 a... Which all uh, happened, YouTube. Which all of Very those much happened. happened. I mean, yeah. I don't, and, I don't, I don't, I don't deny, I don't deny 9-11 happened. I mean, we all seen it. I think yeah. the point, you know... The question is, who, who done it? Who? Like, yeah. yeah. yeah, the, right, yeah there's course. a difference between questioning uh, or between agreeing that something happened or agreeing with the approved narrative oh, of how happens. that thing happened. Yeah, how are you feeling and, about and, keeping and us out of the controversial think... realm? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't said shit. I said shit. Sorry. 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 Still Listen, we, 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 we should all right, all right, all right, right. Care. roll with it. Let's, what, let's what, talk what, about what, something what, a little what? less controversial. So how about that Elections. Donald Trump? How about that Donald Trump? <laughs> 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 how about baseball? Yeah, ev evidently, that screening, that screening process at Mar-a-Lago is interesting, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, oh. Kanye called, said he wanted to have dinner, but he brought these guys with him. I don't know anything about them. Uh, I just had dinner with Kanye, and then they left. <laughs> not, not with them. I don't know. It was just some gay guy and a Mexican. I don't know. <laughs> 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 that is funny though i mean like trump trump tweeted that out or truth social that out like like he's any regular person like yeah so so called me wanted to have dinner and he ended up bringing like three people i didn't really know and it's like it's not they can't they can't get near you trump if you don't like the screening process that's not even yeah not even hey we should send him through. a message i think we can get through <laughs> yeah, I, I think we can do it there's a possibility <laughs> You know, you're going to show up there, show, which you love so much. You know, are you you talking about much? Okay, let's just kill sure. every conversation. Are you, are you talking you know? to Gary, who just went off camera, probably yes. because he's not talking? And <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, you know your ancient apocalypse show? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. That you think is great. That's I love number it. one on Netflix. Yeah. The Guardian have already come out with an article saying it's the most dangerous TV show. It uh, is. Oh, yeah. It is very dangerous. <laughs> It's, uh, Grant oh, and Randall Carlson are supporting white supremacist uh, Atlantis theories. <laughs> oh. I, I, why would they feel so defensive about that one? Like, okay, I, Bingo. Can't, I can understand and, and, Atlantis I, was an ethno state and diversity exactly. was a positive thing. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand that they might have a certain vested interest in trying to question certain conversations around other things, but like, like oh, the ancient apocalypse stuff. That they, you know, look, look, if, if Tariq Nasheed's allowed to do it, then so should we, right? The reason, <laughs> the, the reason he blocked me on Twitter, the reason he fucking blocked me on Twitter is because we had an argument because he was saying that the original Scottish people were actually a race of black pygmy dwarves. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Right. I'm, I'm not <laughs> I'm not doing a bit right now that is oh, word for word what he fucking uh, said to me Tariq, oh. I, Tariq you, Nasheed you know, man. I, I have to wonder if Tariq Nasheed actually believes it or if he knows exactly how ridiculous what he's saying is I, I, th you, I, think he, I think he'd done it for that long that he eventually started to buy it himself like, do, I, do, I, do you remember on that stream where he said that his dick is a weapon of mass destruction to the white race <laughs> You remember that, Dank? <laughs> yeah, I, I do. I remember. Well, it, it, here's I remember the bad part. After it, by the way, he was that boy. Yeah. <laughs> I remember his about buck breaking and all that as well. And yeah, Tariq, I miss Tariq. I wish he hadn't blocked me, man. He's a no, well, hoot. no. The reason Dankula doesn't wish he blocked him is because at this point in time, if he were still unblocked, he could have a conversation with you, and you would be the one still taken seriously in that situation, even with giant <laughs> yeah. penis as your name. <laughs> 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 Thank you. It's like that's the one guy that I could actually have a conversation with the people that take me seriously. Right? Yeah, that's why I'm, I'm I love Twitter. Like you know? The least ridiculous in the conversation. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Uh.
that dude's it's a been so much gem. fun on Twitter. Uh, I, I don't know where it's going to go. Hopefully it, you know, I don't know about the competition with YouTube. That's a couple of years away, but, uh, I'm for it. I'm, I'm. Oh yeah. yeah. As I said, like with TikTok, I mean, you look how quickly TikTok blew up and out of nowhere. So it, you could do it. And obviously there's huge problems with TikTok and I don't know, like, I yeah, there's Vine way too that many much. fucking women on there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't remember, like I remember Vine, but I wasn't a big user of Vine. So I don't remember how this system actually worked. I obviously never uploaded anything to Vine, but did he, he, he's interested in bringing Vine back based on what he said. Um, I don't know how that incorporates into Twitter, but I think Twitter is going to fundamentally look completely different in two years from now. I, I think it's going to be a completely different platform altogether. Didn't for Twitter own Vine? To do. I thought Twitter owned Vine, so he yeah, already, they already, do own Vine. Does already do they, owns okay, it. I, okay, yeah. okay, okay, I didn't even know that. So it's okay. basically just like, do we turn the switch back so on? It's, so, it's within, mm. so it's in the infrastructure already. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. They pulled it, then shut it down. For some okay. I mean, <clears throat> it... It's actually interesting how defensive YouTube is as soon as they perceive a competitor. Like they were, they've been willing to upend the entire algorithm recommendation thing for shorts to try and compete with TikTok, screwing over a lot of, you know, established channels and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, YouTube is actually very insecure about its position. And so I would love to see Twitter, you know, um, be a viable competitor. And I think we would actually mm -hmm. get to see some change. Mm -hmm. I think because even Twitch has to like negotiate with its top creators to like get them to stay on the platform. Yeah. They actually try and draw up contracts. Wow. YouTube are like the kings of it, but see if that actually does start to be like viable competitors. I know, man, it... I just want, I just want to see YouTube have to approach me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just I'm going to walk into the meeting like Sam Hyde, like, well, yeah. well, well. <laughs> <laughs> what have we got? Here? Isn't that, isn't you were that strict, the big thing behind Dr. Us. Disrespect being kicked off Twitter was the uh, contract negotiation? Because when Microsoft, what was the Microsoft one called again? Oh, Maker. Got, Maker got, mixer, 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 mixer. 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 When, uh, well, when Mixer were around and they were taking uh, Ninja and some others with them, yeah. Uh, I think the well, the rumor is that Doctor Disrespect, you know, obviously used the other platform to negotiate a good contract for himself on Twitch. Yeah. But then uh, when Mixer yeah. went under, Twitter, Twitch were just like, this contract's too fucking big now, and there's no competitor. So, well, I, I, allegedly, what happened because they could have just kept him on the platform. Where else would they have gone? But allegedly, I'm saying allegedly a lot here, right? I don't know if this <laughs> is true. Uh, Allegedly, during contract negotiations, Dr. Disrespect went, well, Mixer have offered me this much. And Twitch went, all right, okay, well, we'll have to go and think about it. And then Mixer immediately went down, and Twitch kind of put two oh, and two together and went, yeah. why, why were they giving you a contract when they planned to shut down next week? You lied to us to get more money, and th that is what caused them to go mental and just ban them. Allegedly, allegedly, that's what happened. I don't know if that's true. Well, um, it, shout out to Twitch. Slasher for, uh, you know, not being too sensitive to release that information for us. Back oh, in the yeah, day. which was, and, and he was, clown, uh, yeah, clown. he was uh, alluding to a completely different yeah. reason as well. Com complete yeah. soy boy. Oh, yeah, did he yeah. ever, yeah, did that ever happen? I remember him. Right. Hmm. No, he kind of disappeared from the internet when last I heard. So. Yeah. You know, one of the other reasons why Twitch is really well situated to be a competitor for YouTube is because a lot of creators already have fairly well established, you know, um, followers on on mm -hmm. on. Sorry, not Twitch. I'm talking about Twitter. Uh, Twitter. Twitter. Yeah, Twitter. Yeah. Twitter. Uh, like, I, I look. I really like um, uh, Odyssey. Uh, I get some good, you know, views there. I relatively and stuff. But it, the next social media platform where I have the most followers is actually Twitter. Uh, and mm -hmm. so, yeah. I like if I was able to post videos there, logic would dictate then that m the best views after YouTube that I'd get would be on Twitter because I already have you know fans, and so it's it's a, in a good and some people have huge followings on Twitter already, and so because migrating your audience is really hard, but because there's already such a large user base on Twitter that that's there's some serious potential there that um i'm interested in I, I would upload on both youtube and twitter i would do that yep, i'd love same. to see that yep. yeah 100 yeah. but, but i would charge my sponsors double <laughs> <laughs> absolutely <laughs> this is a, it's a good point he makes here benny no but benny's yeah yeah, yeah. benny's awesome, awesome. This, shout this out to benny great from benny benny's great yeah. yeah so what does he say after the left equals revolution and destruction 
Oh. All right, so let, let's read the whole thing. Hold on, let's just read it instead of so we so the audience can hear it too. Okay. Uh, so Benny, so Elon Musk says, "What do you think of the culture war?" It's a really interesting response. But Benny says, "The right equals natural law. Natural law equals unchanging moral principles that unite humanity. Majority support natural law. Movies, art, music, writing built on unchanging moral principles become timeless classics." Example: Top Gun Maverick, 1.4 billion in the box office. Mm -hmm. The problem is the left equals revolution destruction. A small minority agree with this culturally suicidal worldview. Hmm. But artists, writers, and an activist champion it loudly, aggressively, violently at times. It's a revolution after all. Even though they have fringe minority support, the left has full capture of the cultural means of productions. Hmm. Hollywood, activists, ESG investing, academia, yeah. nonprofits, big hmm. tech with this platform is a notable exception. All these tools used to manufacture false consensus that mm -hmm. the left has won the culture war. It's fraudulent. Even though we have the majority in principle, the right has abandoned the battlefield of cultural revel, uh, revel, relevance Relevant. by creating nothing. There is no mm -hmm. right-leaning space that creates culture, no institutional investment in creative storytelling or products. The right loses the culture war to the left because we don't even try to fight. But I believe this will change in my lifetime. Boom. Yep. Hell yeah. Very, well very, well very well said. She's very well said. Very well said. Benny's been killing right. it. And so Somebody obviously we had him. We, we had I mean, him we had him on a few <laughs> weeks ago. So you guys follow Benny for sure. We love you. Yeah. I, I think he I think he has a point when he says the right seems to have abandoned certain things. But at the same time, the the right have been pushed out of many spaces where, you know, pushed cultural back. artistic You're right. Things, yeah. You're right. Yeah. And, and and what should have happened, I mean hindsight is twenty twenty, is push back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, and and it, it goes it goes with the leftist uh, revolutionary tactic, which is destroy everything, and that mm -hmm. that's easier to do than preserve mm -hmm. than preserve. So you uh, you know the yeah, right, it was I think the yeah, right it was, that it was answers so many questions. Mm -hmm. They were like, why can't we just get along? That that was the and the well, other, like I fucking hate you. That's a little yeah, hard it, to argue. Yeah. Very much, it was a matter of letting the wolf into, you know, the hen house thing, where where it's like you're a, you know, you, do you support diversity? Well, I want to be a good person. I support diversity. Well, you need to do this, and then the snowball happens, and then they yeah. get in, yeah. inside and control and all that. Yeah. I mean, but if well, the right is going to create their own Hollywood, we'd have to have like a base. <laughs> uh, like the only example I can think of right now is like if Daily Wire started their own like entertainment segment I don't, I don't think they would or would be like the right choice but look every, the right would have to agree like okay this is the foundation with which we build the new hollywood but like we can't even decide the difference though chrissy is uh the le okay the right wants to preserve things and not necessarily put right leaning politics and and everything that's the argument i hear from most of my friends we just want balance the left doesn't want balance it wants the right wiped out completely yeah yeah, yeah that explains why you go but, hey why would you buy Star Wars and then destroy it in the, in the most easily preventable way? Just plan it out. No, that's not why, because they wanted to destroy that. Why did yeah, they do they that do. to Star Trek? Why did they do that to all these things? Because they were destroying the culture. It comes to a cultural thing as well, especially with things like Zoomers. Like, Because one thing that someone pointed out was right now being like left wing and having the funny colored hair and the ambiguous gender and all that stuff is, is is what's cool mm. it's what's cool to be interested in right now but then obviously that's all going to go out of fashion like everything fucking else like in the 60s it was cool as fuck to be a fucking hippie and then <laughs> yeah. after that like not so fucking much <laughs> uh, man like you know you've still got the little communes everywhere and stuff like that but like eventually it's going to come a point where there is going to be a swing there is going to be a massive yeah. swing and then movies are contributing to it because I, I don't know if I spoke about this last time. Did I talk to, talk to you about the Hayes Code? The old Hollywood rules from like way back in like the 30s, 40s, 50s. No. Well, the Hayes Code was like, there was rules about movies, things like can't show homosexuality. The bad guy has to always get his comeuppance. You cannot show mixed race relations. Everything has to be Christian values. Oh, man. Yeah. Blah, Fucking blah, blah. base. Yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> but what they've done, the reason that they brought that in was to stop society being influenced into immorality and basically left-wing ideology and blah, blah, blah. All that ended up happening was people fucking hated these movies and started watching foreign films that didn't have they to abide by the Hayes Code. America got fucking absolutely annihilated in the movie market during those decades because all everything they were producing was shit. Because if if there's anything that doesn't make art good, it's fucking rules. Yeah. Right. And then basically, <laughs> and even though they tried to stop society shifting, boom, the fucking sixties happened. 
and we're seeing basically the exact same thing now but it's like even like in the first episode of fucking resident evil about zombies white people bad what does that have to do with umbrella like, right. like that type of shit it's, and it's happening now and what's happening is everybody's tuning out and all these movies are getting batgirl never even got fucking released I know what, man, like, every, cause then corporations are starting to realise that no one's watching this shit, everyone's fucking tuning out, and society's fucking shifting anyway, so see the exact same shit that happened in the 60s, it's happening now, but this time yes. it's right wing. Yep, and the, the pendulum swings, I never thought I'd see, live long enough to see some some of the shit we have, but I have. And now, and, and now we have Nick Fuentes and Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> so um, so I, I wanted to bring this up real quick. It's from some stupid poll from Morning, Morning Consult, but I thought it was interesting mm -hmm. because it said uh, the headline of this article is, is Gen Z, quote unquote, too cool for Marvel? So Gen Z, uh, that's who Marvel, Disney, that's who they have all been shooting for. Look at the percentage of Gen Zers watch Marvel shit. It's 9%. It's fucking nine uh, percent. I'm sure it's small them. for Star Wars. Yeah, I think uh, they missed Gen Z a little bit. You got yeah, millennials because that was they, like twelve years ago. They don't have any. They don't have any fucking money. No, they don't. Nope. No, nope. they're going like, for that audience. You know, the millennials are there, but look at like baby boomers are second over Gen Xers. Damn, because what are Gen Marvel, Xers doing? Because Gen Xers, what? Well, no, we're making videos. Boomers, they like <laughs> Dr Marvel. drowning in mortgage payments, <laughs> watching uh, watching YouTube as well. Gen Zers uh, are just out doing TikToks. That's what they're doing. They're not yeah. watching movies. Yep. <laughs> uh, but you see this like this now. This is a poll based on like twenty two hundred people who and and only sixteen hundred claim to be Marvel fans of the movies, the TV, and the comics. You can just leave the comics off that because that that wouldn't even be a, a a tenth of a percent on this. But uh, yeah. Hollywood's been going for the Gen Z audience and uh, a couple of studios. I know Paramount did, and I believe Disney has too, has hired TikTokers to make content for them. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's the most cringe you know, crap. If the in president the world. can do it, yeah. why can't I, I, will, I will say too, yes. and there's something interesting I find here despite making up only 13% of the overall population for Marvel fans, black adults actually attended Wakanda Forever at a 44% rate. So. Mm. And they got the, the advertiser was spot on for that one. They did, except uh, so Black Panther had a, an equal, uh, you know, white people, an equal amount of white people showed up and, and half as many showed up for the sequel. And uh, the male audience was down too. Grace broke it down when she complained about the MCU. We were told not to go. Oh, we were told not to go. Mm -hmm. Yep. So me and I, Ryan, me and Ryan made it happen though. We qualify just barely. I still went. I don't just like being told what to do. I bought a ticket to Black Adam. It didn't help that movie. No, it didn't. <laughs> you know, people, people are so fucking. Uh, people are mad, like about my Black Adam flop video. It fucking flopped. Like you can't lie about it. I, I was saying it from the fucking beginning. The numbers weren't gonna work. It didn't make any sense. That movie and no, it was it's, like it's bad. massively down. It, it was. It was. I would rather watch Black Adam than Wakanda Forever, a hundred percent. But that doesn't mean that Black Adam's a good movie. No. I, I think out of the theater, I gave it a five. I would probably downgrade it from that. But mm -hmm. it was a very like average ass movie that was messy as fuck, fuck the first hour or so, and it it did not do well in the box office. No, That's the bottom line. Well, people are like, okay, what Dank was talking about. It's it's flipped now. We've got these whole new set of rules, and I've read them. I've read them. Uh, these these rules. It's now not just from the government. Well, it is from the government basically. It reads CRT, and I was reading these things two years ago from the Roddenberry Institute, which is you know Gene Roddenberry's yeah. son, uh, and behind star trek and all the garbage they're putting out it was crt writing it's like what you can and cannot write anymore you cannot write like a story of a handicapped person overcoming their handicap that that's that's anti a whatever ableist or whatever the hell it's ableist, called yeah it's stupid uh, yeah that, like that that kind of story you can't uh you can't have uh a, a, a you can't have a group of black people be the bad guy <laughs> i mean you just can't write just that can't anymore and and that's been an unwritten rule over the last five years, you know. What we're uh, we all believe that anybody can be a bad guy. Of course, I have to say that as some stupid disclaimer. Uh, for oh no, Twitter's not really the what it used to be. So never mind. But um, <laughs> for YouTube, you know, what I mean? it's, it's 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 flipped, and there are so many of these, and every fucking site, every every company has it. So Amazon's got their you know diversity and inclusion web page. Disney's got their and like mm -hmm. you read that shit. Garrett uh, yeah. read. Amazon's on on a on a stream 
It, fuck. It's brutal. It it's brutal. And that came out in 2015, 2016. It was, it was a, well, a long no, time No, Salty, uh, she's on the head of it now, and they redid it in 2020, I believe, 20 ah. or 21, right around when she, like, really came to power uh, maybe a couple years before that but, but she, it, was, it was written during 2020 the, during right years, after the summer of love everybody redid theirs where right all after of that summer. was accepted all of that was like yeah that's the accepted thing no problems here whatsoever so of course they could do that they could do that then not now if they did that if they did that now people people well, just don't accept it anymore well here, here's the problem now uh As and this is the seen. problem disney's gonna come into is like this shit ain't selling they, they don't have a bunch of investor money. Money is just completely dried up. Layoffs are coming. Economic mm -hmm. downturn is here. Uh, and they can't afford this shit anymore, but now they're painted into a corner. Like, how do you undo this? How, how do you get rid of the rot? And uh, I don't know if you can. I don't think Disney can. Uh, I just, I don't think that's going out on a limb. I think they're just going to go down with this mm -hmm. bullshit. Not but with Iger. Was even, um, Chris Gore, brought, it's a really fucking long article, but it's that New York Times article where they're they're basically saying... Maybe all this woke shit um, is pissing people off. <laughs> you think? What? It's almost like we've been saying. Wow, well, it's as years. if people haven't been complaining over the last five fucking years about it. Yeah, Jesus to Christ! Consider the possibility they're coming to the very wrong conclusions, but uh, they're yeah. yeah, but didn't better. the heir of Disney last year come out as trans and all this shite? Yes. So oh. they're invested. They're invested literally from the family now. Never yeah. mind the corporation mm -hmm. from the family side. In it. Well, I remember, they had that that whole. Seminar, the imagine the future or reimagine the future. Imagine whatever. tomorrow. Reimagine our tomorrow. not so gay agenda. They were like, I, I'm yeah. executive. I have all of my kids are trans. Every single one of them. Oh. Look, at the, look at them. Wow. My, my, oh, favorite, one, my no. favorite one Wait, was. My favorite one was the anti-woke savior, Bob Chapek, who is yeah. literally sitting there in front of the camera with a rainbow colored dildo fucking in his mouth as he bent over to let the LGBTQ mafia fuck him in the ass. But somehow he's fighting against the world mob. All right. Uh, yeah. And then they said they were going to actively try to take down a law that was passed uh, by the people of Florida. Yeah. Like that gonna... Disney as a company was going to make it a priority to overturn a law that was passed in the state of Florida to protect kindergartners from being sexualized by the government. How's that that's, working that's for Disney? Stance, Disney? That's your fucking priority. Ah! And, and then you and then you wonder why every single animated movie that's coming out is just flopping hard. It's almost like mm. families don't want to have anything to do with Disney anymore. Yep. Strange World is going to be a complete fucking box office bomb, just like the mm -hmm. last several animated movies by Disney have been. Is that the that one that just came out, or is it the Pixar one? It's the one that it's the one that just came out, and it's the one with uh, featuring the gay teenage boys and uh, some environmental because fucking. The plot. animated the movies from Disney were family trans. movies. They were movies for your kids. You know, there were yeah. movies that you could put your kids in yeah. front of the TV and go off and do something. Now they're not movies for kids. They're they're bloody propaganda. Yeah. And and that's that's why people are getting turned off because parents don't want to put their kids in front of propaganda. They want to put their kids in something wholesome that's fun that they, can it be interesting. Not pushing some agenda upon them. And if you want to push some sort of sexual agenda on child, guess what? You're a groomer. You are a groomer. That's exactly what you're attempting to do. And it's and it's in every form of media. It's not just in Disney, in the animated side. We're seeing it absolutely everywhere. And it gets to a point where people just get fucked off. I'm not, you know? I'm, not I'm not I'm not Catholic, but I got my daughter baptized so that we can send her to Catholic school. <laughs> <laughs> because because if you think that shit flies in there, you're sadly mistaken. <laughs> I'm right there with you, man. Um, I'm not uh, Christian. I'm not practicing, but my kid goes to a religious school. He takes Bible study. He's like doing it all. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I just need to worry about him coming home and saying some stuff. You know, I don't need to worry about him coming home and thinking he's a woman or something like that. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if they come home and say, I got a drug problem. You know, thank God. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Like, did you guys hear? Like, yeah. the, like the I know where this is going. I don't want to trip the algorithm too much, but um, the thing that just happened in Colorado Springs. Uh -huh. Uh, mm -hmm. the dad of the guy who did it wait, is wait, actually wait, wait. hilarious. It's actually Ryan in like 25 <laughs> yeah, years. The guy's like, like, the, the most based 
He's like, oh, oh, well, well, I heard. Is, at least he's not gay. Was basically yeah. Was his thing, he's, yeah. What? He's what? he's like, I heard, I heard, uh, I heard he, there's a couple people shot at a gay gay bar, and I'm like, was my son gay? And then I found out what happened. It was so <laughs> shit. Well, he's uh, not gay, you know. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> that's like, and and I love how he says we don't do porn, that's that's crazy. Crazy. we don't do gay in this yeah. household. We don't, we don't do gay do in this gay. household. Like, I love I, I love how the mass shooting's fine, apparently, you know. <laughs> I think, don't think about maybe that maybe, maybe he got grounded yeah. for a couple of days scooter. or something like that, you know, but fuck's sake, man. I like I think I like saying scooter instead. That's good. Scooter. Is that his name, Scooter? No, no, no. Instead of it's, saying instead of Oh, Matt Scooter. 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 That dude Ryan looks like he could be named that one. That guy looks like he could be named Scooter. I can see that. Yes. He no, also I had looks to take like a double he's take. done way too yeah. many drugs in his life. I, I, he was I had to take a double take because I wasn't sure if that was one of my family members in Alabama. I was like, "Well, okay, okay, he's not. He's not related to me, uh, but it could have, could have, could have been though." Holy shit, man! Uh, yeah, that, that, really, that, that was a crazy interview. Was like, really yes, it was. Though, and then the headlines were like, "Ex male porn star MMA fighter." <laughs> I'm like, "What? What?" So it's, ama- well, it's amazing. Well, they're trying to sway the narrative yeah. away from the shooter himself mm-hmm. because the shooter himself is non-binary. Hey, well, no, yeah, the shooter say, themselves. Yeah, I was going to say, non-binary? The shooter yeah. themselves. I, yeah. I, will I, will Axios. I will respect pronouns whenever someone decides to make them up, just like the left has been doing for the past fucking decade. Yeah. Yeah, I, well, when I when I saw like former, you know, ex former porn star and there was a tragedy involved, I thought they were actually talking about George Floyd. And then I realized, oh wait, no, they're not talking <laughs> about George different... Floyd. Interesting how they never started with that narrative about oh, George boy. Floyd. So yeah, there you go. that's one. That, that's wait, that's one of the highlights. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> Man, if you're if you're putting positive high Twitter, and negatives, high Twitter. In you, I'm just saying, if you're putting positives and negatives, Twitter, I'm not going to have a fucking Steven positive section. Stop looking at me. Look share. at him. Look at that guy. He's the one that fucking said <laughs> it. Black. Not me. Uh, I can't. X-ray, could you grab that? In the chat. It's, it's, wow! It's, what, what did you say? Sorry? Could you, can you grab, grab that, that, please? Grab what? Grab? Oh, this His penis. penis? Sorry. Um, Giant penis. I don't do that anymore. I'm a one anymore. penis woman. Aw. <laughs> what? That's very sweet. Wait, now that's why, gonna, that's why I got into trouble. Don't do it anymore. How many pieces were you? Grabbing? How many? <laughs> For the record, I, hang on. Adam I know brought up 9 11, and he's trying to I act like that. I did something bad. <laughs> and look where his conversation led. At least we moved Move it. All I said is, I know, I know something where metal melted. Hang on. You're letting it play, X ray girl. Pause it. We have to, we oh, can't okay. hear it either. Sorry. Hear it. Also, I, I'm just taking Stephen Voiceover's word that it's copyright, copyright free. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Come on, I bro. totally believe you, bro. Thanks. <laughs> See how quick Az was willing to jump off the Jeremy train right there. Oh, it was him. <laughs> wow. I saw a bus go past, so I threw you under it quickly. <laughs> oh, shit. Look at this. Oh, always looking out for each other here. We oh, always yeah. are. <laughs> Says Gary, I don't care about you, nerd Roddick. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Are we All right, ready? Let's watch it. Okay. Uh. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it might be copyright free, but that cop might get in trouble. <laughs> what is it, son? I don't know, sir. But it looks like a giant. Willie. Yeah. What's that? Well, it's it looks like Pedro like Pascal. Hey, Who's that? Wait, this is fantastic. Dick. Yeah. Take a look out of starboard. Oh my god, it looks like a huge wank. (laughs) (laughs) I was distracted by that enormous flying. Johnson. Yes, sir. Get on the horn to British intelligence and let them know about this. Austin (laughs) Powell. <laughs> so good. So simple. I want it to end. <laughs> oh, man. It's been like two fucking weeks, man. Oh, oh, man. Of all the problems to have, yeah. Yeah. giant penis for two weeks. It's first world problems. Never had that <laughs> My cup runneth over. <laughs> 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 oh no uh all right we got a super chat here from uh, my son logan 
for uh, fifty dollars. Oh, I'm gonna come. Oh wait, there we go. Oh, 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 no! All right, okay. Disney <laughs> got to Gary. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, Gary's been watching a little Game too of much. Game of Thrones is supposed to remain a fiction, Gary. Yeah, You're yeah, not yeah, a Targaryen. Yeah. Yeah, take holiday, Gary. Oh Halloween. no, no, no Disney, no Disney for you. <laughs> oh, Gary. Logan, securing, uh, she's securing the secession. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Logan for fifty dollars says, "Hey, hey, Dad, I'm happy to spend my Friday with the fellowship, especially since my girl just dumped me. She <gasps> kept Again? shouting the two main complaints with me. I, uh, I never listen, and something else." <laughs> 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 that is great. Sometimes it's okay. Sometimes the bullets. It's okay. Sometimes the bullets dodge you. Hail <laughs> That's, you. Right. Oh, That's, funny, man. That's awesome. <laughs> That's fucking funny. That was good. Uncle how old is he? Very good. How old is my son? He. Well, yeah. that's not really my son. I'm just asking for a friend. Seventeen. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Too young. Too young. Stay away. He doesn't need yeah. girlfriends. He needs to just be himself. He, he is. Trust me. Uncle Squatch for $50. Thank you very much. Says Gary. Uh, that package for as. That package for as. I'm not sure how this, this is not starting out very well. We'll see. It's no, on its way. Okay. Uh, I sent it through the USPS earlier this afternoon. Hopefully it arrives in good condition. Fingers crossed. Going to listen to the show while I work on my fantasy novel. I saw number one review video soon, maybe. Well, I want to see it. Uh, yeah, as I'm, I'm forwarding you a package from Uncle Squatch. Okay, it's, uh, it's from Colombia. He said something about oh, oh, oh cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> sure, but it's on the way. <laughs> uh, Reckless Five for ninety nine ninety nine says former lurker. Of Friday Night Tights and an entire crew new on YouTube. Welcome and first time message to Friday Night Tights. We'll be gentle. Yes. Nice. Uh, woke you. up. Uh, that's like the normal version of woke up, not the woke we talk mm. about. Feeling thankful for neurotic geeks and gamers and the community or fellowship. As new indie filmmakers with a new channel, what advice would you give? Regular YouTube posting during production seems impossible. Eh, I, I, a lot, things are, uh, I would say just do it anyway and get it out there on well vimeo used to be for filmmakers but vimeo's lame yep so i would is. youtube is still the best your best option for getting it out there uh and you're just gonna have to market it yourself it sucks but you got to start somewhere so may, I, maybe don't do your citizen cane first that's that's what i would say do some maybe some short stuff but uh just grind make content yeah, just do a bunch of do a bunch of shit before you do something good that's what Gary yes said. you gotta, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta get all the, you gotta work out the kinks you yeah, you, you yeah, got. You just got to. You just got to make shit. You can't worry about anything else. Make what you want to make, and it will take time, but it will work itself out if you're putting good stuff out there and it's connecting with people. It will work. It's just you can't let just things get in the way. Do it. Just <laughs> do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. <laughs> and start small. Don't do anything huge. Start small and and build from there. Uh, the Hardy Boys. Don't say that a, a dude's got a nice rack. <laughs> yeah. Don't do that. I wouldn't start with that. I wouldn't open with that. Uh, that was, Don't put that in like later. It. But uh, uh, the Hardy Boys and the investigation of internet porn for fifty dollars. What a name! I missed that book. <laughs> <laughs> what a name! I think it came out in twenty twenty. What's all That's this? A mouse book. He probably did. What's this plushy crap? Where are my X-ray girl throwing stars? D-Day Cobra bald cap, comics division, step ladder, RK outpost. <laughs> step ladder. Where is the gear that will make the red-blooded uh, Reaganaut? Uh, oh, feel I, was, I thought we were trying to rhyme. Uh, Reaganaut. Reaganaut. Reaganaut, maybe? Reaganaut. I don't know. Reaganomics. Reaganot. 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 Reagan, like Reagan. 
Why you you put it in there, X Ray girl? You I tell know. me what it is. <laughs> okay, you guys, half the time when she, I don't know what it is, I probably don't know what it is. Orange gun. <laughs> she 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 good at math, not English. Orange <laughs> gun. Let's just make judge English, you okay? You just no, said half, Wait, wait. You just said half the time you don't know no don't know what it is. You don't know what it is. What about? Yeah, because half of the nerd stuff, I'm like, oh, I don't know this acronym. Oh, oh like, my that gosh, must be must some be something made up. Thing. It must That's be a true. nerd thing, but I don't get. It. I, I can I can see that. I think that makes sense actually. <laughs> Just say orange gotten and move on. Yeah. Orange gotten. It works all the time. Here, I'll show wow. my feet so you can forget. Oh. <laughs> Feel the Why is always the going fucking feet? My hair back. People will forget. <laughs> Oh God. Right, yeah, <laughs> plushy. I'm just gonna say to them. Oh, by the way, just don't put any shoes on it. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Uh, on hers. My God, my feet. They could be removable. Oh. What do you mean, X-ray girls? Plushy. Yes. Yeah, okay. no. Gary's like, just, just like cameras on the whole yours. time, huh? Gary doesn't even know we're live right now. Cameras <laughs> 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 on the whole time, huh? <laughs> 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 yeah. the whole time. This man can do a full-on breakdown of every Rings of Power show that he hates and make millions, get millions of views, and then he can't keep up with a literal conversation that's happening in real time right now with X-Ray Girl. And I am trying to read and keep up with the conversation. It's very difficult for me, okay? Yeah. To, to, to be fair, Rings of Power is really fucking slow. All right? yeah, it, was, it was very easy for someone like me. To, to yeah. Uh, thank you, the Hardy Boys, and investigating the internet porn. Hope you get to the bottom of that. I really do. Um, Shake from Hunger Team has gifted 10 neurotic memberships for $50. What's up, Shake? And Morgan for $50 says, Hail Friday Night Tides. I am 100,000 words into my uh, uh, book five of my fantasy series. Holy shit. Uh, which I will not publish until it's finished. I am not George R. R. Martin, if nothing else. Enjoying your content and enjoying mainstream content through you has shown me what not to do. Well, good. Thank you. There's a lot of uh, lessons to be learned of what not to do over the last five say, or six is, years. It, yeah. Is that a compliment? Can't tell. I, I think yeah, so. it, I'll take it as a compliment. See, that's that's see how easy that is. It's just like if you don't understand, it, just take it as a compliment. And move yeah. on. You know, <laughs> yeah. if you're insulted, yeah. you're, you're too stupid to know anyway, so it doesn't matter. It's life, man. It's all yeah. good. It doesn't need to be hard. You don't need to make it hard. He said sometimes it has to be hard. Sometimes it's good it to be hard. hard. What's your giant penis? Then, then you got to be hard. What do we want to? Oh, let's uh, pull that um, variety article with the I, with the bobs, the bobs, the two the bobs. bobs. I'm not done bobs, enjoying this shit at all because I'm enjoying the hell out of Disney firing their ceo in the middle of the fucking uh, night on a sunday a sunday you crazy it's fucking Iger. hilarious after years of the Iger. disney stands going it's profitable it's fine you don't know what you're talking it's about dead that's not dead okay never mind the stock is tanking it's fine yeah, it's mm -hmm. right. all the movies it's suck and they're not it's making still money good. it's still good it's still good and their, fire their ceos on a sunday night right after he announces elton john all the fucking time happens every day Wakanda uh, Forever was so bad that a Disney CEO got fired over it. Dude. Right in the middle of the release. <laughs> <laughs> you hear me? How is that uh, not a video title? Uh, I know. I've you know. Trust me. I, I've already thought about doing that one. I've been so wrapped up in the Elon, Dave Chappelle world and the, and the po political world. I've actually been posting to D-Day Cobra, Gary. Okay? Whoa. You'd be happy. Okay? I've actually been posting over there a lot. No. Oh. Good. Pretty, uh, pretty tied up in all gamers that, going so. too, doing both. Like you want me to? Yeah, do I know. I know. I know. A pussy. So, Come on. I know. I know. Stop for, Fortnite Fortnite for forty hours. Hey, it's fucking fun. It's and and War, Warzone two point is out. Time for I'm fun. Not let Az, so I'm not gonna let Az join me though. So fuck him. No, you just let me stay up till three o'clock in the morning. Go. Oh, I'm gonna play fucking Fortnite instead. Is this, supposed to be, is this supposed to be a play on two girls in one cup here? This headline? Sounds like, like it. Yeah. It sounds like it. No shit. It's Friday. Get wow. the bobs out. Get the bobs out. But they're both dog shit. So. Aw. Uh, gross droopy bobs. No. No. Oh. That is a good curve. Look at that, Look at that line. <laughs> that makes That's a good happy. trajectory. <laughs> Look at that line. And that, that's just this year? 
How much money did they lose on streaming in one quarter? Oof. Ryan, is he there? Uh, one point five billion Ooh. dollars in streaming Damn. just Holy in the last shit. quarter. Now <laughs> there is no breakdown as to what is just Disney Plus or ESPN or Hulu or whatever, but it's pretty safe to say with all the big budgets going into these Star Wars and Marvel bullshit, it has to be Disney Plus predominantly. It has to be uh, because it's not the answer and their movies are sucking and everybody was afraid of uh, Wakanda Forever and Avatar. So nobody released a movie towards the end Wakanda of the year during the forever. holiday season. Wakanda yeah. Forever. Except for that, that David Harbour, uh, Santa Claus, Violent like Night. Violent Night. It's the opening. Of that's, a good fucking, that's a good fucking name, though. It is. Yeah, but that's a good name. No, you, okay, Carter Black, you just brought it up. The opening of Scrooge had something like that, right? Yep. Like a Santa Claus, and it was supposed to be a parody of things to come. It was supposed to be a near future, and we're yes. there. We're, we're there. living in. It was Scrooge. supposed to be like, oh, this. Yes. This where, is where so traditional funny values were let go. Yep. We're there. We're there, and I'm probably going to see it uh, a little early, maybe. So. But, uh, Scrooge is a must. By the way, Scrooge is a must see oh, Christmas movie. Absolutely. Hell yeah. You've been Every a good boy this year, year Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Where the weapon? <laughs> uh, so, uh, Garrett, you gonna read this or is X Ray Girl? Because I can read. Excellent. I read it. Oh my goodness, I'm doing double duty. Um, okay, one second. Why can't you read it, Garrett? Or are you on mic? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. I got it. I got it. Uh, okay. Among the many activities Bob Iger lined up after leaving the top job at Disney, he had begun writing a second book. While his first, The Ride of a Lifetime, recounted the five decades he spent that, at the that, That's actually Galadriel's autobiography about her time in Newman. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> the follow-up is to be <laughs> an exploration on how managers could successfully navigate crisis. Shad's shaking crisis. his head. <laughs> Slow shake. Slow shake of laughing but disapproval. <laughs> <laughs> Now it looks like he's got a few more chapters to write. The return of the 71-year-old Iger. Oh, my God, he's old. Oh, For a two-year stint wow. as CEO will give him plenty of fresh material as he attempts to dig Disney stock out of its five-year low amid the global economic malaise and serious challenges facing traditional media companies. Malaise, huh? Is that what we're calling a recession nowadays? Oh, it's, it's a, yeah. a Probably. It's, it's, it's a minor it's, dip. It's, it's, yeah. The dog's not dead. It's just resting. Yeah, <laughs> like resting his eyes for a bit. When, a when you're when you, when you guys are seventy one years old, like, are you really gonna want to like do shit like that? Like, if you have no. so much fucking money like that, like, unless you want to run for president, and just like have power over fucking everybody. Like me, when I'm seventy one years old, I don't want to do shit. No, I mean, I'm gonna no. live that long first of all. But if I do, oh. I just want to sit there, have somebody try to fucking get me hard and suck me off, and like watch TV all day. I don't want to do anything else. Yeah, go to. I mean, is that any different than right now? You have to pay extra for your nurses, Ryan. They don't have to try that hard to get me (laughs) hard. That's the only difference. I want to retire at fifty and then fuck off into the sunset, man. See, as soon as I feel like I've got enough to live comfortably for the rest of my life, bye bye. Like, no, I'm not getting up at fucking nine in the morning. Yeah, fuck that. It makes that makes me like very like inherently distrustworthy of somebody who like wants to come back after he didn't really come back, but like. It, it takes a lot of fucking motive, regardless of whatever right. Bob Iger's motivations are, like fucking if they're good, which they aren't, or fucking nefarious. That, that, that's commit. That's commitment to do that at 71 years old. Where are they getting this two-year number? Was it released that he's only going to be here for two years or what? That was in the initial. That's what he said. So that's, what yeah. years yeah. that's what he said. Oh, yeah, he's got to run for president in 20, God, 2024. No, it's, so. too, no. it's too late. You, shouldn't, you too should late. not be allowed to run for president if you're over fucking 70. Yeah, I agree. Well, those yeah. are the only ones. So yeah. <laughs> that's all we got now. You got you got an eight year old fucking dementia patient walking around as president of the fucking <laughs> free world. Yes. Yep. And that's why that's why the pound is worth as much as the dollar now. It's a peso. The pound we went up we went up at Soupson. We... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just a little, it's our fault. a little bit. It's Joe Biden's fault. So I don't pay attention to any fucking money that's not mine. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, it, it it affects yours, the value of yours. It mm-hmm. does. Yeah. Fuck the pound. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Why are you gonna be like that? Yeah. Wow. That's a good shit. Wow. What? What? Like, wasn't it originally a pound of silver? Isn't that like what it was? 
You need yeah. a, you need you need a strong UK economy, America. You give a fuck. Why don't you have a president that lasts longer than 45 days? A prime minister was <laughs> the fuck <laughs> you know, we, we shit, right the fuck out there. You know, because they're all shit. As a country, we cannot say shit, even though, yeah, the UK just kicked somebody after 45 days. At least that person knew who they were. Yeah, <laughs> didn't shoot the prime ministers in 45 days, mate. At least they knew where they were. Yeah, it it's okay. Was He's a wet puppet, just like our president. Yeah. Who yeah. are we going to vote for in the UK? Labour? They're fucking mental. Lib Dems, yeah. they're a bunch of bellends. Like, fucking they're, conservatives. They're, they're, well, they're, they're, they're the ones that try and say so, that they're not, they're not communists and all mm -hmm. that, but they literally call each other comrade. Comrade, yes. That's like that's like the Tories pure going like that, like, oh, we're we're not Nazis, but then they're calling each other Einsatzgruppenführer. <laughs> <laughs> I totally believe you. <laughs> I uh, thought we were all Nazis. I thought I thought we were all Nazis. Apparently, uh, we who are, names their party are. that anyway? The Work Party. Like the fuck? It, that like that's what Labour stands. That's Socialist what it means, party. right? Party. The Workers yeah. Party. Oh, okay. Yeah. I guess that makes sense. But even, even, oh, even not anymore. Even though, but, but even though the working class is like eighty percent of the country, they still can't get enough votes. It's fucking funny that, isn't <laughs> <Yeah>. it? Weird. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> and even in the north, like it's starting to lose uh, seats to the blue. So uh, we've got the yeah. SNP in Scotland, and they're even fucking worse. They're fucking insane. <laughs> oh, so who do you vote for? Everyone's just fucking bellend. I do. I do nothing. I don't vote for anybody. I mean, I voted for myself in the last yeah, election. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, you ran. That's. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. I don't know. The, 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 the thing is though obviously I, I i was out of all the end of like other candidates apart from the big main i only came behind like the big mainstream parties i was like the most voted like side character and the thing is obviously i knew i wasn't going to win but I beat the fucking communist party and they were fucking <laughs> ah, furious, that's, yeah. man. That's and hilarious. They were, all, they were all tweeting at me going like that, oh, you're fucking this and that, you're disgraceful and all that, man. And I went, your party was started 30 fucking years ago and you got beaten by someone who posts his balls on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they were upset. Ah, uh, that's so great. And now you're just a giant penis. Yeah, yeah. I'm just a giant penis, yes. Well, you know, it, it, that, they'll, that'll probably get lifted tomorrow. It'll be a good weekend for you. Established titles is going down, so... Uh... Oh, my, yeah. By the way, I've been, I've been fucking singing the siren song on them for a fucking while because everyone was purely like, oh, yeah, you can live come a lord, a lord in Scotland. And, and I was like, yeah. as, a, as a Scottish person that owns land, no, no, you don't. That's not how it fucking works. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, I think the last time it worked like that was like 14 times. 26. <laughs> man, so, yeah. Well, have you heard? I got yeah. a website for you. Uh, no, uh, well, no. <laughs> so they, re they reached out to me and it was like an obscene amount of money. And I was like, that's weird. And it was like messages from China. I'm like, that's also weird. So I, I, I was like, I'm, I'll just kind of stay away from it. But like a <clears throat> lot of people have been using them. A lot, like Ton, a lot yeah. of people have been using them for a long time. So. Yeah. They, they approached me um, about established titles. I didn't know the same company owned Kamikoto Knives, but I blew the whistle on Kamikoto Knives as being a full-on scam on my channel a couple of months ago. Yep. Their, their, their knives are worth maybe $20, and they sell them for like two to $300. Um, and it's yeah. the cheapest steel yeah, you but... can buy. Like your Kmart knives are the same steel as Kamikoto. And they're like, you know, authentic Japanese steel. Uh, but are same company. Than... Well, that... Shock. Are, are they that, better than like... Ryan's but... knife, Chad? Are they better than Ryan's knife at least? Oh, Oh, absolutely they're better than mine <laughs> no, no fuck that but like when it does come to titles like when i saw that like to me i i didn't think that that was legit like you could put fucking lord like you could just call yourself a lord or whatever yeah, i just so thought it was like kind of a dumb i, thought well, it was I just a thought it was kind of a dumb stupid gift like i i didn't i don't like know how buying many people, a star like, took it serious right. yeah exactly yeah. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. That same kind of shit. And people do that all the time or whatever. So the thing is, um, I, I mean, yeah. what I find funny about it, if you want to call yourself a lord or a count, you just do it. And and yeah, yeah. no one can stop you. I like I, you don't need some, you know, authority gratifying it. Oh, we'll let you call you. If you want to just do it yourself, write your own plaque. I just myself dubbed myself a lord. And it's as much authority in ways. Well, you know, since we're all making up pronouns. Yeah, might as well. <laughs> Might as well. Oh, do right. I remember when I was in UKIP, there were some people that thought I was an actual count. 
<laughs> like like proper boomers and everything. And I met I met I met one like old old lady. They, I, I think see because they were saying Count Dankula everywhere. All the younger people knew it was like an online username, but all the older ones that heard the name thought I literally was a count. And this like oh, this like God. old women in her sixties, her sixties or seventies or some shit actually curtsied to me. And shook my hand, and she went, <laughs> and, she, and, and she went. I've never met an actual count before, and I was like, and you, and you still haven't. You know, I'm sorry to say that. <laughs> like, oh, oh, you should have. You know? Dave, Dave, you they should own you it. Were a count. You should have let her have I, it. Yeah. No, I, because if it, no, because if anyone thinks I'm in the royal you, family, they'll think you I'm can a get in trouble. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kinda, kinda don't want to be associated uh, with all that, you know. I don't want to yeah, be doing a really bad interview, true. going. Actually, I don't sweat. <laughs> 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 you know? Oh my oh, god! No. Uh, yeah. Where were we? Oh, Disney sinking. Oh, that's fun. Uh, yes. Uh, it's a stunning development to say the least, but Bob Chapek being ousted isn't the surprising part. While he deserves the credit for even trying to steer Disney through a pandemic in the beginnings well, of the recession. Well, well, he deserves credit what, for taking a job? What the fuck? Wait, why would you deserve credit for that? For, for trying? For being a coward and, and jumping out at the beginning of COVID when he, he knew COVID was coming down way before everybody, yep. by the way. Uh, and they knew the lockdowns were coming out. The reason, shit, my wife found out from uh, a city commerce dude like a week before. Like, oh, yeah, they're going to be locking shit down. Damn. That's yeah. crazy. Iger yeah. didn't get the message a little earlier than yeah, that. Yeah, I'm sure they did. Probably, probably way earlier. He probably he knew goes, it before. Uh, well, mm, I don't want to look bad. So, hey, uh, Chapek, you want to step in here? You want to step they in? They probably knew this shit was coming back in November, December of the year before. Yeah. Oh, shit. Well, they were planning we were, it. Uh, we were in New York at Comic-Con when it started. And that's yeah. when I first heard about it. Yeah. And and even then they're like, this one's going to be serious. But I'm like, you know, my attitude was, I've heard that before. Uh, and I did get the the bird flu one. That one, that sucked. That was crazy. I was, I was in, uh, my wife and I both got that. We both ended up in the ER. And for that. Hey, like, COVID yeah. sucks, but so does the flu. And so does... Dude, yeah, I think the flu sucked worse flu when I got it. Worse. I, I yeah. got it pretty bad, and my wife got it really I, bad. You know, she went it was to the worse for me. Yeah, time, mine so. was pretty mild. I, I had the flu like back in 2017. That literally took me out for a week. This was just inconvenient. Yeah. I got like, I actually got it twice. Well, One time it was really mild, just basically like sniffles, and then the other time it was like knock me dead, like bad. And my wife was so, in the ER and crap. So it's it was weird. Uh, yeah, Jeremy had met. I, Jeremy and I did a live stream, like right after the NBA fucking shut it down. And we were mm -hmm. uh, talking yep. about, we were talking about the powers that be and who knew what. And it's absolutely clear. Bob knew way in advance. And this is, and, and uh, you, I think, I don't know if you said it then. I know you said he's I gonna literally, I said it the I said it the first video I made on it. And, um, but I said it, cause if you look at Bob Iger's history, They've been trying to mold his successor for a long time. Mm -hmm. And Tom Staggs is one of the main people I remember being like the number two guy at Disney. He was being positioned, or if we want to say groomed, to be Bob Iger's replacement at the time. And that was going on for years. And then suddenly Tom Staggs had to, they fired him or gave him a compensation package and he left and because it wasn't lining up. So they kept looking for the right person to replace Bob Iger strategically. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, as soon as the lockdown started happening overseas and it started to affect Disney's box office mm. and their theme parks and all of that because they have a huge overseas market, suddenly, out of nowhere, Bob Iger just says, I'm done. I don't want to run the company anymore. And Bob Chapek's here. And even though everybody fucking hates him in the theme park side, here he is. <laughs> and it didn't make any sense whatsoever. And then after Bob Chapek became um, CEO, there was even like this was like a month afterward, uh, I think. Uh, Gavin Newsom, he was having meetings with Bob Iger. And I'm like, wait a minute, but Bob Iger is no longer the CEO of Disney. He was having uh -huh. meetings with Bob Iger about Disney stuff. Now he was still connected. He was with still, still. The, know, he was uh, still yeah. the chair of the like the executive right. board or whatever. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. He was pissed at Gavin. Remember, he got pissed at Gavin mm -hmm. for a little yeah. while, but then. And so I said in my video, I said, to me, this feels like Bob Chapek is a fall guy. It feels like Bob Iger understands that. This company is about to go through hell yep. along with a lot of the world basically is that there's going to be a rough patch and it feels like he's going to step away. So Bob Chapek, literally my words were so Bob Chapek can take the fall and then once it's mm -hmm. a disaster and then Bob Iger can come back and look like the hero that saves yep. the day. 
Yeah, and that's what has happened. That is exactly yeah. what mm-hmm. is happening. That's right exactly now. what has happened. And uh, and now, so whatever happens, Bob Iger, I feel like Bob Iger doesn't believe anything, no matter what. If he doesn't believe in wokeness. He doesn't believe in, uh, you know, freedom. He believes in whatever is going to elevate Bob Iger. That's all the fuck mm-hmm. he cares about. He's a manipulative piece of shit, and he's a politician. He's a snake. Uh, he doesn't know anything about any of this stuff, but he does know how to be manipulative. He's a he's Gavin Newsom, basically, is who he is. Uh, mm-hmm. And he'll do whatever, and he'll destroy anything he can destroy. But uh, I think right now he's probably going to try to make some moves to make Disney look like they're changing their trajectory um, to make him look good. But in reality, he was always doing this from behind the scenes. And in my mm-hmm. opinion, that's my speculation. Yeah, I think he's been right. here. He's been here for the, the last two years behind the scenes. And Bob Chapek, who's literally just the the worst like face of a company like this guy had no personality like the disney has always had a personality with the person that's running their company go back to eisner eisner yeah. with a fantastic personality you know Iger, not so much the personality that eisner has been but he was still a person that had that that rapport and he had that presence bob, bob chapek has not had any presence as the disney ceo for the last two years none the only presence we've seen Negative. is where he had that hostage video from yeah. the LGBT community mm-hmm. where he was terrified for his life and he just said whatever he needed to say. So that's my stance on it. I think it. they're doing it for the investors to have some sort of like form of stability. Look yep. like they're trying. Well, yeah, their stock is massively down. They need to, you know, boost in some capacity. I don't think that this is going to do it though. Uh, no, from the from the outside, from people well, you mean that are like. About- oh. Sorry, go ahead. I, I, I just think that from, from the outside perspective, you see Disney downward trajectory, downward trajectory, all this stuff through COVID, whatever, after Bob Chapek takes over. You bring back the guy who led to these like great times for Disney. Yeah. He's going to come back and save the company. We all know that that's bullshit when we're yeah. sitting here looking at that. But I think from a outside mass uh, like perspective, it kind of makes a lot of sense. And I do think like they're they're going to it's not going to be this bad for them probably next quarter and the quarter after because they already set things in motion for it. You know what I mean? And I think it's just going to end up with like a good look for Bob Iger from the mass audience. Yep. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Share, share my screen real quick. I'll, I'll play it. So this is a minute clip. This was me two years ago. <laughs> this is oh, I love yeah. the last Jedi. Bob Iger is he stepped away because he knew that what was going on overseas and Disney is heavily, heavily, uh, you know, involved with the overseas market from the theme park standpoint and movies. A lot of their movies don't do well here sometimes, but they do big numbers overseas. What was going on overseas was was already having a profile impact on what they were doing. Now, I'm not saying that he could predict to the level of what's going on right now, but there's definitely he already saw some of the signs and he jumped ship so that way bob chapek could then take over and i don't believe bob chapek is running anything i still believe bob Iger is in full control um i just believe chapek is the is the the titled ceo right now and he will ultimately take the fall and my theory here is that bob Iger will then return as the savior once again mm-hmm. when all this is said and done which no one seems to know the answer to that and here we are, two yep. years later. Yep. Wow. And, mm-hmm. Yep. Do you have any so, uh, predictions about stock market, Jeremy? I'll just. Uh, uh, I got people <laughs> we yeah. can call because I don't know anything I about that. Jeremy, am I going to find Investing crypto. <laughs> am I yeah. going to lose the last ten pounds, Jeremy? <laughs> yes. Yes. Yay! And uh, no, uh, Christmas thank you is like, right around the corner. Thank yeah. you. Like, you'll never. <laughs> thank you. Like, you're never going to change your name. Uh, even if I'm wrong about that, I'm okay giving you at least a little more fear. Your your name will never change on Twitter. So uh, well, I don't think any. <laughs> <laughs> People are never gonna forget it. You're, you're giving them power, Jake. They're always gonna. That's the thing is, I know, I know that even if I change it back, it's still gonna last for like a couple of months. Well, I, I, that's all everyone's gonna fucking say. For uh-huh. me. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna stick to you like herpes, dude. It's gonna. Be <laughs> but, what, like, but, I, 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 with herpes. I, but I, do, I, I do I do feel like some things are gonna change at Disney from a public perception standpoint to make it look like something is different going yes. on 
That's what I think is going to happen. And again, no. he's going to get credit for it. They're going to say, look, he came in here and he fixed it. You know, their profits are up, viewership's up. Uh, you know, all this shit is going on. Those Kathleen Kennedy rumors getting out there again. You know, that's not that's strategic shit that somebody put in that. The, mm -hmm. the, the company, they want that discussion out there because they know she's fucking terrible. But she also knows where the bodies are buried. So they, they're not going to fire this crazy woman. And she's going to leave when she wants. But that yeah. narrative being out there. They love that discussion. And uh, so you're going to see a shift, a, a, a positive shift uh, for Disney. I, I predict that because Bob Iger wants there to be a positive shift How? from when? a perception. So, Do you think the, I Marvels, mean, you think the Marvels will be that po positive shift? No, uh, Fantastic uh, Four. No, because yes. – yeah, Marvel's, I mean, only, Marvel's only <laughs> one, like – Marvel's only one side of it. Um, like right now, you? everything right now is down for Disney. The yep. fucking mm -hmm. parks. People have been bitching about the parks for years. They keep raising their prices up, raising their prices up. The experience is fucking terrible. Like it goes beyond just Marvel and just Star Wars when it comes to Disney. Even though I, those are the things that's predominantly affecting us. I think that there's going to be a big announcement uh, early next year that Disney can capitalize off of. Maybe it's a new film project. Maybe they announce new Star Wars films or some shit uh, they, in a positive they direction. Avatar, hey, Avatar Way of Water that. lost a billion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah, what I'm saying, though, is so, like, if you look at Andor, regard, I haven't watched it. I've watched the first three episodes. I'm going to finish it, but apparently there's some at least – there's some positivity from Star Wars fans, actual Star Wars fans that watch that show. There's some. There's some. But how, um, how, but Jeremy, Jeremy, how posi the, the positivity is it doesn't feel like Star Wars. But, <laughs> no, I, but I will say, how positive can it really be, Jeremy, for you to have not seen an episode for fucking three months, but just keep saying, now I'm going to watch it someday? You, you know what I mean? Well, uh, like. Uh, uh, yeah, well, you know? what I said, what I've said is I was going to binge it when it's done, and I think it just finished. So that's when I'm going to watch it. So now, didn't it just finish like three days ago or two days ago or whatever? Yeah, yeah. So I now guess. I'm going to binge I through interest. it. I just can't um, but the only reason I'm watching be... it is for the feedback. This is like, to me, this is like Black Widow. Why do I give a fuck about watching a prequel to a prequel of a guy that yeah. fucking dies in the prequel to the prequel? Yeah. Oh, no, I totally understand that. I totally understand I, that. I, I, could, I, I would care a lot about like an Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Like I, if it was fucking know, yeah, actually they, they done right. That up. I, I yeah. know, but what I'm saying is just the premise itself that this guy was in a movie and he died, so like I know how it ended. That in and of itself isn't going to stop me from watching something if I'm invested in the character or the way that the story's told. Yeah, yeah but good story that you know, you know who is invested in Andor? Fucking yeah. nobody. Nobody. Google exactly. trends. Yeah, fucking no dead. Dead. And, dead. And so, so they need. They, my point being though. And again, I'm not saying that I care. I'm just talking about optically. Yep. Disney is down. Like Ryan just said, their theme parks, regardless of how down their theme parks are, and they are down, you guys have no clue how many people go to Walt Disney World. And none of you can even comprehend it. It's the most visited place in the world. It's insane how many fucking people go through that park. And you it's got a insane. shitty fucking airport in Orlando, so, by the way. That airport sucks balls. I, I can't I just want to on put it. that in there. Fuck I, I, don't, I, I don't know a lot of. I, I don't think it's too bad. You don't know yeah. shit about airports. He just he hates airplanes. Fly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was, there. It was I fucking thought, retarded. I've, okay? thought, and I've been. To, I've been to Heathrow. I've been, dude. I've been to airports. I thought. I always thought Orlando's airport was pretty cool. But me, but I, I don't mm. fly a lot, so I can't. I'm not. It's, a, there's nothing. There's nothing noteworthy about it, good or bad. It's no Denver um, you, walk, you walk in and you're all to the left, gates one through 79. <laughs> they're like, walk. <laughs> no, there, no, there's a fucking, no, no, there's a tram yes. that goes from 1 to 30, 30 to 60, no, and like 60 to dude, it was, it was split up to like 1 through 75 and 76 to 150 or some bullshit like that. I was like, what? <laughs> uh, but uh, something major has got to, to change with Disney. Something major because – uh, Super Nintendo World is about to be announced for Universal. Universal has been kind of kicking their ass, not overall numbers because they're never going to touch Disney World in numbers. But in terms of market share, they've been chipping away at that market share. They had a really good Halloween. Uh, Disney's numbers are just always working in negative, but they they have to have some massive jump. And I think they will because Bob Iger's got two years to fix this. And the one thing Bob Iger cares about is his legacy. 
That's what he cares about. Mm -hmm. And right now, the, the everything is so down with them that there's almost getting to a point where they can only go up, and they're gonna fake some bullshit. <laughs> I, I think. I don't know. I don't know. Like, like don't know. Star Wars mean? being so dead. I mean, everything in Marvel looks like it's gonna bomb, except yeah. maybe Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three. Uh, that might get some interest and success, mm. but everything else looks just like it's going to be. Oh, I agree. I, I agree. I can't foresee I agree. any announcement of anything that they own right now that could get enough energy that would bring people re like uh, really big. Iron Heart. Hello. Yeah. Like, I think there's Rosen nothing. Three. There's no Star Wars. I, I no think, Marvel that I, they I think that the works. big it. I think when we look at Disney yes. Plus and we see You're just that jealous right she's now, caught more black than you are. I am. <laughs> uh, when we look at Disney Plus and we see that even though they like had decent numbers gain wise, like added subscribers, they're still losing $1.5 billion. I think yeah. for a lot of these streamers, it is a waiting game right now. The reason so many people invested so heavily and are willing to lose billions of dollars initially is because they think that there's only going to be a couple of people left standing when it's all said and done. Hmm. And that over the next two years, you're going to see these other places like Paramount Plus or whatever fucking peacock like all these things are eventually going to be merged into other streaming services i think and then you're not just going to have to worry about investing for original content you're going to have the same thing that made netflix great originally all this back catalog of shit that people are actually interested in yeah so i think that two years from now we could potentially see a situation where disney buys up a couple of these other things and they're able to make their streamer profitable by the time Iger leaves and that'll be like his thing and you know what i mean to, and to ryan's point what is the one thing bob Iger is good at buying other shit that people built because yeah. that's what mm -hmm. he's good at buying yeah. that shit but then he's good at ruining it as soon as he buys it but <laughs> yeah he's yeah. good he's good at buying up other properties and merging them but they do get a small bump in the beginning whether that's you know marvel you know they had a good bump for a long time star wars had a really good bump at the beginning so whenever these mergers happen there's always a good bump until of course the the wokeness starts to bleed into it so it'll be it look it's a really interesting time for disney and i mean there's a rumor out there that bob Iger's is just coming back to maybe sell to apple which is kind of crazy and i think that's a that's a guess a lateral move because it's like I, just, yeah, I, I, just, I, I hate <laughs> apple i fucking despise apple so I, I i but they're a massive company they're the most expensive company in the world um i don't know it, it, it'll be interesting what huh? would they sell like do you reckon they would sell off something like star wars no it's the company the entire company is rumored. Oh, the entire apple company the whole thing, yeah, thing yeah yeah holy crap yeah it's like what, apple 13X? and disney are tied yeah, a Apple and Disney are monopoly laws mean nothing. Yeah, <laughs> I was about to bring that up. Nothing happens. Yeah. So, well, I mean, Apple and Disney have been tied together for a long time. And like I said, at the time of Steve Jobs passing, he was the largest shareholder of Disney stock. I don't know how his estate has tied into that. I don't know if they've gotten rid of it. Yeah. Um, that that turtleneck time... just screams groomer, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, he was also yeah, instrumental that's... in creating Pixar. Pixar. And yeah, now the, yeah. Disney owns Pixar, and they're oh. fucking ruining that shit, too. Was George. Yep. George. Pixar went George. downhill ever since they got rid of John Lasseter yep. for, for giving hugs. Yep. I, and he's John a oh, friendly oh, man oh. to give friendly he's hugs. And they competitor yeah. canceled him. That, that's stealing all the Pixar people now. So uh, yeah. good for John Lasseter. Can't wait to but yeah, I just, want, I just want to put on the record, I made movie, fun. Yeah. I made fun of a dead person who's white, so I assume I won't get called a racist for that. You won't. I just want to put that out there. <laughs> <laughs> no, that will get promptly ignored. You'll be celebrated. Yeah. yeah. So, I, yeah, I don't know where the bump comes from, though. I just... Uh, I, yeah, I don't either. I'm just saying that I've, I've predicted that it's gonna, they're going to try something, and they're not... X-Men? They, they, them? They're, they're, no. Yeah. <laughs> Look, they dude, every can't time keep they going in the direction they're going, they're fucked. Go ahead, yeah. ask. Yeah. No, it's just, just every Marvel property is another nail in a coffin right now. Every time yeah. they announce a new Marvel project, it's just like fuck off. You know, yeah. the Fantastic Four I can already see is going to be a fucking uh, diverse splurg because diversity wins. No, it, it doesn't. You know, sticking Forced to the diversity. source material wins. Uh, you know, the the X they them's. Uh, when that comes, that's just going to be a fucking shit show. Mm -hmm. uh, this this whole bloody feminist agenda that they've got uh, with Phase Four has just poisoned. It's poisoned the well. Uh, nobody nobody's fucking interested. Andor people are saying Andor's good. Who's watching it? Just the people that want to watch it because the the fucking regular people have dipped. 
Yep. If it, no, if nobody, if it was doing good, it wouldn't be on Hulu. Like, hmm. I still won't call Andor good. It's like average it's at best and boring episode. as hell. Yeah. Uh, like... Comics, you're right. If it was doing good, it wouldn't be shown on FX, ABC, all of these channels that Disney's <laughs> like, my, my, yeah. wife, my wife was like, wow, watch. it's on Hulu. I was like, yeah, it's because it's not doing well. Yeah, I, I, think that that's, I think that's like... Uh, like that's some desperation from Disney and from Lucasfilm, and I, I think much. it's like, and I think it's like them saying, "Well, we think we actually have something that's not horrendous, and no <laughs> yeah. one's watching it. We're desperately <laughs> trying to get people Please to realize, hey guys, episode. this isn't horrendous. Please watch." Yeah, but wasn't it only the first two episodes they shared, it's and then the they're the worst. They're the yeah. worst episodes of the show. <laughs> I, like if I only watched the first two episodes, I would be checked out of hey, you know, you Chad, you're saying, doubting the Disney you geniuses. Better start okay. off nice and cold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it's the Disney way, right? <laughs> well, I don't uh, know. Uh, I'm so here with, for this Disney here. crashing and uh I think Oh, hundred percent. Yeah, absolutely. they're gonna try. Like, I don't think they're gonna well, Here's uh, the problem. They built they built everything on wokeness. So in, unless you're talking about an Elon Musk kind of yep. nuke of just Full running takeover. everybody out, you can't you can't just slowly turn a woke ship around and head it in the right direction. That they've surrounded themselves with people that live and breathe by identity politics. And so if you actually start putting uh what audiences want in movies, you know, strong men characters being men characters, the people you've got at this company are gonna fucking like revolt against you yeah but it's you not know, just that term, a bunch it's, of people, it's not just men being men it's women being women nah, <laughs> most people don't care about women that aren't either. being <laughs> fucking women women are being men and as men is are being the ex some, as is no, the I expert know. at knowing about is that it, it's most, <laughs> most, of these com- most of these companies are now filled with <laughs> most, hey, most of these companies are now filled with Ryan, staff that you are, like, haven't got a nice rack what was like that go ahead no but most of the companies are filled with people that are like walk aligned so that's that's what happened at Twitter, like when Musk came in, all the fucking they all had a shit fit. I mean, as we just saw from that interview, you know that we've seen with that very attractive M- person, Melissa, the lovely Melissa. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's just you know you know how when you just look at someone and you know what their politics are. Yes, yes. you don't even have to yes. open your mouth. Yeah, I mean, if, if just, you, can, you have uncanny insight, sir. Yeah. Yeah. If I, you I can, I, I know so many fucking people that own companies. Well, see when they're going through like CVs and resumes, see if anyone has a gender written down that's not male or female. It goes straight in the bin because they're like, you are going to be a <laughs> yeah. fucking nightmare. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> if, 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 like, I'm not if you look you. at someone, if you look at someone and can't tell what gender they are, you can tell what their politics are. So. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, that, that could be a, a good observation. That is a good t-shirt. Yeah. yeah. What are your uh, what's your hey. politics, Ryan? Just out of mm. curiosity. If I can't tell your gender, I know your politics. <laughs> like it hard, hard and right. <laughs> <laughs> you know how I knew I was back in California. I mean, aside from the sign, was uh, people in their cars alone with a mask on. I just like, oh my before, God. it's still going on here, dude. Man, I, I, no. I just Sheep saw a dude like right when I was walking. I know, fuck, I was getting coffee, and there's a guy alone with his fucking mask on. I'm like, fuck this place. Yeah. Oh, oh my no, God. I, I live, I live in the country, middle of middle of bumfuck nowhere, right? So all of us, like, we're all kind of untouched. We'll see how like all the shops in my village. If you weren't wearing a mask, nobody gave a fuck like all the way through. It was great, but I was. I stay on this big country road and I sometimes go out the front and like sip my coffee with my house coat on like fucking Tony Soprano or some shit, right? And then I was looking down the road and someone's out for a country walk. The guy is just surrounded by fields, just fields with cows in them on this country road. He had a mask on. Oh. He had a mask on in the middle of the fu- a country road, and I was just looking at him like, "What the fuck are you doing?" He said, "Good morning" to me. I just went back and said, <laughs> 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 "Can't hear you. Take take the mask off." Yeah, I don't yeah. Really get that. Yeah. Man. I, I would see that all the time too. People walking by themselves wearing a fucking mask outside makes mm-hmm. no sense. No, I did I did it at Comic Con for a little while because I wanted to be left alone. <laughs> so I, I wanted to just actually go out oh. shopping and not be approached. <laughs> well, that yeah, well, that happened. I a lot. fucking caught COVID anyway. I caught COVID at Comic Con <laughs> just there. You guys feel like London. people can look at each of oh, us and guess what yeah. our politics are? I mean, probably we're we're white. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, extra, yeah. extra going to be the toughest one, probably. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't care about politics. What are politics? <laughs> That's hers. <laughs> 
<laughs> if you don't like my politics, don't. The only time I like <laughs> politics is when it involves math. Okay. No. Yeah. yeah. Pie chart. So, <laughs> the reason we don't want an X-ray girl in politics is the last time she voted, it was because she thought the the guy Justin was, Trudeau was hot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. That was the, so last, the black last, last, last time. Black okay. Now, what last, lesson last did you learn, X Ray Girl? Um, I learned that pretty people can be evil. Yes. yes. And, and they usually are. politics yeah. are Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> but, but if you think about it, who would you is. rather? I, I, I actually asked this would you rather Biden or Trudeau? Biden because he's gonna die soon. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Biden has no idea what he's doing. Trudeau's a fucking yeah. 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 Natural, yeah. Na for natural causes, for natural causes. Yeah. Natural causes. Yeah. Natural yeah. causes. Natural In dark tide. In dark tide. Great wing YouTuber seen weaving giant sovereign on stream. <laughs> so, so, so let's so, so to to clarify that means Shad wants Kamala Harris. Uh, oh. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Uh, yes. I know. I heard she sucks at that job. Sucks to get the job. Hey yo! Hey yo! Hey yo! Hey I'm gonna read. Uh, I, want, I, want, I want a Trump Kanye ticket. <laughs> Trump, Trump, yes. God. Yeah. Oh, is so he Kanye? Is he ye? Is he changed back? I don't. What yeah. is he now? <laughs> I don't. I, I don't know. Is ye or ye or something? It's I, ye. I just, it's I just say Kanye. Ye. Is it ye? Ye. Why? It's Kanye. 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 Oh, yeah. I, 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 I name so many times. The reason I say ye is because of the ye meme. Do you remember the ye meme years ago? Uh, ye. ye. No. Ye. Yeah. No. The, with the little the, the dinosaur. Like you guys don't remember that went super fucking viral. It was so damn funny. But anyway, I don't care about every time dinosaur. I see it, so, well, I'm just fucking Black telling people. you, Ryan. No, you don't. I do. <laughs> Yay. But, and you know what? Whenever you die, we do your charity stream. I have an all black stream for you. I, I, was, I will black say, people. I will say they, right? do call his, they do call his uh his shoes Yeezys. So you know, mm. you had yeah. you had the out That's there. Right. You, didn't have to, you, you didn't have to why use a fucking call his shoes. Wait, no, the, the Yeezys. Why do they call them Yeezys? I was gonna say, yes. Thank you guys. Just why? His name and the name. Because they're very easy to put on. Oh. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 I see what's so Canadian, everybody. There you go. Wait, I didn't even know that I'm the very old right. and white. Is that what his shoes so are didn't... called, or does he have like a the... nickname for his fucking shoes? No, like, that's Yeezys. my question. They're Yeezys. It's Yeezys? No, are they his company? Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, he did have a deal with Adidas until he said something about the Jews. <laughs> Never put that word in front of you. Right up to where you said it, like I didn't need to hear it. So somebody in the chat said that they didn't know what me I'm talking about. They said the only dinosaur we know is Gary. I don't care. I like being old, knowing more than young motherfuckers. I'm gonna watch y'all fuck up and just laugh. That's all I'm gonna do. Yeah, you know so much more about us. Let's talk video games, Gary. There's a dinosaur. Yeah. <laughs> one thing, okay? I got one blind spot, all right? <laughs> Just bring it up all the time. I got one blind spot, and it's called my sight. It's, it's because how uncomfortable <laughs> you look. Every time, every time me and Az, every time me and Az talk video games, you can see Gary just squirming. Just switch off. <laughs> I know. I go on eBay. I, just I was down. eBay time. It's like fucking Ed two oh nine. He's just like, <laughs> give a shit about. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and then he wants to get up and just go <laughs> to all of us to shut up. And uh, this is a good point to plug my gaming stream on Christmas Day. <laughs> yeah. Three. It'll be fun. So excited. Yay. He's going to get out of the room. Or yay, whatever the fuck we're supposed to say. Uh, yay. 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 Uh, Yeezy's uh, 6,000 uh, Martian pesos says, Gary's worst type of currency, unknown. I love you guys. Love all your content. It's This is my first super chat, Long Live Friday Night Tights. Fantastic. Hey. There you go. Long Live Friday Night Tights and the Ooh. fellowship. There you go. Hard live it. Yeah, hard. Long and hard. That's how we live. And giant, giant, yeah. and giant, and giant. giant. Girthy too. Not girthy. too giant. There's such thing Girth. as too big. And parodies as well. Is yeah, there such a thing as too big? The diameter. Yeah, yeah. that's so large. big. You're gonna go to the hospital. <laughs> well, don't worry, ladies. No problems here. You know, it's <laughs> a never ending. Or even an urgent thing. 
Uh, we won't Dan- get Dan- 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 just is waiting. He's like, just waiting to the fucking joke again. He's like, I got that first aid yeah. <laughs> Three, <laughs> two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Funny fuckers are going to say giant This is my, this is who I am now. It's okay, you got the BDE. It's not a bad thing. I'm the only. My B, my big dick energy hath been spent. It's gone. So we did get a... Along with my smiling optimism. <laughs> say own it, but you kind of already do. <laughs> Fuck off. Got <laughs> 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 a choice. Jeremy, what is this? Uh, Bebop 1988. For, or, or, are we not? What are we doing? Are we, oh, we... I had something to share on the on the Twitter verified. So this is the latest uh, that we've got. Twitter reportedly have three different colors for verified check marks: oh. gold for companies, gray for government, government, and blue for individual celebrities. And then it says, uh, "That's Elon's." comment right here sorry for the delay so we're working on launching verified for next friday gold check for companies gray for government blue for individuals celebrities or not Yay. and all nice. verified accounts will be manually authenticated so all right wow pretty nice. interesting nice. Okay. so basically all these uh the celebs are going to be just like all the regular oh, folks no. now Good. Oh. Man. Yeah. 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 The celebs are now the class I, oh, I nice love the play. journalists just melting the oh. fuck down because ah, you know, yeah, it's it's little, it was like, man. this is my little crown that let me know that I was better than all of you plebs. <laughs> and I'm like, it's funny as fuck, man. That's going to be great. Hey, that's going to be great. Really now, again, that isn't confirmed, but that's the latest from Elon. So that you know him. He could change it, but it that seems like that seems like why it's taking so long because they're trying to work out the, the details of that. And I think that's a pretty good system. I think that works yeah. really good. Yeah, so, I agree. I like it. I like it. I need to figure out how to get one of those grey checks so everyone thinks I'm government. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For my character LARP. Some of you are all right. Don't go down to the well, tomorrow. Well, technically, you're all right. you, you did run for office. Government. Yeah. I like yeah, good, yeah, good candidates. Go. Be, um... yeah. Does that count? Mm-hmm. I kind of forgot oh. I ran in a few elections. Forgot that for a second. <laughs> Just run again to get a great check mark. That's all you need to do, right? Like, you don't Holy have to... shit. I might be able to make that work. Holy... Yeah. You know, right, okay. Weren't you You're a start... justice once? Thank you, lad. You're starting to look like your head is just floating in a black void. <laughs> I know. <laughs> 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 uh, oh, I don't uh, have a light here. Not at all. I, I, I film at another studio. So like I don't have any like equipment or anything here. It's just my screen lighting up my face. Dude, that's good enough. It's Friday night tights. That's all we need. Yeah. <laughs> it, lo- it looks, it looks like I'm an Omigo trying to find a good time. <laughs> uh, Bebop1988 for fifty dollars says, "Don't worry, Dank. I'm Asian from the waist down as well." <laughs> <laughs> What are you trying to say, huh? What are you trying to say? (laughs) Not super hairy legs. Uh, Hey, as Blair White is single, make your move, big guy. Oh, Oh, really? I I, 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 I don't be half interested. (laughs) The top half. Well, thank you, no, comics, no. For, for pointing that out. It's <laughs> <laughs> so much more fun. It's it's that. quite necessary for somebody to explain the joke. There were okay. questions. It's like, well, what half? Yeah. <laughs> well, I could have said the bottom half, as. Are you happy with that? <laughs> no, yeah. more happy with the, that would have been funny. Half. That would have been funnier if you had. <laughs> Let, yeah, let's not pretend that it's just assumes for you, as, based on what you said the past. <laughs> 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 oh shit! I never knew Blair White was until. <laughs> Daddy, chill. I would, but it's so. I. You what? I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... What? The more you say, the more you say, the more you say. I rev- I Put claim the, the faith. <laughs> I claim the faith. Uh, that <laughs> you don't have that. You're in fucking in Britain or yeah, something. Yeah, you don't have that shit. Yeah, you don't have, have that. that. Prove it. Prove it right now. Prove it, Ryan. Prove it. Sh- all right. I, if you can stand up and show me that your apartment is more than 600 square feet, I'll believe you're in somewhere <laughs> other than fucking the UK. <laughs> all right, you got me on that one. Okay. All right. Let's, let's have it on the record. The first time that we've I, actually I can said... touched the wall with my hand from here. Hotel room is bigger in his apartment. You kidding? Oh. <laughs> <No. laughs> 
It's a small it's little house. house. It's a small it's little tradition. place. Oh my god! Yeah, I've stayed in hotel rooms in fucking London. They're closets. Oh my god! Uh, they're yeah. closets. Yeah. And they're all laid out the same. They are. They are. It doesn't matter what brand you go to, where you go to, it's all laid out the same. I ever tell you the story? I re- I went jogging in the middle of an anti-war protest, and I had my Captain America shirt on, so people were throwing shit at me. I didn't know because I had my fucking headphones on. All of a sudden, like things hit me. I'm like, what the fuck? Who the fuck's throwing? You know, and I'm American, so I'm fucking like, throw. I'm not afraid of some fucking Brit. And uh, yeah, I look around, and then I'm like, oh fuck! And it was near Marble Arch, and there was like thousands of people and all these anti-Israeli signs flying around. I'm like, Jesus Christ, where am I, dude? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then Kanye like watched, Kanye. watched yeah. Yeah. The It was a Kanye. It was a Yee show. No, it was a it was, show. Uh, it was uh, an anti-Iraqi war protest. Uh, 2003, something like that. He still yeah. said Yee show. He still has. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i had no idea that kind of stuff went down in london but it did it was uh kind no of no different. not anymore you're not looking yeah. at that anymore ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on go I buy got- a plushie you fucks I look. I right. was just reading I the auto cue, Gary. I was just no. reading the auto cue. No, yeah, I, I support it. Bad ass. Uh, motivation. <laughs> some people. Some people want to be talked to like that. Yeah, they, just want they to like the Ooh. dirty talk. Mm-hmm. Uh, just likes it rough. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, we know who's clutch is getting fucked by a dog. Okay, and it ain't mine. <laughs> yeah, you, you put the pants on. Oh, well, actually, no. Gary, there was a picture this week no. uh-huh. on Twitter I saw it. of your plushie. Hey, here's the deal: I have a dog that if I throw a plushie to, it will fuck the shit out of that plushie, and I will make it worse. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's how one of my dogs is. That guy's been fixed for ten years. He still doesn't know it. He still tries to hump the big dog. It's like, dude, you haven't had balls for a decade. What the fuck's wrong with you? But I like that. He's blind in one eye, still going for it. You gotta, you know, I I got a little respect for him. But uh, gotta try. uh, Yeah, good boy. Uh, Chrome Dome uh, for in two parts for fifty fifty five says nerds, geeks, and gamers, my brothers. I see in your eye. For, would you forget the ladies there? Sexist. Uh, I see in your eyes the same apathy that would take the heart of me. A day may come when the courage of nerds fails, when we forsake our fandoms and break all bonds of fellowship. But today is not that day. I love this already. Uh, an hour of wokes uh, and social justice when the age of nerds comes crashing down. But it is not this day. The day, this day, we fight. By all that you have held dear on this good earth, I bid you stand, nerds, for FNT. And I'm really happy that all I'm my oh shit, all my neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy that all my neighbors. I'm gonna come. <laughs> well, they might have heard that too. There's like, been a, there's been a few coming mistakes today, Gary. Oh, <laughs> a few coming mistakes on 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 the show from you. Well, well, yeah. Just, well, just I mean, saying. it's good that I was one. I'm Gary looks really mad. Really really mad. Mad. He's completely left out. He's completely left out. I like that you guys put a toque on me. <laughs> you, you'd get, you'd get looks, fucking uh, trampled. He looks there, like he's so about to make uh, a yeah, No. <laughs> I was a tank when I was uh, playing soccer. Defense for a reason. Well, so yeah, hey, you're, you're, you're big compared to all the fucking women. You get fucking wrecked out of here on Black Friday with all these dudes. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. If my hand Why is on, mine? It's mine. Look Why? at Jeremy. Jeremy looks like he just needs sunglasses to be like, fuck the right in the pussy. Fuck, yeah. fuck the right <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, God. Hell yeah. At least my son's not gay. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Ab was like blast he's doing something to X-ray girl though. I'm <laughs> trying to. I want oh, my TV. He's dude. pulling a Joe Biden. He's sniffing her. I want my TV. Oh. I want Garrett's gonna bite. Garrett's gonna yeah. bite. As yeah. look at that. Get your, your hand off my TV, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Ron, Ron's just like, ah! Yeah, that was the last one. I didn't get it. Looks like he's like on mushrooms or something, and just in his office. <laughs> like he just doesn't. He's just vibing. I hate that word. I fucking hate that word. 
You hate Why? vibe? Bro, we're just vibing. The word vibe? vibe. Yes, the word vibe needs to fucking go away. Dude, we're just like, vibing. Yeah. We're just vibing here, yeah. We're just vibing. You don't want to vibe. Vibe, man. It's a vibe, man. Oh, fuck wow, off. Vibe. Uh, Mark Daly for $200. Oh, Damn. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, wow. Two years ago, I was out of my home from mold. My girlfriend cheated on me, and the condo manager almost sued me about my girlfriend's drug use on site. Listening to you guys help me through it. Now I have a promotion at work and a better girlfriend. Good. Fantastic, uh, man. You wow. helped me uh, in the lean times now. You can share the good times. Thank you. Wow. Thank wow. you. Wow. Wow. That was all you. That was all you. That was all you. That was all you. Yeah, it was all you. Get rid of those, those bitches. Get them out. <laughs> Get them bitches. Out. <laughs> 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 Just nice ones. Yeah, you don't want to hang out with the bitches. I mean, unless you're a poor shaped man who rents a studio. <laughs> Uh, not misogynist, we just hate bitches. We just hate bitches. You know? yeah. I'll be a bitch. Like girl version of asshole or dick. It's the same thing, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Gimp Council, the Gimp Council. Got me into trouble one day. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Gimp, <laughs> Gimp Council uh, for $100 in two parts. <laughs> nice. Council has heard word of another individual causing a ruckus and slandering the good reputation of the Gimp community. We are... <laughs> A fat, bald-headed man who has a hello hot toys. <laughs> surrender him to the council for punishment. Oh wow! <laughs> what? Dude, did you know? Do you know that story about the gimp? The uh, gimp? Was what? That basically, the for some reason, Britain has like this community of guys that just go out in public in gimp suits and walk around, right? Except there was a guy called the Somerset Gimp. So he's from Summer. He's from Somerset. Somerset. So basically, so basically, he has a he has an accent exactly like Frodo and Sam, which makes it a hundred times funnier, <laughs> right? And he, he but he was going out and like hiding in bushes and jumping out at women at like three in the morning and like following are, are, them. Are there like are there like are videos of that guy? Depraved? Yeah, they're, they're, I've seen him. Like, he's like fucking like crawling yeah, like on the ground. He's, he's, he's grunting and doing hundreds of weird shit. And all that, and then ended up like people phoned the police, and the police done a whole investigation to catch the Somerset gimp. And eventually, they caught him, and it's like a fucking thirty-year-old guy. Then what happened was other gimps from around the country <laughs> yeah. came out against him, and they interviewed the Essex gimp. <laughs> right? And he's going, Ooh. he's like, I'm very nice to people, but that Somerset gimp is giving us gimps a bad name. <laughs> like, wow. So, so I started making jokes about it, going like that. You've been brought before the gimp council to answer for your crimes. <laughs> and like, this community. Take the ball and out of your mouth. Oh, oh my God. Oh, well, we have a second part. Also, uh, good Lord, people, why do you have a giant penis on your stream? Look, oh, at, look at it. <laughs> Very and oddly shaped and droops to the side. Someone needs to cover that thing. <laughs> latex when you need it. At least we gimps are mutable sort. Oh, no. I don't know about that. <laughs> Justin Wright for $50 says, hey, Ryan, uh, Army vet turned trucker here. When I was delivering mattresses to the store to a store in St. Louis, I had a funeral convoy pull onto my interstate at, at the on the interstate at 30 miles per hour in front of my truck doing 67. It uh, in the end, I hope they do not have to reopen the casket. <laughs> wow. wow! Wow! Yeah. Hey, that's what you fucking get. Some people got places to be, things to do. Get the fuck out the way, especially Trucks if you're dead. Up on a dime? No, they can't. If you're dead. Uh, Brent Wolf for fifty dollars says Elon has already partnered with T-Mobile to put uh, cell equipment on the Starlink 2.0 satellites, so a Starlink mobile isn't far out of the realm of possibilities. Yeah. Can't, can't wait to only get a signal in the twenty biggest cities in America on my Tesla phone. If that's the case. <laughs> <laughs> As a T-Mobile customer, they fucking suck. Okay, and I can't wait to get rid of them. Uh, plus, the phone being pink every time it turns on just annoys the shit out of me. Uh, uh, I, just, <laughs> you're, you're a homophobe, Gary. <laughs> yeah, I it, love it, lesbian. You're, you're a homophobe, a homophobe, homophobe. Gary. I love just lesbian a, porn. That's a just make a call it the homophone. The homophone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you see this? San Francisco uh, aren't they trying to green light um, robotic guns? <laughs> to, 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 yeah. 
Maybe they could shoot the poo <laughs> out of existence. <laughs> I don't somebody, know. Somebody posted below it. It's just this picture of Ed 209. Dude. The cops don't arrest people there. Like, what would the, what, what is it lethal force to protect the robot that'll get like broken down for parts and sold for fucking fentanyl? Like, I don't know. It's, like, it's for people that own to private Newsom. guns. That's what those robots are for. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's for get, finding the residents who are actually defending themselves that San Francisco arrests, uh, which they do all the fucking time. That's the only gun arrests they make are the ones, uh, residents who legally own guns and shoot. It's like a hostage fucking... situation. Who's the homeowner? Yeah. You? Pfft. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> wow. Okay, so my uh, uh, Frank just texted me. He's at the new Disney Pixar movie, Strange World. He's watching it with his kid right now. He said the main character is the, parents that's the one. are yeah. black and white, and the main character is gay. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, What's wrong with He's black bombing and white? at the box he, he, office. Yeah, you should have known all that before he took the kid, you know. Uh, he, should, uh, he should watch Ryan and us. He should have watched your review. Frank, come on, Frank, turn your notifications on. I would have told you it's a gay Bond movie. <laughs> oh, no, oh, his kids are gonna be gay now. You're grooming your own kid now. What the hell? Oh, no, they didn't know what else to leave, do. Leave, Frank. Take your kid and leave. Stay at home and watch Christmas Vacation or something. Yeah, like yeah. Right. yeah. Good God, I, I like I had actual time on my hands, and I was thinking, I'm like, man, I could go to a movie right now, but there ain't a fucking movie I'd even pay a dollar for in the theater. Yeah. Fuck that. It, it's it's black rough right now. That's Good. my review. It was a movie. It was a movie. That's there is <laughs> nothing out. There is absolutely uh, nothing out. So I just watched some old shit last night. That was fine. Watch some Die Hard, man. Yeah. Even yeah. if for Christmas, I watched. Uh, uh, yeah, I watched like some Harry Potter and Planes Trains. I fell asleep watching Planes Trains. Because I'm fucking old. All right. Those are great Christmas cult. movies. That's great, great movies. Muppets Christmas Carol. That's the one. Don't disrespect it. Don't nobody. Nobody Did, is allowed to disrespect Mupp the Muppets. Muppets are awesome. Carol. Classic Muppets. Don't, don't fucking Treasure, Treasure don't Island. Fucking Island. Treasure Island. Yes. Treasure Island is awesome too. That movie. Treasure Island is awesome mm. too. That movie. Treasure Treasure Island. Island. Christmas Carol is good, but I prefer Treasure Island. Yeah. Yep. Treasure Island. Oh, that's a good one too. It's hard to choose. My go. Yeah, my go-tos are Home Alone 1 and 2. Obviously, shout out Trump uh, for that amazing, yep. amazing acting. Um, <laughs> just legendary shit. Uh, Over there. Santa Claus 1, Santa Claus 1, Jingle All the Way, Muppets Christmas Carol. That's, that's just, that's kind of yeah. my go-tos right there. This, the first Santa Claus is really good. The yeah, second one's weird. I like two's okay. I didn't really like three that much, I didn't really much, like though. any of the sequels. Was, I was very, like, hear, just the first Didn't one. I hear Odin was here? He was. He was in the in the. Odin yeah. is here. Should I jump out? Was like uh, an hour ago. What happened? <laughs> no, wait. He never. I, I don't, has, he ha has he been? No, I, I I thought he was. I think he's with family. Yeah, today. he's not. He, he's not. Yeah. I don't think he's here tonight. Somebody said it in chat, but I think they might have meant just in the chat, maybe or yeah. something. Okay. Um, he, right, he was in the right. chat earlier and said and told everybody to have a good night. He was gonna be with his family. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So. Gotcha. There's a lot of chitter chatter in the private chat right now. So. Yeah, hey, it's just it's just dankulous seething that everyone's referring to him as giant penis. It, is. it just <laughs> keeps telling us. Shut up! This <laughs> <laughs> guys. This is, this is yeah. all. This was all over a fucking joke that I made years ago, and I've noticed a trend where jokes I make years ago tend to follow me around. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> fucking time. Yeah. 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 No. Kind of on brand, yeah. right? Brand. Yeah, as yeah as on brand. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Uh, could you share that pic, X-Ray Girl, that Eric, uh, it should be um, the Housewives of Middle Earth. I don't know if you saw this picture. Oh. I just want to see that. Look at that fucking spread <laughs> oh, right there. Man. I mean, why? Did, did no. they honestly expect what? people to see that and go, oh, I'm going to watch Rings of oh, Power yeah. now? That makes me want to watch it. Why? Nothing says Tolkien like a chick spreading her fucking legs. Yeah. Uh, yeah maybe maybe, maybe if well, maybe no. if you picked like the, I don't know, like the three or four attractive ones out of there and then they fucked, that might like get me. <laughs> oh, but wow. that's pretty much it. Where are the men? <clears throat> I think they the one on the left exist. ate them. Yeah. <laughs> I think she did too. Yep, she consumed them. I mean, like Bronwyn looking good back there. Okay, let's just say that right now. She no, looking, tits out yeah. for Bronwyn. Like Bronwyn's, yeah. like Bronwyn's, Bronwyn's tits have been the star of this entire thing. Let's yeah. be Still got me blocked on Twitter. Cleanest one. Oh. <laughs> I'm so surprised about that, As. I mean, either Rings of Power is really forgettable, but I'm having trouble recognizing all the actresses. I, I yeah, the I well, some, of, the some of them are Harfoots, right? So like the, oh. the Harfoots, oh, ones maybe. you don't recognize. The, 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 oh, the man spreading the one, one that's the, the Fat Hobbit. That's that's female Sam. 
Yeah. Oh, really? and, the, and the one just to her right is Nori. The one to the left is obviously the Black Hobbit. Uh, then she looks lost. The one, the one second from the right is uh, fake Isildur's sister. Yeah, giant tits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her tits were nice too. <laughs> That's, That's all we can remember. remember. <laughs> hey, look, they've covered up the milk trucks tits. Though. By the way, That's by the okay, way, Gary. Tits. That's really good. Tits. Gary, it's Friday. Two, two, two shout outs for you, Gary. Number one, six hundred thousand subs. Congratulations. Yeah. 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 Secondly, Congrats, secondly, dude. secondly, that 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 most recent thumbnail with uh, Disa eating the burger is <laughs> fucking fantastic. <laughs> Holy yeah. shit, dude. Every time, baby. It's so I, told him, good. I said, it's go so to good. town, man. <laughs> I said, he, go to he was town. like, I would understand if you wanted to pull this back. And no, no, no. Don't ever go second town, guess baby. yourself, Perry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, yeah, I love it. Thanks, man. Thanks. Yeah, man. Dude, crushing it. It's so awesome. Yeah. yeah awesome. You and, and you passed 100,000 followers on Twitter. So there you yeah. go. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. Going yeah. Up congrats. Since Elon took over. Yeah. Like, aren't you getting more followers than you ever gotten before? Or... Oh, hell yeah. 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 yeah definitely. It's been crazy. Um, I yeah. I mean, I, I, account. well, yeah. I mean, so as you'll get yours back, and then I wish there was some, there's no, I'm, I'm sure it overlaps a lot, but I mean, I have that other account because I was suspended for over a year. Mm -hmm. um so but i'm about to cross cross fifty thousand, i think so that's cool so nice. yeah uh it's twitter's so much fun right now i can't, can't I wait can't to get my old it. account back where it's gonna have no followers and i gotta build it back up for a third fucking time. no you won't you, you'll get them all you'll get them all back you'll yeah. get that doesn't always yeah, happen, all, all, come back. All, uh, no they all come your back. account yeah your flowers come back they don't populate immediately it takes like it a takes day a, it takes like a day but it's just like okay. when i got my account back I, I think I had like twenty five thousand followers when I got banned, and then I've so seen it took a, come back like a day or I'm two. Not yeah, it took them. a day or two to get everything back, but it all repopulates. Just like when Trump's account came back, it was showing like five hundred thousand followers. Oh, it was, it was like all repopulating. Mm. So now he's up to like eighty five million followers or whatever. Oh, right. he didn't. He didn't get eighty five million followers in like two days. It just that was repopulating his old follower yeah. account. So you'll get everything back. Biden? Does he have more than Biden? Uh, oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah. Probably. Yeah. yeah, and Trump would have Trump would have been the most followed account on Twitter if he would have been banned. He, yeah. he would st he probably still right now. I don't know who is the most followed account. Is it Obama or, uh, or something like that? I think it's Obama um, and then like Justin Bieber or some shit. Yeah. So <laughs> it is just, it's Bieber and Katy Perry. Katie Perry. Oh, no, th 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 does that that just like sums up the fucking world right now? <laughs> yes, <laughs> it it does. Does. Yes, it does. You know this strange world thing which we've been mentioning throughout the stream. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, apparently, the dog's disabled. What? <laughs> wow. What do you, you mean by disabled? The robot's like, non-binary. Hold on. What do you mean, like retarded or? I just well, look, Brianna, Brianna Wu. Oh. God bless. So the... she, she, so she feels represented. Yeah, uh, yeah. She dog. tweeted out, "If you thought conservatives freaked out over Lightyear, they're gonna go hey. shit the bed over Strange hey. Worlds, which is." Right. The can main you, protagonist. Can you yeah, yeah. a little more manly. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> if you thought conservatives <laughs> freaked out over light, yeah. That sounds exactly like Brianna. Shit the bed over strange worlds, which is great. <laughs> My protagonist is gay. Older people don't find it remarkable. <laughs> Biracial marriage. Almost no one is white. Climate <laughs> change metaphor. Even the dog is disabled. Who fucking cares? Even the dog is disabled. Hey, hey, that's how they I... gauge quality. It's just yeah. the tick box. Yes. Like nothing tick. about the ride. Yeah. 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 This movie's yeah. gonna this okay, movie's gonna fine. lose a lot of fucking money. <laughs> it, like it's tracking well below in Kanto, and Kanto made like 200 million at the box office. It's tracking well be behind Lightyear. Lightyear made like 216 million at the box office. Hey. This this movie's gonna fucking X-ray girl. I need you to. Well, how's the dog disabled? Are you missing a leg or something like that? Like what's it? Leg, right? Like it's like Mark. Okay. Yeah. So X-ray girl, ask Mark if he feels seen with a disabled dog in Strange Worlds. I need. I need okay. to. Know. I will. I'll oh. bring him over to give you the. You need to know if he feels seen. Mm -hmm. Okay. And by the way, Disney, <laughs> keep doing also, this shit. We love it, and we want you to lose more and more money. I would also like. Well. I would also like to know when extra girl comes back in her culture if it's acceptable for them to eat dogs that are disabled. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they don't taste right. Oh, the, 
The dog's <laughs> missing a limb. I just thought they were saying it was a communist or something, but anyway. Uh, he says he feels seen because he likes um, the dog position. Wait, what? Good answer, Mark. <laughs> yeah. the, the, the dog position. The the dog position. position. Oh, I feel like you need two working legs for that position. Then. Yeah, strange, like strange world. Strange world did eight hundred thousand on Thursday. On when, uh, on when Wednesday, oh, sorry, yes. four point two million Thursday, two point five million on the Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, be because it's a Thanksgiving weekend. They release everything a day earlier than they normally will. So a lot, of, a lot of these weekend buys, even for Wakanda Forever, it's gonna be like you'll see people talking about a five day weekend box office instead of what they would normally talk about. You know, so it, it's all thrown off. Just when you when you keep in mind when they say that Wakanda Forever made like sixty million dollars over Thanksgiving weekend, uh, when it made like seventy million last weekend, that's not like the drop. You have to actually just take like a three days. It's day to day, yeah. Yeah, there'll be people throwing shit out there about that. So, oh Dan yeah, Killer, I, I, I don't want to break this to you. I've just shared this, oh, but shit. um, I yeah. am the Yorkshire Gimp. Oh, <laughs> 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 senior member of the Gimp Council. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> time for confession was about as do you want to join me for bimbo builds sure in that suit in the gimp suit <laughs> <laughs> bring out the gimp I, I feel like i hear squeaking as soon as like you move if you were to wear it so it's, it's a nightmare to have a fucking shit in that thing i was gonna say what would happen if you farted on it Oh, 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 go up wow. and around when these go. Yeah, we just just like a little yeah. balloon. Why is your voice <laughs> shot, Quarter Black Garrett? Because you're Aww. why are you sick? Uh, because I have kids. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I, thought, every I, thought, I, get sick I thought you were damn kids. I thought you were gonna say cancer. Like when you start it off, it's just like in yeah. yeah. At least kids you can get rid of. Cancer. <laughs> yeah. no, oh like, through the stream, it's getting God. worse and worse. Uh, T. All right, we don't need to hear from you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No. Yeah, but um, but I, I'm gonna I gotta get out of here, guys, because I gotta get out of this hotel and start my fucking drive back. Uh, but it has been fucking awesome. Always great hanging out with Count Dankula. I'll use your proper name. Uh, Count Thank Dankula. You. Um, and Chad, of course. Always good talking to you guys. FNT guys, appreciate you. We'll be back next week. And uh, See thanks, you, chat. See you guys later. See you later. 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 Take it easy. Drive carefully. Fuck that guy. Yep. Uh, yeah, this yeah, is yeah, a fuck 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 if, know, anybody need, fuck. if anybody needs to bail out, this will be the opportunity. Uh, give you a little. Well, if I do, I'm only going to start streaming dark <laughs> 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 I can, I can hang around for a little while longer. The problem is, uh, <laughs> see, whenever I stream like late at night or I'm, I'm on a show or anything like that, like my wife has to go sleep in the uh -huh. other room because she, and she's like five months pregnant. The problem is, uh -huh. the other room uh -huh. is a room that we're about to move our daughter into. So it's a kid's bed. That is it she's yours? Sleeping in. No, this, this is my, what's going to be my daughter's bed when she's old enough, but it's a kid's bed. So my five months pregnant wife. Aww. Is sleeping in the fucking kids' bed. <laughs> just oh, now, rough, dude. And, and whenever whenever I come off a show, I have to go upstairs and wake her up so she can go back Aww. into our bed because her room's right above me and my voice carries right through the wall and she can't sleep. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, that's, uh, she's still cool. Uh, that, yeah, yeah, dude, fuck, fuck, for fuck her. She could be fine for another hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that bitch. Wad waddling around with her big How belly. How hard can pregnancy be? Especially, yeah, second yeah. time I like mean. My back hurts. I can't pick anything oh. up. Oh, no. <laughs> Fucking whatever. Shut I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that reminds me of that uh, what was that that picture that was going out where the woman was giving birth and the dude ordered a pizza. Hell yeah! Hey, My labors are doing. rough. I gotta get some meat. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Iron emissary for forty nine ninety nine says y'all kept me sane during some tough times. Now I have a stable job, married the girl of my dreams, and today. Aww. 
Mm-hmm. I elbowed a lady in the face for ten dollars <laughs> off friggin' huge TV. Basically. Started a channel <laughs> where I review Iron Age media last week. Become the culture. Oh my god! Damn. Hey, <laughs> responsibility for that. We did that. We did that. That was a beautiful high five. High five, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, hang on. I can't see. So that's what you need to do, guys. It's just a, it's just, a, it's just a jerk reaction behind. Friday night tides gave me this. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that nose is gone. That nose is just gone. Yeah. You know, yes. in the face, in the face. Uh, toxic man flu on the Streamlabs side for one hundred dollars. <laughs> Guru toxic man flu here for Ryan's gate cult. Well, he's gone now, but I'm he's sure he's gone good. now. Uh, join us as we buy up all the homes around Ryan and purchase lavish funeral services for each other. <laughs> so we can annoy our floor pizza god. Wow. Taco Bell employees get priority locations next door to Ryan. Hashtag last rights. <laughs> oh, <laughs> specific revenge. Well planned. Yeah. Specific. We should do a mock funeral and get make sure when Ryan's going to drive somewhere and get him stuck <laughs> behind. <laughs> Do, then, do a meetup thing. Send so out a secret message to, to the thing. Yeah, Get like him behind mark. the hearse, and then the coffin opens after a bit, and then one of us starts rising up from it and weighs it right. <laughs> what, what Jeremy needs to do anytime he travels with Ryan is always tell the clerk to fuck up his order. Yes, <laughs> yeah, I think that's first. what happens anyway. That's my. Yeah, it's almost it. It almost happens naturally at this point. But if if it gets to a point where that starts to, uh, if they start to get it right, I will preemptively make sure. I'll call ahead of time, like, hey, Slip him a I'll, give you, I'll give you, I'll give you fifty bucks. I'll give you whatever. Wow. Fuck this guy's order up. I'll monetize it. So Dude, I'll work that out. It will never get right because the karma exists, and Ryan will just figure it out someday. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Uh, that is true. Sam for forty nine ninety nine. Dank first, love your work. Nordic bike video, yeah, that was awesome. Uh, wish folks would stop calling clubs gangs. By the way, we're good with each other for now. The more cops in jail for far worse than things uh, than other fuckers. I guess that's fuckers. Uh, I think one percenters. One percenters. And why yeah. would? Why would you just write one percenters then? What, I don't yeah. know. Maybe that's like I I'm well, retarded. It's, like a, it's, a game so game. Game. it's my fault. It's it's me. It's not you. Uh, Stop please. arguing with the super chatters, guys. I'm not arguing. I'm just that I was retarded. Okay. <laughs> this is getting really awkward now. He's to right. focus on the government and are suppressing us and you. Hail all. And yeah, dude, that that video is fucking awesome. Dang, I love yeah, it. I love one. it. I love that video. Every, everything that happened was fucking mental. It was like a TV show where I was like, oh, are we going to get some shootings? Are we going to get some beatings? Blah, blah. And then it's like, so he fired an RPG at a prison. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Dude. Excuse, excuse me? Like, like, what the fuck? Like, it was fucking insane. That needs Honestly. to be a, mo- a show. That needs to be a show. Yeah. I'm yeah. amazed it hasn't been yet. Yeah. Adam West for $100. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Mm. Uh, but for some reason, I can't. Hang on. Gary, say something. Gary, say Gary, something. Gary, say Gary. something. Hang, say something. Hang, I'm trying hang to on, see buddy. the super chat because on, it zoomed in too much and it won't scroll Don't right. Lose you, <laughs> I, I, I hope, I hope <laughs> this isn't a repeat of that FNT from the Geeks and Gamers house when Gary just started saying some weird shit, man. He was out of it. It was really bad. Yeah. I has a stroke on a stream and you just clown him. That's what we do. Okay? <laughs> uh, where did it go, X-ray girl? Uh, I'll just toast. read it if you want. Read it. Uh, Adam West for a hundred. Here's a hundred bucks for Count Dankula smoking on live stream. There we I'm, go. All, it's, I'm all about oh, it's, it. it's, it's not. It's not. It's not weed. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 it's, mm, it's not weed. It's not weed. <laughs> That was totally convincing. Thank. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, I've, I've, I've called Count Dankula. I mean, like, come on, <laughs> fuck, like. <laughs> so, so I don't know. Do you roll your own cigarettes? Because I feel like that a lot of people do that, but that obviously doesn't happen in North America. So when I went over, my friend's oh, wait a minute, daughter 
17 years old is rolling her own one and i'm thinking she's smoking weed in front of her dad oh my oh, god oh no rolling, rolling, I, I, I find it quite hard to get rolling tobacco when i was in america I had to yeah. just like buy cigarettes and everything because it wasn't really a thing. Get it. No, no, you, you can, can get, get it. You got to go to a smoke shop. Yeah, yeah. you got to yeah. get cigars you, you, or something like that. Oh, I, I, I was just going to like 7 Elevens and shit. Yeah, yeah. 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 rolling papers. Every, news, not we get, get them in news agents here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. yeah. Bugler is like what they sell in prison. Uh, not, they like, yeah, x ray girl, I could roll a cigarette with one hand. No, but you get it. We're not allowed fancy. I wouldn't know how to do it. Every single packet. Like even packets of cigarettes all look like that, that brown yeah. color. The only way you can tell is the little text at the bottom what kind it is. Every have like a lung like that's that. black and disgusting. <laughs> yeah, it's just for yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Still smoke though. It doesn't seem like it's deterring anybody. Yeah, it was, it was the only thing I've got to fucking kick. I drink like once in a blue moon. But when I do, I fuck myself up really bad. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, the that's story you like started hearing about the quartering. Um, yeah, yeah, the story. yeah they, 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 you didn't hear about uh, when I was at the after party at Foxy's after the London Comic Con and all my friends actually had to take me out of the party and take me back to the hotel room because I kept talking about the stuff Kanye was saying. <laughs> 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 And basically, it got it got to a point where some of my friends went, "All right, well, before he's on drama, drama alert, we better get him out." Of here. <laughs> <laughs> that was just like our I'm Vegas good trip. Run. <laughs> just like that. Yeah. Like, what were you ro roofied yourself, quarter black? Uh, <laughs> I think somebody in the fandom roofied me, and that's what I'm gonna say. That's all I gotta say about that. He was drinking, and then the next minute, he was laying down I was on a out, bench. Man. Making out with the the as <laughs> face cut out. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I sold the. Pit. I started a live stream in the bathroom while I was pissing. <laughs> <laughs> as one does. Wow. As one does. does. Oh, wow. It's a fun life. You're like my aim is great, fucker. <laughs> I'm the manager. Oh, did As ever end up on the bathroom, the male's bathroom yeah, urinal again? The, oh. Room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the tradition now. I think the face is still there, to be honest with you. Uh, did you almost turn around and piss on Gary like um, Nick Weiser did? No. Dude. Oh, my God. I Nick almost tacked. pissed on Gary? <laughs> wow. Dude, no, no, okay. <clears throat> it's great being recognized, but I was I was with Comics Division, and we were at a Reverend Horton Heat concert. Yeah, and that I was just pisser, hilarious. And I'm there, like, pissing at the trough, and a guy walks right up to me, what's up, Nerdrotic? And I'm like... <gasps> <laughs> oh, my God. oh my God! He didn't, he didn't, even, even, he he didn't oh, even need to look up to recognize you. Don't be fucking talking to me with my cock in my hand. It's weird. It's it's, weird. It, 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 it is beyond weird. It's it's big time bro code. You, you don't talk yeah. to another dude. It, it's Eating like, a hamburger. Do fuck. It. Say hello. Walking yeah. down the street. When my cock's in my hand and I'm pissing, the, don't yeah, say. Yeah, you can't well, do that. The funny thing is, either. as we were having dinner and some other dude saw him too and recognized him. So it's like it happened <laughs> twice that night. <laughs> and then he took a selfie like I was, I was like mid bite on my bird. Are I you know what? I didn't really, I didn't recognize you without your cock in your hand. Give <laughs> <laughs> me perspective. We're not big time. Like if Jeremy walked up and started fucking talking to me, I'd feel the same way. I mean, what? Yeah, 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 yeah. You just don't. You yeah. know what I mean? Not the Jeremy. Don't do that. Eyes, eyes front. Yeah, do your business. Yes, to at least one urinal away. Yes, <laughs> yeah, at don't, least. Yeah, yeah, if, yeah, if there's yeah, an option least. to be further, you always take the further. If option. there's an option, yeah. Oh. Exactly. I was, there, was, there was only one time that's ever happened to me, and I, I've not minded it at all. Is I was doing, I was doing a big piss. You know how when you've had like four pints, and <laughs> like yeah. a big, big piss, right? And there was a guy next to me, and he just kept like sighing. And he was getting like frustrated and I'm just like not looking at him and I'm wondering like what the fuck's going on and he's sitting there and I can't even hear him pissing so I'm like what the hell and he just went oh, and leaned over to me and went I can't do it man I've taken so much ecstasy <laughs> <laughs> and I, I just started but laughing because I was like I mean, see if you take ecstasy you cannot piss you just can't it, it doesn't fuck what? you no. yeah. And it was, just, and that, and that made me laugh. And I turned around and went, "We've all been there, man. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Just, just sip, sip water." <laughs> oh, man, but I just thought that was fucking funny. <laughs> fan fan, fan interactions are all right. It's just sometimes they get like a bit awkward because see, the most common awkward one is someone will come up to me in the street and go, 
you're Count Dankula. And I'm like, oh, yeah, all right, how you doing? And then they just stare at you and don't uh-huh. say anything like that. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 And I'll call it out and go, well, this is fucking awkward. And I, 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 I'm a bit yeah. of a dick about it when I'm like leaning into it to make it funny. But I think because I'm being a bit of a dick, they just clam up even more and they just stare at me in silence. <laughs> and oh, man, it's just, yeah. But, but, but see, one of the funniest ones you can do, by the way, see, whenever it's a guy with his girlfriend, 99% of the time, the guy's up dead excited. The girlfriend has no fucking idea who I am. <laughs> Right, no clue, and I love doing this thing to fuck with people. I did it like three times at Comic Con, where the guy will come up like, "Oh, holy shit! Oh, I love all your videos." And blah, blah, blah. It's all right if I get a picture, and then the girlfriend will go, "Who are you?" And I'll go, "Oh, I, I, I make porn." Like that, and then and and in all situations, the girl like turns to her boyfriend, kind of like, "What the fuck?" And the boyfriend's immediately panicking, like, "Ah." "He's he's joking. He's he's such a joker." Like he makes he makes YouTube videos, and then I'll I'll make a face as if, "Oh, was I not supposed to say that?" And I'll be like, "Uh, "Yeah, yeah, I make I make YouTube." Oh, you want to take gay porn? I did, I did that like, to a guy at Comic Con who was running a stall with his girlfriend, so it happened in front of a crowd. Oh. Oh, it's, it's such a dick thing to do, man, but I can't help myself. I keep fucking doing it. <laughs> and I, yes, I know they had an awkward, situ- an awkward conversation as soon as I walked away. <laughs> <laughs> Now the guy has oh, to prove man. he's straight. Right? Yeah. <laughs> now he's got to go like, this is the porn I actually watch. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. uh, Wolverine Snicked has given, uh, gifted 10 neurotic memberships for $50. Oh, Thank you. William101 for $50 says, Hail Friday Night Tides gang. Hail Shad. Hail Count. Love Friday Night Tides time and look forward to it every week. Keep up the great work. Love you guys and gals. We love you too. <laughs> Nobody's out uh, Black Friday night shopping right? as they're listening to us right now. Probably not. Like this, I'm surprised it's even a thing after COVID. Yeah, I was going to shop online. To go yeah. yeah. What that the hell is Dankula's icon here? <laughs> oh no, but it's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, um, it's Nicholas it's Sturgeon. Nose. The head of the SNP in Scotland. Is that... <laughs> oh, is that who that is? Yeah, he looks he looks exactly like I thought it was That's why yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just guessing because that is spot on of what she fucking looks like in reality. Wow. <laughs> Oh, uh, he looks retarded. So uh, there you go. It's a shame. Uh, That's the thing. It's a shame. Oh, it's Nicholas. Oh, <laughs> a little bit like Baltimore. Just like... Wouldn't have known. Wouldn't have known. Yep. It's like it's Pat. We don't know what sex it is. Remember that when that was a joke? Yeah, yeah Pat. No, that shit was pretty Pat. funny. Um, Archer Ronan. What about Melissa? The lovely Melissa, Melissa. from uh, Twitter. Uh, mm. Melissa from Twitter. Trust and safety. Uh, third party. Whatever. Uh, oh, it is luck. ma'am. Good luck it in the workforce, ma'am. ma'am. Yeah, well, last, last, thank you. Yeah, Nicola Sturgeon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just I don't know what it is. That drawing of her just filled me with so much joy for the moment I fucking saw it, man. She's I, I fucking hate her so much. Do you, do you mind one of the things about her? She's blocked me on Twitter, right? And this was like me and my wife were just having a night home at New Year's Eve. It was like three minutes to fucking midnight. And I tweeted something just really rude at her and she blocked me, which means her last act of that year was blocking me on oh. Twitter. <laughs> wow. You know, man, which That's is the most which, which is the most poignant thing she's ever fucking done. <laughs> <laughs> like honestly, I hate her. Oh. God, yeah, you know that that makes us feel a little bit better. Like as bad as our fault. <laughs> 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 
Yep. Wow. Um, that's how it goes right there. <laughs> it's weird. That's weird. All right. It, it is. is beyond. Yeah. It's super bro code, man. You, you don't do that. You don't that do that. That is pretty much what happened. It was pretty empty in there. There was lots of room, lots of space. <laughs> I, want to, I want to do that now. Just walk up. So, how about them next? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I thought you said necks. Like neck. <laughs> no. neck. Like how strong is your neck? <laughs> I was just do something really weird. Just, just lean over and just go, nice man. <laughs> but like very sincere. Don't like. don't do it. Don't do it if he's much bigger than you. If he's much yeah. bigger than you, don't do it. <laughs> that's, uh, that's some good cock there, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> great form uh, uh, you might be wearing the urinal <laughs> uh, Archer Ronin on the stream live side circumventing Mama Susan for $50 thank you hail and happy Thanksgiving FNT crew thanks for all the laughs and the great times at the end of a stressful work week all movies and uh and TV are horrible right now. It's uh, so it's far more entertaining to watch people clown on it than actually watch it. Have a good one. It's fun to do, to be honest. Thank you. It's so easy to clown. I'd like yes, to say it it's is. rocket science, but it really isn't. When they when Disney comes out with a like a full on environmental all woke cartoon. Right after coming out against the parental rights bill, and it flops with a disabled uh, dog. Shocking mm -hmm. turn of events. Who could have seen that coming? Losing yeah. everybody. Fuck. Still delusional enough to brag about it, though. Oh, so yeah. They're yeah. still inside. Strange. They're firmly inside that bubble. Are they? Are they saving they're, lives? They're, they're proud they're that they're, they're making lives. media that upsets people and not entertains them. Yeah. They're, and they take yeah. that as a win. That's how deluded they are. Yes. They, yep. Hey, disabled people. They don't care about you. Mm -hmm. They do not no, care about you. Don't. You're just a checkbox. So they can go, oh, look, I made this Whoa. movie. Look how virtuous Strange, I am. Uh, Strange Worlds has an estimated budget of $120 million. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> it, it, I think we mentioned this one on uh, Tuesday when we mentioned it. But remember when Pixar movies were just guaranteed to be blockbusters? Yeah. Yep. Yep. You know, Disney animated yeah. movies. They were just guaranteed. And now it's like we're at a time now where Disney animated movies are coming out and pick some of them are even Pixar and they're struggling to make money. Some of them are losing money. That that is such a testament to where we are right now, because wow. back in the day, like Pixar movie, Disney animation, home, home run every time, sometimes even a grand slam, but every time a home run. Now you got things like Lightyear that I even thought Lightyear was going to make money. And it didn't light your lost money. Yeah, I'm really surprised. Uh, Chris Evans. It. Yeah, Chris yeah. Evans is not a movie star. You know, uh, that's something yeah, I've been saying. Yeah, hey, uh, some... Simu Lu is not a movie star either. Just Simu, Simu, Simu is not a movie star. C He's Simu a Lu, joke. No, he is a hundred percent a joke. Um, and, and that's what a lot of these, a lot of these guys, uh, in Hollywood, they get propped up, uh, based off a pre-existing character. But as soon as they're in something that doesn't have that pre-existing tie, they find out you're just not that important. Well, mean, it, you're, it, yeah. it, it's well, about well, no it's, I, I think it's about the ego involved because yes. he got mad because people went to see shang chi because of the character shang chi like tarantino was saying people don't go to see chris evans they're not going to see no nope. simu lu they're not off to yeah. see no you know masani Masla, uh imaging maslani uh they're off to see the character they're off to see she hulk right. they're off to see right. Uh, Shang Chi, they're off to see Captain America, and that fucked with that little bitch's e uh, ego because that little bitch is a massive fucking ego, as yes. we've seen, and he has got about as as much fucking backbone as a fucking amoeba. Because yep. as soon as he gets anything critical about him, oh, he's got he's nothing. He goes straight after. He's so fucking mad, yep. so fucking mad. And Tarantino exposed exactly what Marvel is right now, which mm. is just character. Next character, bring next character, yeah. promote next yeah. character, and that's what it's, it's got nothing to do with the people, and it. it's got nothing to do with the movie star. Downey Jr., he's a movie star, mm -hmm. you know. That was a good name to attach to Iron Man back in the day, but yeah. now they've just dissolved it. They've dissolved yeah. If you have that. to say that you're a movie star, you're not a movie star, <laughs> you're not a movie star. Well, yeah, well, yeah I mean, well, well like, there are some honestly, just that, that Marvel comment that Tarantino made. 
it does seem really specific to Chris Evans, even though he tried to justify Snot because uh, Chris uh, Chris Pratt's a movie star. Yeah, Chris Chris Tim Hemsworth's a movie really star. Well. Chris mm-hmm. Hills, Wimsworth's a movie star. Chris Robert Brown Downey just... Jr. is a movie star. Very specific. Chris, Chris Evans is not a fucking movie star. Chris really Evans not. is a irrelevant piece of shit. And <laughs> he got put into a role, Captain America, that he did fantastic in. He is yes, phenomenal he in the Captain America mm-hmm. role. He absolutely is. Love that dude in that role. Outside of that, no fucking body cares about Chris Evans. He is an irrelevant piece of shit that gets on social media and talks about politics like anybody gives a fuck. He gets all his bots to retweet him, and he thinks he's important. But then he goes and does a movie that doesn't have any pre-existing ties, and it fails miserably. Well, besides Name Marvel, a- what has he yeah. done? Whoa. But even yeah. Lightyear, though, Lightyear has a base behind it. It's got it. Yeah, has and, it, and has it still it, failed, and yeah. It, and that fucking and failed, that failed too. Yeah. I'd, almost, I'd, I'd also argue that even the, the ones that you did list off, like Chris Hemsworth oh. and Robert Downey Jr. And, like, I love Robert Downey Jr. Don't get me wrong. He's a phenomenal actor. Hmm. He can't bring in a million people into the box office like he's just not he's not yeah he's thing. he's not a draw like i don't like think anybody think. is at this point like nobody i mean no, no, but uh, is. you go back into the 90s Tom right Bruce. if there was a, a a new schwarzenegger movie i'd watch it just because it had schwarzenegger in it same right. with jackie chan if it had jackie chan in yeah. bang because i knew what yeah. i was getting like, we don't have, have, anymore. have a movie like eraser anymore like we all saw yeah. eraser mm-hmm. been erased does anybody remember yeah, the damn movie? Yeah, 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 that yeah, movie yeah. was awful. Yeah, we still don't have those. Yeah, movies. I mean, the, there's yeah, a few Arnie, people. But you're going for Arnie, and that's who you were going for. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. a Van Damme movie. You know, yeah. there's a ton of B movies, but you're like, oh, yeah, you, you yeah. see the latest Van Damme? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just well, the, I mean, I, I, the movie I'd star say... is just not. It's, not it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. And, and, yeah, we, and like you said, you see the latest Chris Evans? Tom Cruise, that's a giant. I mean, it's a big property that he's coming back to. He's a big guy. And I think a lot of that was how how he like marketed that movie and how he said like he was coming back and we're doing stunts for real we're showing all these things for real and then when he he did that that little bit before the movie started where he thanked the audience for coming in mm-hmm. thank you for coming yeah. back and and watching these movies we make these because awesome. we love to to make movies and we want to make something for you and thank you for coming like i feel like that that kind of energy brought so many more people back to the movie theater than any other star even tom cruise's star power could have brought like that kind of yeah. energy i think brought Dude, more that people fucker back. is going into space in his next movie he's going into <laughs> real space like, <laughs> oh that like mission I think impossible also like, waiting for huge. him to maybe expire on screen i don't want to i want him to live <laughs> for a thousand years <laughs> you think he has a nice contract if he does they have to use the footage but <laughs> probably, probably, he probably is like, probably. Uh, yeah, you know, absolutely. it's his film company, isn't it? It's his Use film that company footage. that's uh, doing it. Uh, he's a psycho. He's a psychopath, man. I he's love it. Psychopath. Dude, when he's promoting his movie on a fucking standing on a biplane. That he's was like, nuts. Yeah. That was, that yeah. Was oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. I love it. And then, you've got, the and then that was. He's got like, he's at, he has that star power energy well, that well, just none of these other guys. That was, like, that reminded me. That was juxtaposed right next to fucking Guy Ladsriel going, I had to have therapy for the fight. Oh, thing. oh God. Exactly. And he got fucking Nobody fucking cares about that. Did you hear the chick? Exactly. Did you read that bound article from the Variety? article with uh the the girl playing uh queen regent muriel sounding like she just fought in a fucking war oh my yes, god yes yes yeah. yes That's right. medals of honor for surviving there's gonna a be a one. plaque with all of our names yeah badges yeah. of honor for, for what? Yeah. we always Sorry, hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on for what for what um fighting the good fight you know fighting the good fight and uh talking about non-specific attacks from trolls on twitter oh, she's, a no. she mm-hmm. served in the culture <laughs> war guys she needs to be recognized i served in the culture war i survived the culture i am wars. a culture war survivor <laughs> Because <laughs> no, Tom Cruise on that plane like actually reminded me of some of the old school energy of the old school movie stars where yeah. they'll do yep. crazy stunts and do insane things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I remember too. watching like uh Dancing in the Rain, the old film, right? There is this single take of this like guy doing one full nuts like acrobatic dance number. His singing, his acting, is doing like full on physical, really intensive stuff. And it's like those back. But the old school movie stars, they flipping, they did stuff. And like seeing Fred Tom Cruise and all that kind of jazz. And, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. Buster Keaton, Harold Lloyd, all these uh, silent movie stars and the crazy shit that they would do. Mm-hmm. 
and, and now, now, like now they're all now we have board. we have we have actors saying I need therapy from being in like a fight. I need yeah. therapy because yeah. somebody pointed a fake fucking plastic sword at me. <laughs> oh, the trouble! <laughs> <laughs> Get over yourself. I that is somebody who has that. no real fucking problems, by the way. No. Open up Minecraft. Forget it. I won't say that. No. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> Welcome to the world. Yeah, this is. Yeah. Like, you know that that's the Starbucks employee crying that he had to work eight hours in one single day. <laughs> yeah. In one single fucking day. But I do twenty hours in college. Oh. <laughs> and they don't stop coming in. <laughs> Uh, these people, uh, these oh people are God. nuts. Say this name, Wolfine. Wolfine for fifty dollars. Thank you very much. Sorry if I screwed up your name. Hail Friday Night Tights. Hail to the Fellowship. It's a holiday weekend. I'm watching Friday Night Tights and painting miniatures. Oh, you nerd! Nice. I love you. Uh, life is wow. good. What is best in life? Listening to FNT and painting miniatures. That's one oh. of the things. Oh. We'll say one of the things. Life is good if you like board games and the Alien movies. Check out Nemesis. Does a great job of capturing the feel of the movies. Well, we'll check it out. Nice. Yeah, board games. I will say, very fire right now. Make a lot board of really great, board great games. Painting miniatures mm-hmm. for me. Bad. I can't see them. It would just you be can get, seriously. No, I'm not joking, Gary. You can get, uh, mag, you know, Pres- ma- prescription uh, magnification. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it would if the sun hit the, <laughs> hit it. It would. It would <laughs> Your whole house just. Small nations. Chewing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like the end of Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Neil Horn for one hundred dollars. Thank you, Neil. Uh, Hail Friday Night Tights in the chat. I haven't done a super chat in a while, so here's a Benjamin. Thank you. Uh, since you're talking about independent movie making, if you had the money, what two movies would you make? My choice would be Red Nails. By Robert E. Howard and also Starship Troopers. Uh, I would oh, make Starship. Call of Cthulhu, like a proper Call of Cthulhu. They, nobody's done that. That's true. Nobody's done it. Uh, that's what the Solomon first thing I do. Kane. And, then, and a Solomon Kane. Oh, yeah. I agree with you, Gary. Uh, Cthulhu. Yes. That would be the way to go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That that's would be hard, though, up. you know, because it's, I would it's make... all. Ka- Cabinet of Curiosities had two Cthulhu episodes <laughs> were actually really well done, I have to say. It did. I'm going to uh, yeah. Ray Skywalker, the, mind, the story continues, part one. And Ray Skywalker, the story <laughs> is fucking definitely dead and over and got AIDS cancer, part two. Are you going to film them I... at the same time? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. I, like uh, I, I would make a G.I. Joe movie, a proper G.I. Joe oh, movie. Oh, hell oh, yeah. I got, I got Duke oh. on a motorbike downstairs. Ah, oh, the the new uh, part of the new line. Yeah, in real life, that one yet, that so. in real life, he's kidnapped. <laughs> he's he's round and gagged on the he's motorcycle. On the motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> and I would hire Channing Tatum to kill him in the movie, uh, just <laughs> as Channing Tatum. Like he would be Channing first Tatum in the minutes. movie. We would kill, first five minutes be done, and I would start off with saying, uh, "This will begin to make things right." That's what I would start <laughs> off. <with. laughs> <laughs> What a what a fucking glorious first line of the Disney Star Wars era. I know this will begin to set things right. <laughs> Anyone else? I mean, like, yeah, we have to make a, a five season series on the biker war. Uh, that would be fun. That would be fucking awesome. Uh, I'm Metal. amazed that I'm amazed that fucking what's her name? The fucking Kievan Rus woman, the queen that did some fucking like Game of Thrones shit, like level shit when she was 16. She was fucking insane. Olga of Kiev. Now everybody, everybody everyone's like, oh, powerful women, female lead. But but that I would actually fucking watch because she was fucking insane. She was insane. There was another tribe that fucking killed her husband, the king, because he demanded too much tribute from them. And then they arrived at her castle when she's like 16. And they went, oh, we kind of like killed your husband. So you should like marry our leader instead. Mm. And all that. And she sat there stoic as fuck, didn't react or anything like that. And she said, go back to your boats and you should be brought back to the city in great honor. And they were like, oh, well, very, very nice. Yeah, absolutely. They went back to their boats. She sent her townsfolk out and 
the townsfolk lifted the boats out the river, carried them above their head into the city while everyone's clapping and cheering for like their new king, apparently, and all that. And then they're like, wow, wow, this is a great honour. Oh, holy shit. And then as soon as they came into the castle grounds, the townsfolk immediately threw them into giant pits that had been dug the night before and then started burying them alive along with her boats. Oh, and then oh. She's, she's 16. She Damn. fucking sits at the edge of the pit Boots. and just like slav squats down and looks at them and says, is this honor to your liking? I want that movie. I want that movie. This was the woman that fucking laid a siege to a town and says, I'll break the siege if all of you bring me two sparrows and two pigeons. And the townsfolk went, fuck everyone, grab, grab all the sparrows and pigeons. Gave them all to her. And then they tied sulfur to the bird's like legs and lit it on fire and let them all go so that they would fly back to their nests in the town. Oh. Right, and oh. back, oh. Right, back then, back then roofs were made of thatch. <laughs> so the, the, whole, yeah. the whole fucking town goes up in flames, right? So they fucking open the doors to escape just to be met with the swords of the fucking invaders, like cutting them all down. But she left some of them alive. And when they says, why have you left some of us alive? She says... I need someone to pay me tribute. Oh! She was, she was, she was like eighteen at this point. <laughs> but then, Who was this? But this was Olga of Kiev. Oh, Olga damn. of Kiev. She, oh, but the thing that was really weird is she had a baby. She already had a baby with a husband that just died. See, as soon as the son was hit like twelve or thirteen, when he was allowed to become king, she just went, "All right, I'm out." And just became queen regent and was just a mother for the rest of her fucking life. Wow, that man! Like it was fucking honestly that that's a movie. I want that movie. I want that wow. movie really bad. Hell yeah! Wow. So you're not up for the uh, Ray Skywalker story? <laughs> story. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good, man. No, I'm all right. Uh, I thought they, I was honest, winning, right? they don't want real strong women unless they uh, support their own narrative. And that's so, right. Um, Unless they're oh, born right. with a penis, yeah. You know, they just right. imagine they how they had they Gina Carano, got rid of Gina though. Carano yeah. because she wasn't towing the line. And imagine oh, yeah. what you know this historical character would think about you know mainstream politics and feminism and stuff. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> um, oh. I'm, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna hop off here. Uh, I got to stream a little bit later tonight on Geeks Gamers Play. So it'll be a couple hours from now. So thanks for having me, Count Ankula. Always a pleasure being on with you, man. Uh, and I do hope you get your name fixed very soon. Uh, yeah. thanks, but it, good, good but it is <laughs> fucking funny as hell to watch it all play out. FNT crushing it as always. Congratulations to Gary, six hundred thousand subscribers. Thanks, man. Killing it, man. I'm proud of you, bro. Hit that right. applause. Uh, always good. Always good for uh, us to. Get on here, laugh, make fun of each other, talk shit. Have a good night, everybody. Bye. 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 You know how I celebrated? I slept in my car at a truck stop. That's how I said when it when it when like it a real man. Like yeah, like a big yeah. time YouTuber. I was driving out to San Diego. I'm like, fuck a hotel. I'm fine in my car. <laughs> it's not freezing. It's only 37. So I just put a jacket on and went to sleep in yeah. my car. Yeah. It was fine. Saved it. And then saved you heard knock, knock, knock. Are you Gary oh, Beagler from? <laughs> no, uh, I guess demonetized. The guy's guy. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> I got. I did get pulled over the next day. I got a speeding ticket. My first speeding ticket in fucking oh, long time. No. I had How just woken up from the rest stop, and I was on my way to get coffee. I wasn't like fully awake yet, and I was like going about 105. <laughs> oh shit! Oh <laughs> boy! Just, and the, my my um. The Google Maps like warns you, like it tells you speed trap coming up, and I didn't hear because I was blasting some fucking metal. And uh, yeah, I just saw the cop, and I didn't even fucking bother slowing down. <laughs> I just like oh, I've uh... done that shit too, man. It's like I'm screwed at this I'm just point. I'm not gonna hit my brakes. I'll just take my foot slowly off the gas pedal. We'll uh... go for a few miles. The guy was laughing at me, uh... <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, dude, you got me. <laughs> fair, uh, he, fair. He reduced it because it would have been really bad. So he's like, I put it down to 85. So wow. you're because uh, yes. I was in Arizona. Fucking Arizona. Can't even count your fucking votes. We can speed pull speed doors. And he's and he said, he said, there's gonna be a lot of us out here, so you might want to hit that cruise control, dude. Uh <laughs> <laughs> <I was> like, fuck. <laughs>
I haven't told my wife yet, so she's probably listening and she's just just found out. Hi, Melissa. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> he saved all that money because he didn't stay in a hotel. He's all yeah. <laughs> now I can spend it on a fucking speeding ticket. Yeah, then yeah. Get the, the two fifty for the speeding out. ticket. But you know, yeah, like you get going, right? It's 105, and I'm in my FJ. You can't tell. It's not like it rattles or anything. It's a re- pretty smooth ride. And uh, yeah, it was 105. I'm like, oh fuck, what? How'd that happen? Whoops. Uh, Metalhead Madman for one hundred dollars. Wow, 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 wow. Hey Gary, uh, you talked about being in prison on the holidays yesterday. Yes, I was. Uh, kind of, of off topic, but do you know of any ex-con named Larry Lawton? If so, thoughts? I don't. I don't. I'll have to look it up. I don't remember a lot of the names. A lot I of think them were. He's a guy on YouTube. I think. Yeah. Uh, oh, is he? Yeah, is he, 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 uh, he does uh, YouTube videos now. I think he was in for a. He used to be a armed robber for like jewelers and stuff. And I think he did twenty years. I think I don't know. I might have him confused with someone else. But he does YouTube videos yeah, now. Is he the one? He does those like yeah. uh, the thief reacts to like. Oh, I, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Subscribe yeah. to the he's after really good videos. That's not Larry Lawton. The After Prison Show. That's. No, I, I'll, I'll look it up. I'll look it up. I mean, it's like, it's not like I seek it out. <laughs> you know, I, I did my time. I'm good. Uh, it really sucked. Don't want to go back, but I'll check it out. I've got like good stories. Uh, it's, not, it's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Well, I'm, well, I'm just saying, like, and and in, in, in Scotland is a lot better because we don't all fuck each other in the arse. That's an American thing. I don't know what the fuck. You're getting. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with you. That's not we, well, that's not something that, we do. But that's that's the thing is the whole narrative about that. It's like prison rape. It's like no, the the uh, it's very fucking volunteer in there. Uh, there's a lot of just like I'm not gay. I was just in prison for the rest of my life. So you know, okay, whatever, dude. Um, pussy is pussy. <laughs> <laughs> in america they will put a uh can i even say it they'll put a somebody like as would like um on the <laughs> they'll put them on the yard to keep the peace right so like there would be one uh, dude with boobs maybe two to keep the peace and this is like in the like i'm liking it well yeah I, I didn't partake in any of this shit like i didn't even go in the yard dude like i i was not i didn't i didn't start going out to the yard till i was in minimum security i did not <laughs> fuck the around. for playtime literally <laughs> dude, the yard is for getting shanked and fucking around and like yeah the, no i just read fucking books like a dork and stayed in my fucking prison cell that's all i fucking did that's how i survived and i still You're got smart. fights you're still getting fights you can't avoid them but um yeah, I didn't go fuck around on the yard. What's there to do? Talk to a bunch of fucking prisoners? I'd rather read a book. Sorry. But uh, yeah, I was in Old Folsom, Old Folsom, and, and it was a, I was supposed to be a level two, but it was a level four max, dude. So there was fucking murderers and rapers and all the worst of the worst. Uh, my cellmate was a, was a double. He killed two people for their drugs and ate their fucking jack in a box when he was done. Like with their <laughs> what? Wow. Yeah. Like he fucking was, yeah, the guy's telling me the whole fucking story. Like, fiction. And I'm like, yeah, it's like, I'm kind of just going to scare me. Took, I'm took totally, the life. This is a tasty beverage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, what, do you, what do you tell at that point? What are you waiting for? Oh, I've heard a bunch of people. No, you just go cool. You know, inside I'm like, my fucking God. But like, <laughs> have you ever seen, um, yeah. Louis Theroux in San yeah. Quentin. What was when that? Visit, have you ever seen Louis Theroux when he went to San Quentin prison? No. To to talk to the prisoners. Holy fuck! I've seen like uh, Scared Straight. I don't know if that was San Quentin though. San, I lived near San Quentin for like it's a weird fucking prison. It's a prison in like the nicest fucking city in the, one of the nicest cities in the Bay Area. Like some of the most. Oh, they're not nice people in there. No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, San Quentin is fucking kindergarten compared to fucking Old Folsom. Well, he also went to the Miami Mega. The, I don't know what it's called, but it's called Miami Mega Prison. And, and he, uh, Jesus, I just watching those. I, I don't even want to go to America in case. No, they're called, arrested. they're called gladiator schools. That's what they're called. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, and there's a reason to that. Uh, holy, they're very bad places with very bad people. So, uh, you know, as much as I'm, a, I'm like very anti-death penalty, but damn, there's some people who fucking are just bad. They I never mean, should be out in society again, ever. Oh, ever there's again. a guy who's there for the rest of his life, and it was just, it's like, what are you here for? And he's like, uh, 
I'd, I would go to houses, I'd break in, steal stuff, fuck around with the people inside. It's kind of like, what do you mean when you say fuck around with the people inside? It's like, you know, I'd, I'd buy them up, torch them. Yeah. And they'd be like, and then they, the guy was just like cold, like cold as ice about huh? it all. And he, and, he, and he just, there was a like pause because Louis Threw likes to pause and allow people just, you know, to elaborate. Keep it yeah, because if you, you know, awkward silence, they fill it with something. And then he just says, you know how you have hobbies and you like doing stuff? I got different type of hobbies that I like. And he just like, I'm so glad this man is never coming back into <laughs> yeah. society. He will never you... see, he will never see the light of day again. It's just like, I used to watch security in an insane asylum. It, oh. was, only it was only it was only a temporary contract. I'm not going to say where it was, and I'm going to use like fake names. But it was a case of Parliament. It, it was it was getting no, it was getting moved somewhere else to a newer building. So basically, they were slowly moving the patients over to this new building that had been built. So the security team was split in half and everything. So I was only there like temporarily, and we had to get a different kind of training where they went. This isn't cokeheads in the bathroom anymore. These are people who literally think that Satan whispers to them. <laughs> no, that's just, wow. like, all right, cool, cool, that's fine. Wow. And there's a, inside the building, for, their outside is essentially like a square cut in the building. It's just a big room with no roof. That's that's their outside with some fake plants and like yeah. bench and stuff around. And that's where everybody went to smoke. And I went in there to smoke all the time. And there was this guy, I'm going to call him Paul. I would always see him in there. I would always give him cigarettes. Sometimes he would give me cigarettes. He kind of like talk, 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 talk like this, and did it like that. And I was like, this, this. he's a big guy, but I was like, he seems pretty fucking harmless. And everything. I struck up a friendship with him over the period of three months. And everything. we were dead close and we spoke every day and everything like that, and like talking all the time. I told him where I live and all that, you know. Like, <laughs> and then I guess to, I guess to the head of security, he's finally going around him, but he's stressed in between the buildings, so I've not even met him yet. And I'm talking to him and he's like, oh, he, he goes, you know who to watch for and everything like that, you know, who's fine and who's not. And I went, yeah, yeah, I know. And I like Big Paul. Big Paul's nice. I talk to him all the time. The security guy's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, I'm like, and I was like, yeah, was what, what, what happened? And everyone if you went, uh, yeah, he murdered his wife, stabbed her uh, 54 times, and he goes, and 20 of those were in her. <gasps> wow. oh, like oh. And I was and I was like, I tell him my problems. <laughs> <laughs> man, like, I struck up a friendship with him. And what man, and then like I went out for a smoke, and sure enough, he was there. He came up like, oh, how, 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 how are you doing? The, the dynamic changed. The <laughs> dynamic of the relationship oh, like changed immediately and all that, and I started like distancing myself from him, but that was fucking wild, working in an asylum. Another rule, by the way, if you're ever in a place like that, do not eat any food that any patient gives you. Even Ooh. if it's a sweet. Even if it's a sweet. Even if it looks yeah, like it's yeah. still in the wrapper and stuff like that, they've they've... It's not even they've done something. I can tell you what they've done. They've put their shit in it. <gasps> wow. It's it's Why? it's this really weird across the board thing. No matter what type of mental illness they have, the patients try to feed you their shit, and it's I, I don't I, I don't it's know It's like why. Disney. Just like yeah. Disney. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the problem with American prisons, Dank, yeah. is we don't have many sil asylums. We pretty much closed them all down. Yeah. So that's yeah. what they are now. Is uh, they that's, even have prisons dedicated for for crazy people, but they they mix the crazy people in with the regulars. And yeah, and you're right. There is a very common thing about flinging shit at people, putting shit in food. It's fucking yeah. weird. But there's a lot of fucking weirdness in. Uh, yeah. Some, some of the some of the patients are all right. Some of them would like play like super loud music and sing at the top of their lungs in their room, but they would do it when their doors locked when they can't get beat up <laughs> like for doing it and everything. And it was just like weird stuff. I had wow. people talking to me, telling me that they do in fact speak to demons and all that. And I'm just like, mm -hmm. all right, cool. Just keep walking down the hall, man. Like it's fine. Just, like, I, some of it was fucking mental. That was a dark place. Luckily, that was only a six-month contract. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. There's a, reason, there's a reason, you know. The Happy Thanksgiving. Makes a lot of <laughs> <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> hey, be you're not in any of these yeah. places. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'm thankful, thankful yeah. that I'm not anywhere near. No, there, was, there was actually a recent thing in Scotland as well. Places. 
there was a recent thing in the papers where a nurse uh, actually ended up getting sacked and get like knocked off the register and stuff like that because he kept playing knock knock runaway on a patient's door who had paranoid schizophrenia. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> That's messed up, man. <laughs> kind That's of funny. funny. Oh. Kind of funny I, was, I, I done this. I done a video on it when I went. That's so fucked up. It's funny, but it's fucked up. But it's funny, but it's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> oh wow! Get, there's a guy burning his fucking pubic hair. I'm, I'm not I'm trying to out there. <laughs> All right, I'll stop then. What is going places? You want me to? Stop? I'll stop Gary. Okay. Burning his pubic hair to fight off demons. That was at Donovan. That wasn't receiving. That was before I even got to like the bad place. That was in no, San Diego. No, and that's not that sense. sense. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> I play Phasmophobia. He's smudging the area. Oh, <laughs> of the demons. So that's what's in those things. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it works. What do I know? Made. Uh, Yo, Shark. Right, because we're because we're st sharing stories, I volunteered at a dementia ward to just, uh, you know, I can help with the patients. And uh, some of the people there, I, I, man, they go off the rails. But there was one guy, he was mute. He would not say a thing except one <clears throat> thing. And it was a song. And the song was, Hallelujah, I'm a bum. Hallelujah, bum again. Hallelujah, give us a hand out to provide us again. And that was the song. He would only say that, and he would do it on repeat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. All day long, or just like... Yeah. Yeah. Well, like he would mute, and if you tried to interact with him, he would look at you and Hodor. just sing that song. He's Hodor. <laughs> that, so he's Hodor. a top kind of loop. Yeah, he's caught in some kind of feedback loop in the Matrix, uh, man. And that there, there was a woman who was like, like three that. years before she was a principal at a uh, at a primary school, and all she could do was she would go up close to you and go <laughs> like that. That's wow. all she could do, and then she would walk away. And if you tried to interact, she'd be like. There was a woman in our in, the, in America who got in trouble for like intentionally trying to frighten preschoolers. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. It's I haven't worked at in an insane time. asylum or a prison or anything, but I have gone to New York City. <laughs> New York City is very similar to these stories. It's very, very similar. So yeah. wait, wait, Shaq, what happened to the woman? Like, what? She was a she was. She just had dementia. Man. She 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 oh, three years. Okay. She was uh, working yeah. as a primary school um, principal. Three years later, she was she older. Everything gone. She was she was on That's the older scary. end. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But scary. seeing how far your mental state can descend when I like, yeah, it was pretty <sighs> full on. And me, please. <laughs> uh, if that ever, Melissa knows what to do. Uh, Yo Shark for fifty dollars <laughs> says, "I'm surprised you guys talk so little about." <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> Put the pillow just, over I the head. Basically, if I start this like a little over the fucking chuckoo's nest, Gary. <laughs> it's time to <laughs> say bye bye. I don't want to look, be look at the flowers, like, Gary. Look at the flowers. No. Flowers. Yeah, flowers. Yeah. No. Look at the alfalfa, Lemmy. Uh, maybe show the flowers <laughs> one more time so I can see it for the first time again, and then end it. Yeah, so uh, I'm surprised you guys talk so little about Sonic's redemption in arc, considering his Maybe. new success in movies, shows, and games frontiers briefly outselling ragnarok he's showing he would be uh where hollywood he's, he's showing he would where hollywood holly wouldn't okay i get you're being cute there yeah sonic <laughs> loves sonic dude um i had this um i had a group of kids there's about 10 of them who were there every wednesday when i opened up to buy the sonic comic book at my shop like they that like i, I knew it was a sonic day when they were there and uh yeah it's got a quite the fan base i'm you know uh they the director did a good thing with the movie when he mm -hmm. said hey we listened to the fans and they got a bunch of sequels they, yeah i think that's good but um I, i'm just not into the character because it's a so, game. just on sonic like there's a rumor that that was just a marketing ploy from the very beginning do mm -hmm. you guys buy into that or no i don't think so. no okay. there was a uh, an interview with uh mark miller is that his name who is the, Tim Miller? Tim Miller. Tim Miller. Tim oh. Miller. And mm. he actually was a producer on that show, and he knew the director, and he said that like basically the director just he's such a technical guy that he didn't realize that it was not tradition. Like it, he was just like, hey, I'm making a movie. It's in live action. Let me make something that's in live action. Make it look as human as possible. So whenever <laughs> they they put it out, and everybody was having a backlash. The director, before Tim Miller even contacted him, because he was going to go contact him and be like, hey, you should probably fix this. 
he was like already writing a response and he already got the teams together to start redesigning. So that director, he was on the ball with the fandom at least. Cause yeah. he was like, yeah, Oh, I good. realized, Oh man, I didn't, I'm sorry. I, let me make it closer to what you wanted. So I, I can, I believe it. Mm-hmm. I believe it too. It's a smart move. Uh, WG has gifted 10 nerdrotic memberships for $50. Thank you very much. WG. Uh, would, Rob bad as Rob Adamson. This is the one that you messed up in um, Orlando. Dude, oh, no. in name, because I see the B and the D. I'm like, what? I was like, my eyes just want to focus on the bad. <laughs> it's just <laughs> bad. Rob uh, Rob Adamson won for fifty dollars. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, it's not the '90s. You can put spaces between your names. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, hey, on Friday night tights, a belated happy Thanksgiving. Looking forward to Dark Side, but what movie is on the horizon that tickles your fancies? Uh, absolutely nothing that I could. Not <laughs> impossible. Not aware of anything. But nothing like I, nothing. I am excited about. It's like it, zero. Even from properties that I usually would love, now if it's something that I like that's being remade, I dread. Because yeah. I loved the original Willow film. Like that was, I was the right age when that came out, friggin' loved it. And the remake looks awful. It's just, oh. one film I'm looking forward to The Marvels. I'm counting down the days. <laughs> 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 For the, yeah. all the wrong reason. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's the... That's the oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Waldo865, two parts for $250. Oh, my God, I almost... Wrong thing. Wow, 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 wow. I think we'll start to see Disney sell or third party off certain things. Could be the theme park functions, could be something in entertainment, but they will need to make up for those losses fast to keep. So continue here to keep the shareholders happy because ultimately that's what they hired Bob back to do. Make money and keep the money coming in. So shedding something to save uh, and create income, I think we'll see that in the coming months. Well, I didn't hear Bob Iger. What, we get a town meeting from him Monday, right? But I didn't hear them say they weren't going to fire people and they weren't going to cut things back because they're going to have to do that. They can't not do that. That that has to happen. But I think they just wanted Chapek to announce it and then they just won't mention it again until they fire the people. Uh, WG for a hundred dollars says even if Gary stuffed his turkey with pineapple, yeah. which I might have, you don't fucking mm -hmm. know. Uh, I, I still wish him and the F&T gang a happy Thanksgiving. All the best. All the best to you. And I'll be thinking of you, WG, as I eat that delicious pizza time pineapple pizza that I'm ordering tonight. Oh, yeah. Uh, WG for 50 more dollars. Wow. All great. for Scientology. Draining its own members. Life force in order to power Tom Cruise for his movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they're doing it. That's good. Yeah. It makes sense. Oh my God. They're sacrificing their own members for Tom Cruise. Yeah, I gotta it's keep like him alive. He had that weird so facelift, which made him just look a little bit wonky, and now he's like back to normal again. Yeah. That was that yeah. was it. How I, hmm. well, you know, it's all those. Sacrifices. Of all the sacrifices. Yeah. Yeah. Told you, members. Is he? Is he the emperor? Well. Is he the emperor of mankind? Yes. Yes, he is. He might okay. be. He might oh, and I'm wrong. There is one movie I'm actually looking forward to next year. John Wick Four. Oh. Okay. I don't know about looking. I mean, yeah, There's yeah. You that are like, him. meh, you know, like Mission Impossible. He uses I've friggin' nunchucks. That. I've seen the trailer. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh. John Wick. Uh, Emily, did you use your weapon you didn't like? For fifty dollars. Yes, he did us. Screw you! This is personal, man. What? what are you talking about? I think you should fight John Wick with hey, me. Yes. Nunchucks. Yeah. Shad, you should story. be really happy with Willow. There's lesbians in it, but there's no lesbian sex. So I don't even know what the point is at that point. Hi, kids. It's, lesbians. it's not out lesbian. for me yet. It, like, it's, uh, Willow isn't out for me yet. I checked. It's still like a couple of days away for release. Well, know. reviews are out. There's reviews lesbians. Yep. Oh, you can tell that from the trailer. They are looking very intently at each other. Um, yeah. Yeah. It looks look like a dumpster fire. Uh, Emily, go forth for $50. I wanted to give you all 
uh, want to give all of you a big thank you. My husband has been a devoted listener, and you have helped him manage his PTSD oh, and the stress no. from being a medic. Oh, damn! Uh, after reading his chat last week, he had a smile from ear to ear. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for being a medic. That my dad was a medic. And I, I told that story last week. He was a medic at, in, in in the Nam and never fucking talked about it. like never. Damn. Talked. Yeah, but I, Gary, I, I don't want to belittle anything, but I was in the culture war. You, I was in the culture war. <laughs> <laughs> I was a medic in the culture How long did you serve? Don't, you don't, uh, I, so seen some shit, man. Two, well, well look, that's the thing. You're like, you actually do see some crap. That's that scars you, yeah. you in this. Uh, you have, you have some, I went like, to I some saw, got banned. Good man. That account's taken away. How oh, did I? Oh, oh, like, you saw that Twitter employee. Yeah, that's just good. that's going to stick with me now forever. <laughs> Ligma and Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> we, there, there are some epic heroes in this war that we needs to be remembered, and, all, and Rita, things we like wish we could forget, but we never will be able to. Never you ever seen a fake Mike penis? Johnson. You ever see one infected? <laughs> Obi Wan, you fought with my father in the culture war. In the culture war. <laughs> I haven't yeah. been called that name in a long time. If, even though they just they just made a TV show that we really knew each other all along, and but I'm somehow now because this was made in 1977, uh, pretending that I have no fucking clue who you are. And when you die, I won't give a shit later on. I thank love the fact that Kenobi fucking. Thank you for the Obi Wan review. <laughs> uh, that's got well. That's got to go down as one of the biggest fucking uh, just woke failures of this year. There are many. And that's, and that's the end all. That's the end roll on. Mm -hmm. After Kenobi, I think a lot of people are just like fuck this shit. I'm out. Uh, yeah, uh, fuck this shit. I'm out. Oh, that was in my video. Thanks to Perry. Uh, when he refused to fight Darth Vader in the, oh, yeah. in the <laughs> yeah. rock quarry or whatever the That's fuck right. they were at night. <laughs> and when, and when Darth Vader followed him, then, oh, are you here to kill me, Obi-Wan? You just fucking landed, bitch. You were yeah. fucking, fucking chasing him. What a stupid uh, fucking show. Basil. No, Basil. No five, way you can be sorry. Basil, 578 for $50. <laughs> <laughs> night Thank you, Gary, for it. Thank you for doing the live stream. Ah, oh, you're welcome. I saw part one, uh, but cannot find part two on YouTube because uh, it's going to be re-uploaded. Uh, the other one didn't get re-uploaded either, Garrett. Oh, God. The, it was uh, corrupted or something. All right, I'll do that tonight. Oh. I'll have Sorry. them up tonight. Uh, but you can always just go to the link on Twitter, and it's unlisted, but you can still watch it. You can still watch it. Just find the link on Twitter or email me. I'll send it to you. But it should be up soon. Uh, I was wondering if you and Jeremy enjoyed the models I gave you guys at the Orlando meetup. Yes, we did. We did. I got to take a picture of those for uh, Instagram still. That's it. That's on me. WD for $50 says that wasn't pineapple on your prison pizza, Gary. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> did you even get pizza in prison? Did we get pizza? Yes, we got pizza, not pineapple pizza, okay. but we got like shitty state prison fucking oven pizza that was squares Square that pizza. i mean the, where the sausage came from very questionable very <laughs> pizza they feed the children in school soylent fucking green Dude, there's a point where you're just like yeah when you first get there you're like i'm not eating anything and then you just go i don't care it, it could be joe from death row i don't care <laughs> uh ronan the crusader for 50 dollars Hail Friday Night Tights, Dankula. I knew your exploits thanks to uh, Daz Nazi Pug. Loved your <laughs> Christiana video and the Mad Lads video on Lori Allen. Tori was nothing short of epic. Hail to you, you mad Scottish bastard. And yes, he's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Have you done it? Now, I haven't seen it. Sorry. Maybe you've done a video because somebody put this on Twitter like a week ago of i believe she was italian she walked into a courthouse and uh, a guy had uh, draped and extinguished her daughter 
and she just fucking came in and blew him away. Just Ooh, came, wow. came, in, came into the courthouse in front yeah. of the judge, in front of everyone, gunned him down. You're you're going to see that in the next few months. Awesome, because you know yeah. somebody was mentioned. Somebody said Dick needs to do a video on this. I'm like, I want to. Yeah. <laughs> so my, my, my wife doesn't usually do internet lingo, but she was sitting looking at it on her phone, and she went, <laughs> "Based." <laughs> that man is like, I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. It's easy to just walk into the courtroom and gun the fucker down, like in front of the judge, in front of the Everybody, judge, and then she just. Yeah. And then she just put the gun down and sat down like, ah, I'm sorry, man. That's yeah. wow. That goes fucking hard. That's fucking hard. Yeah. It is. If you see the video, like, there, was that. there's lawyers in there, and they don't do anything until she's done with her fifth shot. And then they kind of like, oh, put the Ooh. gun down softly. They don't like tackle I, her I, I, or I think, anything. I think I that's a, a reconstruction. Chance. I think that's a reconstruction. So? I don't know. I don't know. The bit that, the bit that kind of makes me think, oh, is that fucking real as well? Because you don't see this in movies. Whenever she starts shooting, the guy behind her covers his ears and all that. You don't see that in movies and reconstructions. But when someone starts shooting, a, a lot of people go like, oh, what the fuck is yeah, that? Yeah. And, that? Well, and that, made, that made it seem real. So I'm looking at that and I'm, I'm not sure. We'll have I'm to not, find I'm not out. Really sure, yeah. I'll need to find out. But she shot the guy. Uh, wait. She shot at him seven or eight times, hit him five. I heard so I saw mixed things. I was just going off Twitter. So I didn't. The, 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 the picture of pulls of blood in the courtroom, those are real. Yeah, those, those are real. And then it's yeah. also the picture where she's sitting smiling, and she's just got an ocean of cameras in front of her in the courtroom, and she's turning back looking at the camera, just like, "Yeah, I fucking did it." Yeah. It's like, <laughs> in fact, some of you were there. <laughs> oh, man, like, fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, that I, that's the first time I've heard of it. I was like, "Holy shit, that was awesome." I mean, sorry yeah. what happened to her, but like, that's. That's how a parent responds. There's in the chat, Matt, Marianne Bachmeyer, uh, yeah. German. It was in Germany it happened, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah Germany, Germany, yeah. And she passed away from uh, pancreatic cancer. Uh, but she, like, did a documentary towards the end of her life. I haven't seen it yet, but I'll find it. And, uh, yeah, sounds like an interesting person. Uh, a good a good person to do a, a mad lass video on her, lads. Yeah. Uh, no, so she died at 46, man. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Damn. Yep. So let's wrap it up. Uh, it's been a great show. Thanks, everyone. Uh, thank you. Did not have to stay the whole time. I really appreciate it. You're fucking awesome. Uh, no, thanks, man. <laughs> uh, let's go around the horn. And, I think and... you're a giant penis. Well, <laughs> <laughs> thanks, man. Thanks. I'm only going by what I'm reading. <laughs> Comics Division, anything to plug? <laughs> uh, yeah. Um... There's uh, Yelling at Park Cars on Monday and Thursday Night Throwdown. Uh, at some point in time, I'm going to start working on videos again. But um, yeah, probably this Sunday. Knock on wood. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. It was fantastic as always being here, Gary. Thanks for having me. Uh, thank you. It was great hanging out with you again. Um, and uh, Thanks, obviously, guys. the rest of the panel as well. And I will catch you next Friday. Thanks, comics. Uh, Excellent, girl. Um, nothing too crazy to plug, but this is the last time I'll get to do this. My hot D shirt, um, for November or no, not November. Um, if you buy the shirt, uh, my proceeds will be going towards, uh, families affected by prostate cancer. So if you can buy the shirt, it's flagrantriggers.com. We also got, um, Chrissy merch there too. Yay. If you want to buy it at the same time, nice. I got the go tit shirt and then there you go. Got lots of good stuff. I actually oh. really like this one. I want to order this next. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You sound vaccinated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, go over there. That's it. Thank you. Uh, Quarter Black. Hey, uh, you can watch me on my channel, which I'm going to rename to Dark Tide, <laughs> uh, where I stream Dark Tide. And play with uh, wow. as an X-ray girl and the occasional Adam Krigler or whoever else wants to come in and play the game. Uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. It's really and, fun. Uh, yeah, thanks, dude. It's been great to have Count Dankula on. Legit, great Very dude. Fun. And uh, yeah, it was a good show. It's a good show. I'm gonna go die. Uh, well, <laughs> die. Well, I'm gonna tonight. end the show. I'll end the show and then I'll die. Yeah, then then you can die, but then you got to come back to life because we got a video to make. Just take a nap, Garrett. <laughs> I might like I have might a Snickers. Take a bath. I'll a day. I'll give him a Snickers. There you go. Uh, <laughs> Chrissy Mayer. <sighs> Thanks for having me, guys. This was so fun. I very much enjoyed Count Dankula, especially the way he pronounces Twitter. What twelve? 
Twitter. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, Twitter. I'm, spe- I'm, I'm speaking the Queen's English, I'll have you know. But... <laughs> what? Queen is the... dead. All right. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I went there. Uh, this was so much fun. Yeah, I'm I'm interviewing that umbrella guy next Wednesday, so tune into my uh, channel for that. Simcast Sundays at 9 p.m. Eastern on my channel. Wet Spot Mondays 7 p.m. on Compound Media. Um, I will be in Vineland, New Jersey, December 3rd at Casey Rays, and then Rochester uh, February 3rd and 4th, and San Diego February 24th and 25th. For tickets, go to my website, chrissymayer.com. This was fun. Yay. I'll, I'll, say, Yay. I'll see you in San Diego. Yes. I'll be back. Uh, who, who, as? Uh, link in the description below for Gary and me for our plushies. Please uh, go support that. The FNT plushies are starting to happen. Uh, so mine's there. Gary's is there. The link's in the description below. If you get both, get 10% discount. Uh, weird things. Um, gonna be recording with the Lotus Eaters at some point. Um, not too sure on the date yet. It was gonna be the thirtieth. Now it's not. Now it might be the seventh of December. I, I don't know yet. But that's Dave will live in infamy. Um, Sunday I'm gonna be on a a, a DSP shit a shitting on him podcast. Um, to shit on DSP because he's a piece oh, what's of shit. Happening? So, uh, no, not with no, this. Isn't the one that's going to be oh. with uh, Ryan and um, who else was going to be on that? Oh, it's a Gundam, of course. It's a Gundam. Gundam. You forgot about no, it. No, this this is this is an already established let's shit on DSP podcast. Oh, okay. so I'll give the, I'll tweet out the details and put it on the community tab uh, for Sunday, but it's going to be like 5 p.m. my time to 7 p.m. my time, then 8 p.m. Sunday fun day, Garrett. You're not here, are you here this Sunday fun day? You are now. I am. I... Yeah, he's we'll there. see. We'll see. X ray okay. girl and a fourth. Uh, Sargon wants to play. Nick Ooh. Ricada wants to play. Adam has so, played. Adam has played mm-hmm. today. And <laughs> then the real BBC on Gary's channel on Tuesday. By the time he's done, the real BBC will have started. <laughs> <laughs> I am just saying what is happening, okay? These are things that are going happening, on. Gary. You're at quartering speed right now. Yeah. Uh... No, because if I was on quartering speed, I'd be fucking promoting established titles. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm fucking with you, Jeremy. I'm fucking with you. I love you, man. Uh, and uh, stuff. Kill. Cool. <laughs> oh, I don't dead. know why, X-Ray Girl, I don't know why you're so thrown about your plush. I found your plushie online. I was, shut I, up. I, let's take a look. <laughs> Shut up. Oh wow! <laughs> Damn. I hate you. I was dying the first time you shared this. I'm not. I hate oh. If anyone was wondering what has made X-ray girl like, just always vomit. <laughs> <laughs> so gross. Uh, listening on job. Spotify. This is a oh giant. And I'm foot. probably I'm probably gonna play Dark Tide after this stream. <laughs> oh. Same. Okay. So how is that game, as? Uh, I mm-hmm. obviously like it. 40k, 40k squad. No, how is it? Oh, it's so fucking good. We have played it every day every since day. Sunday. Yeah, since since. Yeah, they played it a little season. before the show. Yeah, today. four, four <laughs> hours <Yes>. worth. <laughs> four hours. I just managed <laughs> to get two and a half in. I think two in. Everybody. It works for me. Is on this fucking live stream right now. <laughs> it's, it's so good. It's awesome. Great. Check it out, man. Uh, I was fine because I was doing nothing. I was watching the Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special. Yeah, I saw it. Uh, and Three and a quarter hours we got into. It I wasn't could... bad. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, Shad, anything you'd like to plug? Oh, the regular stuff. You know, people know where to find me on Shadowversity, making things about medieval stuff, swords and things. Always on doing Night's Watch, being lots of fun. Um, Just continue making the content, having a look at what season two of Rings of Power is looking like based on what the show is. (laughs) (laughs) It does not look good. Uh, 
Also, you could hang out for certain reviews coming out soon. I actually look. I actually have watched a good portion of the new Adams Family reboot Wednesday. It's not good. Uh, I uh, I really like Adams Family and uh, Wednesday, and they've unironically turned Wednesday into a social justice warrior. Oh, no figure. Like like she she rips on the patriarchy twice. She talks about the male gaze and and I, it's. God. Oh, I, 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 they can't leave any franchise just alone. Keep, just keep, yeah, just keep doing it. Accelerate. Yeah, look, just, it, you know, yeah get, exactly. They get it. I don't give a fuck. I'm so tired of it. It's Netflix. What do you expect coming from yeah. Netflix? But what's frustrating yeah. is I actually think the casting for Wednesday is spot on. The actress nails Wednesday, so they could have done something really fun and great with it. The it, the writing is average. Anyway, I'm going to do a full review on Night's Watch. So check that. I out. will watch uh, it. And uh, also, I like uh, Avatar. We'll be, we'll be reviewing that when it comes out. On should get it out the day it's released, right before I go on a break, which will be nice. Um, so you can check me out there. Hey, Shad, save the date, December eighteenth. I'll tell you why. Oh, all right. Yes. Ooh, December eighteenth. Right. December eighteenth. Hint: that, It's twentieth anniversary of Two Towers. Ooh. That's right. Gary, I don't I'll think be sending invites. Out. Thing is yeah, now's not the time to bring up 9 11. Why would around. anybody bring that up in the stream? Like... Building seven. What? No. I was going to say it was like Helm's Deep. No, it wasn't. I'm going to be Helm's Deep tonight. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> in Dark Tide. In Dark Tide. We balls in Dark Tide. Exactly. Dark tide. Yeah. So uh, the second Grand has just hit, hit the wall. Sorry. <laughs> 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 Shad, thanks for coming on. And Count Dracula, thank you once again for coming on, especially after the last show when I was like really fucking sick with COVID and just loopy and stupid. And now you can see that I'm just normally that way. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> but I thank you for being here, man. Uh, please plug whatever you like. What do you got coming up? Um, well, you can find me on Twitter under <laughs> Giant Penis. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> um, I've just got more Mad Lad videos coming out at the end of the month and uh, yeah. usually I don't plug my stuff but I'm going to plug my YouTube channel Count Dankula because I'm so close to one mil I'm only 15k oh, wow. what? Hey. Oh, nice. I know man like, I'm, How close? Close. I'm like 13k 13k off oh, of one shit. mil wow. okay, man, dude. we'll be pumping that then mm. well, Definitely, well, dude. Appreciate congratulations that. man well deserved yeah, awesome. well deserved mm. hell yeah I know, I'm the fucking, they're quite, I don't know, I just think it's kind of random that some fucking fat stoners from Scotland got a million subs on fucking YouTube, <laughs> man, that, like, so there you go, nah, smashing, but it was fun, I enjoyed myself tonight, it was a good laugh. Right on, man, thanks again. Uh, did I forget anybody? Thanks, uh, uh, no, but Jeremy, Ryan, screw those guys. Yeah. Let's bring them. Odin in. There's yeah, one more waiting. Oh <laughs> <laughs> bring him in. You know, he went to say goodbye. Uh, yeah, I'm in San Diego for I, either. I mean, I, I'm oh, I'm going to L.A. Fuck, I'm going to L.A. next week, but I'm going to hang out with Chris Gore, so I'm going to be here for a while. But uh, we'll still be making videos. Put Garrett to work probably on Monday. Give him the weekend off. Oh, don't get yeah, he coughs. Do you see that cup? <laughs> I'm That's sick. Right. I, can't I, need, I just need to play some dark time to get pussy. Uh, <laughs> is it, oh, open up, Steve. Hang, hang on. I, I've got to. At the very uh, end. At the, that's what she said. Oh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> hang on. It's all needed, the way at the bottom. I needed to think of something to <laughs> fill the time there, dude. <laughs> silence. We're just high, uh, oh, there. I got it. I got it. I got it. Uh, the John Beck for fifty dollars. Oh, the John oh, Beck, very nice. That guy was Beck. fighting crabs. Uh, shave half light. Uh, what is it? Light other half on fire. Oh, okay. As they run for cover, oh, the dude in the prison. Um, use an ice pick, vigorously yelling, "Die, crabs, die!" Happy Thanksgiving <laughs> weekend, everybody. Oh, but that was dark. Um, oh. No, that dude. Honestly, that dude was stone cold fucking nuts he was talking to demons and ghosts and whatever the fuck else he was talking to while burning his pubic hair uh and like you know he was in the next cell so like it was coming through the vent right oh, like burning oh. Oh. Was, it the clippings? was it on him 
No, yeah. he cut it off. He was cutting it okay. off. The guard told me all about it afterwards. I'm like, Jesus. You know, like, you can't him. tell him, like, you don't snitch. So you just, you you tell the guy to stop, and hopefully he fucking stops. And if he doesn't stop, then when they open things up, you got to brawl, you know? And uh, thankfully, he stopped because the guard fucking smelled it, because when they smell shit burning, they get a little like, worried. It's burnt pubes again. Yeah. But you can't like rat on the guy, so you got to put up with it. That's the fucked up thing about it. It's like, hell, I'm not gonna. I don't want to get a. You know, nobody wants a rat jacket, okay? Because you'll die. Um, and yeah, you just put up with it. You know, there's a lot of shit you got to put up with in prison. And I see fucking people in in Starbucks crying after an eight-hour day of work, and I have no sympathy for them. Yeah. <laughs> but they ran out of oat milk, Harry. <laughs> Yeah, try working a fucking twelve-hour day. Jesus, I'm gonna, I want to slap his father. Oh, I no. got no money. I wasted it all. I'm fucking growing a beard as a fucking woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh, it's been a hell of a show. <sighs> I Thank should have actually got therapy instead of fucking wasting my money on things because I go fucking problem solving. Like, I didn't make any TikToks in my car today. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh, this was fun. Uh, a, good, a good Black Friday night tights with giant penis. Uh, and this show has now come to an end. So thanks, everyone. Thanks to the Moderatics. Thanks to everyone in the Super Chat donation. You help keep the lights on around here. Thanks to everyone for participating. We will see you next week with Gothics. Hey, Gothics is coming. Hey. Nice. Hey. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, please support everybody here and let's get Dank to a million subs. Let's Go do sub. it. Go sub. Do it. Thank you. All right. Thanks, See you everyone. Guys later. Ciao, Bella. Ciao. Bye. 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 I don't know what that means.
Do not come. Do not come. I'm gonna come. Dame, dame.